Obadiah the vision of Obadiah thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom we have heard a message from Hashem and an ambassador is sent among the nations arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle behold I make thee small among the nations thou art greatly despised the pride of thy heart hath beguiled thee O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock thy habitation on high that sayest in thy heart who shall bring me down to the ground though thou make thy nest as high as the eagle and though thou set it among the stars I will bring thee down from thence saith Hashem if thieves came to thee if robbers by night how art thou cut off would they not steal till they had enough if grape gatherers came to thee would they not leave some gleaning grapes how is Esau searched out how are his hidden places sought out all the men of thy confederacy have conducted thee to the border the men that were at peace with thee have beguiled thee and prevailed against thee they that eat thy bread lay a snare under thee in whom there is no discernment shall I not in that day saith Hashem destroy the wise men out of Edom and discernment out of the mount of Esau and thy mighty men O Taman shall be dismayed to the end that every one may be cut off from the mount of Esau by slaughter for the violence done to thy brother Jacob shame shall cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever in the day that thou didst stand aloof in the day that strangers carried away his substance and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem even thou wast as one of them but thou shouldest not have gazed on the day of thy brother in the day of his disaster neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity yet thou shouldest not have gazed on their affliction in the day of their calamity nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those of his that escaped neither shouldest thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress for the day of Hashem is near upon all the nations as thou hast done it shall be done unto thee thy dealing shall return upon thine own head for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain so shall all the nations drink continually yea they shall drink and swallow down and shall be as though they had not been but in Mount Zion there shall be those that escape and it shall be holy and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions and the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame and the house of Esau for stubble and they shall kindle in them and devour them and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau for Hashem hath spoken and they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau and they of the lowland the Philistines and they shall possess the field of Ephraim and the field of Samaria and Benjamin shall possess Gilead and the captivity of this host of the children of Israel that are among the Canaanites even unto Zarephath and the captivity of Jerusalem that is in Sepharad shall possess the cities of the south and saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the mount of Esau and the kingdom shall be Hashem's Jonah chapter now the Word of Hashem came unto Jonah the son of Amittai saying Arise go to Nineveh that great city and proclaim against it for their wickedness is come up before me but Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of Hashem and he went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarshish so he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of Hashem but Hashem hurled a great wind into the sea and there was a mighty tempest in the sea so that the ship was like to be broken and the mariners were afraid and cried every man unto his God and they cast forth the wares that were in the ship into the sea to lighten it unto them but Jonah was gone down into the innermost parts of the ship and he lay and was fast asleep so the shipmaster came to him and said unto him what meanest thou that thou sleepest arise call upon thy God if so be that God will think upon us that we perish not and they said every one to his fellow come and let us cast lots that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us so they cast lots and the lot fell upon Jonah then said they unto him tell us we pray thee for whose cause this evil is upon us what is thine occupation and whence comest thou what is thy country and of what people art thou and he said unto them I am an Hebrew and I fear Hashem the God of heaven who hath made the sea and the dry land then were the men exceedingly afraid and said unto him what is this that thou hast done for the men knew that he fled from the presence of Hashem because he had told them then said they unto him what shall we do unto thee that the sea may be calm unto us for the sea grew more and more tempestuous and he said unto them take me up and cast me forth into the sea so shall the sea be calm unto you for I know that for my sake this great tempest is upon you nevertheless the men rode hard to bring it to the land but they could not for the sea grew more and more tempestuous against them wherefore they cried unto Hashem and said we beseech thee O Hashem we beseech thee let us not perish for this man's life and lay not upon us innocent blood for thou O Hashem hast done as it pleased thee so they took up Jonah and cast him forth into the sea and the sea ceased from its raging then the men feared Hashem exceedingly and they offered a sacrifice unto Hashem and made vows Jonah chapter and Hashem prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights then Jonah prayed unto Hashem his God out of the fish's belly and he said I called out of mine affliction unto Hashem and he answered me out of the belly of the nether world cried I and thou heardest my voice for thou didst cast me into the depth in the heart of the seas and the flood was round about me all thy waves and thy billows passed over me and I said I am cast out from before thine eyes yet I will look again toward thy holy temple the waters compassed me about even to the soul the deep was round about me the weeds were wrapped about my head I went down to the bottoms of the mountains the earth with her bars closed upon me forever yet hast thou brought up my life from the pit O Hashem my God when my soul fainted within me I remembered Hashem and my prayer came in unto thee into thy holy temple they that regard lying vanities forsake their own mercy but I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice 
of thanksgiving that which I have vowed I will pay salvation is of Hashem and Hashem spoke unto the fish and it vomited out Jonah upon the dry land Jonah chapter and the word of Hashem came unto Jonah the second time saying arise go unto Nineveh that great city and make unto it the proclamation that I bid thee so Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh according to the word of Hashem now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days journey and Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey and he proclaimed and said yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown and the people of Nineveh believed God and they proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them and the tidings reached the king of Nineveh and he arose from his throne and laid his robe from him and covered him with sackcloth and sat in ashes and he caused it to be proclaimed and published through Nineveh by the decree of the king and his noble saying. Let neither man nor beast herd nor flock taste anything let them not feed nor drink water but let them be covered with sackcloth both man and beast and let them cry mightily unto God yea let them turn every one from his evil way and from the violence that is in their hands who know it whether God will not turn and repent and turn away from his fierce anger that we perish not and God saw their works that they turned from their evil way and God repented of the evil which he said he would do unto them and he did it not Jonah chapter but it displeased Jonah exceedingly and he was angry and he prayed unto Hashem and said I pray thee O Hashem was not this my saying when I was yet in mine own country therefore I fled beforehand unto Tarshish for I knew that thou art a gracious God and compassionate long suffering and abundant in mercy and repentest thee of the evil therefore now O Hashem take I beseech thee my life from me for it is better for me to die than to live. And Hashem said Art thou greatly angry then Jonah went out of the city and sat on the east side of the city and there made him a booth and sat under it in the shadow till he might see what would become of the city and Hashem God prepared a gourd and made it to come up over Jonah that it might be a shadow over his head to deliver him from his evil so Jonah was exceeding glad because of the gourd but God prepared a worm when the morning rose the next day and it smote the gourd that it withered and it came to pass when the sun arose that God prepared a vehement east wind and the sun beat upon the head of Jonah that he fainted and requested for himself that he might die and said it is better for me to die than to live and God said to Jonah art thou greatly angry for the gourd and he said I am greatly angry even unto death and Hashem said thou hast had pity on the gourd for which thou hast not labored neither madest it grow which came up in a night and perished in a night and should not I have pity on Nineveh that great city wherein are more than six score thousand persons that cannot discern between their right hand and their left hand and also much cattle Micah chapter the word of Hashem that came to Micah the Moorish tight in the days of Jotham Ahaz and Hezekiah kings of Judah which he saw concerning Samaria and Jerusalem here ye peoples all of you hearken O earth and all that therein is and let the Lord God be witness against you the Lord from his holy temple for behold Hashem cometh forth out of his place and will come down and tread upon the high places of the earth and the mountains shall be molten under him and the valleys shall be cleft as wax before the fire as waters that are poured down a steep place for the transgression of Jacob is all this and for the sins of the house of Israel what is the transgression of Jacob is it not Samaria and what are the high places of Judah are they not Jerusalem therefore I will make Samaria a heap in the field a place for the planting of vineyards and I will pour down the stones thereof into the valley and I will uncover the foundations thereof and all her graven images shall be beaten to pieces and all her hires shall be burned with fire and all her idols will I lay desolate for of the hire of a harlot hath she gathered them and unto the hire of a harlot shall they return for this will I wail and howl I will go stripped and naked I will make a wailing like the jackals and a mourning like the ostriches for her wound is incurable for it is come even unto Judah it reach it unto the gate of my people even to Jerusalem tell it not in Gath weep not at all at Bethaliah for roll thyself in the dust pass ye away O inhabitant of Saphir in nakedness and shame the inhabitant of Zanan is not come forth the wailing of Beth Ezel shall take from you the standing place thereof for the inhabitant of Merod wait anxiously for good because evil is come. Down from Hashem unto the gate of Jerusalem bind the chariots to the swift steeds O inhabitant of Lachish she was the beginning of sin to the daughter of Zion for the transgressions of Israel are found in thee therefore shalt thou give a parting gift to Morshet Gath the houses of Exab shall be a deceitful thing unto the kings of Israel I will yet bring unto thee O inhabitant of Mershah him that shall possess thee the glory of Israel shall come even unto Adullam make thee bald and Pull thee for the children of thy delight enlarge thy baldness as the vulture for they are gone into captivity from thee Micah chapter woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they execute it because it is in the power of their hand and they covet fields and seize them and houses and take them away thus they oppress a man and his house even a man and his heritage therefore thus saith Hashem behold against this family do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks neither shall ye walk upright for it shall be an evil time in that day shall they take up a parable against you and lament with a doleful lamentation and say we are utterly ruined he changeth the portion of my people how doth he remove it from me instead of restoring our fields he divides them therefore thou shalt have none that shall cast the line by lot in the congregation of Hashem preach ye not they preach they shall not preach of these 
Things that they shall not take shame do I change O house of Jacob is the spirit of Hashem straightened are these his doings do not my words do good to him that walketh uprightly but of late my people is risen up as an enemy with the garment yes strip also the mantle from them that pass by securely so that they are as men returning from war the women of my people ye cast out from their pleasant houses from their young children ye take away my glory forever arise ye and depart for this is not your resting place because of the uncleanness thereof it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction if a man walking in wind and falsehood do lie I will preach unto thee of wine and of strong drink he shall even be the preacher of this people I will surely assemble O Jacob all of thee I will surely gather the remnant of Israel I will render them all as sheep in a fold as a flock in the midst of their pasture they shall make great noise by reason of the multitude of men they breaker is gone up before them they have broken forth and passed on by the gate and are gone out thereat and their king is passed on before them and Hashem at the head of them Micah chapter and I said here I pray you ye heads of Jacob and rulers of the house of Israel is it not for you to know justice who hate the good and love the evil who rob their skin from off them and their flesh from off their bones who also eat the flesh of my people and flay their skin from off them and break their bones yea they chop them in pieces as that which is in the pot and as flesh within the cauldron then shall they cry unto Hashem but he will not answer them yea he will hide his face from them at that time according as they have wrought evil in their doings thus saith Hashem concerning the prophets that make my people to ear that cry peace when their teeth have anything to bite and whoso putteth not into their mouths they even prepare war against him therefore it shall be night unto you that ye shall have no vision and it shall be dark unto you that ye shall not divine and the sun shall go down upon the prophets and the day shall be black over them and the seers shall be put to shame and the diviners confounded yea they shall all cover their upper lips for there shall be no answer of God but I truly am full of power by the spirit of Hashem and of justice and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin hear this I pray you ye heads of the house of Jacob and rulers of the house of Israel that abhor justice and pervert all equity that build up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity the heads thereof judge for reward and the priests thereof teach for hire and the prophets thereof divine for money yet will they lean upon Hashem and say is not Hashem in the midst of us no evil shall come upon us therefore shall Zion for your sake be plowed as a field and Jerusalem shall become heaps and the mountain of the house as the high places of a forest Micah chapter but in the end of days it shall come to pass that the mountain of Hashem's house shall be established as the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and peoples shall flow unto it and many nations shall go and say come ye and let us go up to the mountain of Hashem and to the house of the God of Jacob and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of Hashem from Jerusalem and he shall judge between many peoples and shall decide concerning mighty nations afar off and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks nation shall not lift up sword against nation neither shall they learn war any more but they shall sit every man under his vine and under his fig tree and none shall make them afraid for the mouth of Hashem of hosts hath spoken for let all the peoples walk each one in the name of its God but we will Walk in the name of Hashem our God forever and ever in that day saith Hashem will I assemble her that halteth and I will gather her that is driven away and her that I have afflicted and I will make her that halted a remnant and her that was cast far off a mighty nation and Hashem shall reign over them in Mount Zion from thenceforth even forever and thou Migdal enter the hill of the daughter of Zion unto thee shall it come yea the former dominion shall come the kingdom of the daughter of Jerusalem now why dost thou cry out aloud is there no king in thee is thy counselor perished that pangs have taken hold of thee as of a woman in travail be in pain and labor to bring forth O daughter of Zion like a woman in travail for now shalt thou go forth out of the city and shalt dwell in the field and shalt come even unto Babylon there shalt thou be rescued there shall Hashem redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies and now many nations are assembled against thee that say let her be defiled and let our eye gaze upon Zion but they know not the thoughts of Hashem neither understand they his counsel for he hath gathered them as the sheaves to the threshing floor arise and thresh O daughter of Zion for I will make thy horn iron and I will make thy hoofs brass and thou shalt beat in pieces many peoples and thou shalt devote their gain unto Hashem and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth now shalt thou gather thyself in troops O daughter of troops they have laid siege against us they smite the judge of Israel with a rod upon the cheek Micah chapter but thou Bethlehem Ephrathah which art little to be among the thousands of Judah out of thee shall one come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel whose goings forth are from of old from ancient days therefore will he give them up until the time that she who travaileth hath brought forth then the residue of his brethren shall return with the children of Israel and he shall stand and shall feed his flock in the strength of Hashem in the majesty of the name of Hashem his God and they shall abide for then shall he be great unto the ends of the earth and this shall be peace when the Assyrian shall come into our land and when he shall tread in our palaces then shall we raise against him seven shepherds and eight princes among men and they shall waste the land of Assyria with the sword and the land of Nimrod with the keen-edged sword and he shall deliver us from the Assyrian. When he cometh into our land and when he treadeth within our border and the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many peoples as dew from Hashem as showers upon the grass that are not looked for from man nor awaited at the hands of the sons of men and the remnant of Jacob shall be among the nations in the midst of many peoples as a lion among the beasts of the forest as a young lion among the flocks of sheep who if he go through treadeth down and teareth in pieces and there is none to 
Deliver let thy hand be lifted up above thine adversaries and let all thine enemies be cut off and it shall come to pass in that day saith Hashem that I will cut off thy horses out of the midst of thee and will destroy thy chariots and I will cut off the cities of thy land and will throw down all thy strongholds and I will cut off witchcrafts out of thy hand and thou shalt have no more soothsayers and I will cut off thy graven images and thy pillars out of the midst of thee and thou shalt no more worship the work of thy hands and I will pluck up thy asherim out of the midst of thee and I will destroy thine enemies and I will execute vengeance in anger and fury upon the nations because they hear kend not Micah chapter hear ye now what Hashem saith arise contend thou before the mountains and let the hills hear thy voice hear O ye mountains Hashem's controversy and ye enduring rocks the foundations of the earth for Hashem hath a controversy with his people and he will plead with Israel O my people what have I done unto thee and wherein have I wearied thee testify against me for I brought thee up out of the land of Egypt and redeemed thee out of the house of bondage and I sent before thee Moses Aaron and Miriam O my people remember now what Balak king of Moab devised and what Balaam the son of Beer answered him from Shittim unto Gilgal that ye may know the righteous acts of Hashem wherewith shall I come before Hashem and bow myself before God on. High shall I come before him with burnt offerings with calves of a year old will Hashem be pleased with thousands of rams with ten thousands of rivers of oil shall I give my firstborn for my transgression the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul it hath been told thee O man what is good and what Hashem doth require of thee only to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God hark Hashem crieth unto the city and it is wisdom to have regard for thy name here yea the rod. And who hath appointed it are there yet the treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked and the scant measure that is abominable shall I be pure with wicked balances and with a bag of deceitful weights for the rich men thereof are full of violence and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth therefore I also do smite thee with a grievous wound I do make thee desolate because of thy sins thou shalt eat but not be satisfied and thy sickness shall be in thine inward parts and thou shalt conceive but shalt not bring forth and whomsoever thou bringest forth will I give up to the sword thou shalt sow but shalt not reap thou shalt tread the olives but shalt not anoint thee with oil and the vintage but shalt not drink wine for the statutes of Omri are kept and all the works of the house of Ahab and ye walk in their counsels that I may make thee an astonishment and the inhabitants thereof a hissing and ye shall bear thee. Reproach of my people Micah chapter woe is me for I am as the last of the summer fruits as the grape gleanings of the vintage there is no cluster to eat nor first ripe fig which my soul desireth the godly man is perished out of the earth and the upright among men is no more they all lie in wait for blood they hunt every man his brother with a net their hands are upon that which is evil to do it diligently the prince asketh and the judge is ready for a reward and the great man he uttereth the evil desire of his soul thus they weave it together the best of them is as a briar the most upright is worse than a thorn hedge the day of thy watchman even thy visitation is come now shall be their perplexity trust ye not in a friend put ye not confidence in a familiar friend keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom for the son to see an the father the daughter riseth up against her mother the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law a man's enemies are the men of his own house but as for me I will look unto Hashem I will wait for the God of my salvation my God will hear me rejoice not against me O mine enemy though I am fallen I shall arise though I sit in darkness Hashem is a light unto me I will bear the indignation of Hashem because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness then mine enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her who said unto me where is Hashem thy God mine eyes shall gaze upon her now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets the day for building thy walls even that day shall be far removed there shall be a day when they shall come unto thee from Assyria even to the cities of Egypt and from Egypt even to the river and from sea to sea and from mountain to mountain and the land shall be desolate for them that dwell therein because of the fruit of their doings tend thy people with thy staff the flock of thy heritage that dwell solitarily as a forest in the midst of the fruitful field let them feed in Bashan and Gilead as in the days of old as in the days of thy coming forth out of the land of Egypt will I show unto him marvelous things the nations shall see and be put to shame for all their might they shall lay their hand upon their mouth their ears shall be deaf they shall lick the dust like a serpent like crawling things of the earth they shall come trembling out of their close places they shall come with fear unto Hashem our God and shall be afraid because of thee who is a God like unto thee that pardoneth the iniquity and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage he retaineth not his anger forever because he delighteth in mercy he will again have compassion upon us he will subdue our iniquities and thou wilt cast all their sins into the depths of the sea thou wilt show faithfulness to Jacob mercy to Abraham. As thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the days of old Nahum chapter the burden of Nineveh the book of the vision of Nahum the Elkoside Hashem is a jealous and avenging God Hashem Avengeth and is full of wrath Hashem taketh vengeance on his adversaries and he reserveth wrath for his enemies Hashem is long-suffering and great in power and will by no means clear the guilty Hashem in the whirlwind and in the storm is his way and the clouds are the dust of his feet he rebuked the See and make that dry and dryeth up all the rivers Bashan languisheth and Carmel and the flower of Lebanon languisheth the mountains quake at him and the hills melt and the earth is upheaved at his presence yea the world and all that dwell therein who can stand before his indignation and who can abide in the fierceness of his anger his fury is poured out like fire and the rocks are broken asunder before him Hashem is good a stronghold in the day of trouble and he knoweth them that take.
refuge in him but with an overrunning flood he will make a full end of the place thereof and darkness shall pursue his enemies what do ye devise against Hashem he will make a full end trouble shall not rise up the second time for though they be like tangled thorns and be drunken according to their drink they shall be devoured as stubble fully dry out of thee came he forth that Devi saith evil against Hashem that counsel leth wickedness thus saith Hashem though they be in full strength. And likewise many even so shall they be cut down and he shall pass away and though I have afflicted thee I will afflict thee no more and now will I break his yoke from off thee and will burst thy bonds in sunder and Hashem hath given commandment concerning thee that no more of thy name be sown out of the house of thy God will I cut off the graven image and the molten image I will make thy grave for thou art become worthless Nahum chapter behold upon the mountains the feet of him that bringeth good tidings that announceth peace keep thy feast O Judah perform thy vows for the wicked one shall no more pass through thee he is utterly cut off Amal is come up before thy face guard the defenses watch the way make thy loins strong fortify thy power mightily for Hashem restoreth the pride of Jacob as the pride of Israel for the emptiers have emptied them out and marred their vine branches the shield of his mighty men is made red the valiant men are in scarlet the Chariots are fire of steel in the day of his preparation and the cypress spears are made to quiver the chariots rush madly in the streets they jostle one against another in the broad places the appearance of them is like torches they run to and fro like the lightnings he bethink himself of his worthies they stumble in their march they make haste to the wall thereof and the mantelet is prepared the gates of the rivers are opened and the palace is dissolved and the queen is uncovered. She is carried away and her handmaids moan as with the voice of doves tabering upon their breasts but Nineveh hath been from of old like a pool of water yet they flee away stand stand but none looked back take ye the spoil of silver take the spoil of gold for there is no end of the store rich with all precious vessels she is empty and void and waste and the heart melteth and the knees smite together and convulsion is in all loins and the faces of them all have gathered blackness. Where is the den of the lions which was the feeding place of the young lions where the lion and the lioness walked and the lion's whelp and none made them afraid the lion did tear in pieces enough for his whelps and strangled for his lionesses and filled his caves with prey and his dens with ravin behold I am against thee saith Hashem of hosts and I will burn her chariots in the smoke and the sword shall devour thy young lions and I will cut off thy prey from the earth and the voice of thy messengers shall no more be heard Nahum chapter woe to the bloody city it is all full of lies and rap in the prey departeth not hark the whip and hark the rattling of the wheels and prancing horses and bounding chariots the horsemen charging and the flashing sword and the glittering spear and a multitude of slain and a heap of carcasses and there is no end of the corpses and they stumble upon their corpses because of the multitude of the harlotries of the well-favored harlot the Mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her harlotries and families through her witchcrafts behold I am against thee saith Hashem of hosts and I will uncover thy skirts upon thy face and I will shew the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame and I will cast detestable things upon thee and make thee vile and will make thee as dung and it shall come to pass that all they that look upon thee shall flee from thee and say Nineveh is laid waste who will bemoan her whence. Shall I seek comforters for thee art thou better than Noamon that was situate among the rivers that had the waters round about her whose rampart was the sea and of the sea her wall Ethiopia and Egypt were thy strength and it was infinite put and Lubim were thy helpers yet was she carried away she went into captivity her young children also were dashed in pieces at the head of all the streets and they cast lots for her honorable men and all her great men were bound in chains thou also. Shalt be drunken thou shalt swoon thou also shalt seek a refuge because of the enemy all thy fortresses shall be like fig trees with the first ripe figs if they be shaken they fall into the mouth of the eater behold thy people in the midst of thee are women the gates of thy land are set wide open unto thine enemies the fire hath devoured thy bars draw thee water for the siege strengthen thy fortresses go into the clay and tread the mortar lay hold of the brick mold there shall the fire devour thee the sword shall cut thee off it shall devour thee like the canker worm make thyself many as the canker worm make thyself many as the locusts thou hast multiplied thy merchants above the stars of heaven the canker worm spreadeth itself and flieth away thy crowned are as the locusts and thy marshals as the swarms of grasshoppers which camp in the walls in the cold day but when the sun ariseth they flee away and their place is not known where they are thy shepherds slumber o king of Assyria thy worthies are at rest thy people are scattered upon the mountains and there is none to gather them there is no assuaging of thy hurt thy wound is grievous all that hear the report of thee clap the hands over thee for upon whom hath not thy wickedness passed continually Habakkuk chapter the burden which Habakkuk the prophet did see how long O Hashem shall I cry and thou wilt not hear I cry out unto thee of violence and thou wilt not save why dost thou show me iniquity and beholdest mischief and why are spoiling and violence before me so that there is strife and contention or is it therefore the law is slacked and right doth never go forth for the wicked doth beset the righteous therefore right goeth forth perverted look ye among the nations and behold and wonder marvelously for behold a work shall be wrought in your days which ye will not believe though it be told you for lo I raise up the Chaldeans that bitter and impetuous nation that march through the breadth of the earth to possess dwelling places that are not theirs they are terrible and dreadful their law and their majesty proceed from themselves their horses also are swifter than leopards and are more fierce than the wolves of the desert and their horsemen spread themselves yea their horsemen come from far they fly as a vulture that hasteth to devour they come all of them for violence their faces are set eagerly as the east wind and they gather captives as the sand and they 
Scoff at kings and princes are a derision unto them they deride every stronghold for they heap up earth and take it then their spirit doth pass over and transgress and they become guilty even they who impute their might unto their god art not thou from everlasting O Hashem my god my holy one we shall not die O Hashem thou hast ordained them for judgment and thou a rock hast established them for correction thou that art of eyes too pure to behold evil and that canst not look on mischief. Wherefore lookest thou when they deal treacherously and holdest thy peace when the wicked swalloweth up the man that is more righteous than he and makest men as the fishes of the sea as the creeping things that have no ruler over them they take up all of them with the angle they catch them in their net and gather them in their drag therefore they rejoice and exult therefore they sacrifice unto their net and offer unto their drag because by them their portion is fat and their food. Plenteous shall they therefore empty their net and not spare to slay the nations continually Habakkuk chapter I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will look out to see what he will speak by me and what I shall answer when I am reproved and Hashem answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon tables that a man may read it swiftly for the vision is yet for the appointed time and it declareth of the end and doth not lie though it tarry wait for it. Because it will surely come it will not delay behold his soul is puffed up it is not upright in him but the righteous shall lie by his faith yea moreover wine is a treacherous dealer the haughty man abideth not he who enlargeth his desire as the nether world and is as death and cannot be satisfied but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all peoples shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting riddle against him and say woe to him that increaseth that which is not his how long and that ladeth himself with many pledges shall they not rise up suddenly that shall exact interest of thee and awake that shall violently shake thee and thou shalt be for booties unto them because thou hast spoiled many nations all the remnant of the peoples shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence done to the land to the city and to all that dwell therein woe to him that gaineth evil gains for his house that he may set his nest on high that he may be delivered from the power of evil thou hast devised shame to thy house by cutting off many peoples and hast forfeited thy life for the stone shall cry out of the wall and the beam out of the timber shall answer it woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establisheth a city by iniquity behold is it not of Hashem of hosts that the peoples labor for the fire and the nations weary themselves for vanity for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of Hashem as the waters cover the sea woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink that puttest thy venom thereto and makest him drunken also that thou mayest look on their nakedness thou art filled with shame instead of glory drink thou also and be uncovered the cup of Hashem's right hand shall be turned unto thee and filthiness shall be upon thy glory for the violence done to Lebanon shall cover thee and the destruction of the beasts which made them afraid because of men's blood and for the violence done to the land to the city and to all that dwell therein what profiteth the graven image that the maker thereof hath graven it even the molten image and the teacher of lies that the maker of his work trusteth therein to make dumb idols woe unto him that saith to the wood awake to the dumb stone arise can this teach behold it is overlaid with gold and silver and there is no breath at all in the midst of it but Hashem is in his holy temple let all the earth keep silence. Before him Habakkuk chapter a prayer of Habakkuk the prophet upon Shejanuth O Hashem I have heard the report of thee and am afraid O Hashem revive thy work in the midst of the years in the midst of the years make it known in wrath remember compassion God cometh from Taman and the Holy One from Mount Paran Selah his glory covereth the heavens and the earth is full of his praise and a brightness appeareth as the light rays hath he at his side and there is the hiding of his power. Before him goeth the pestilence and fiery bolts go forth at his feet he standeth and shaketh the earth he beholdeth and make the nations to tremble and the everlasting mountains are dashed in pieces the ancient hills do bow his goings are as of old I see the tents of Cushan in affliction the curtains of the land of Midian do tremble is it O Hashem that against the rivers is it that thine anger is kindled against the rivers or thy wrath against the sea that thou dost ride upon thy horses. Upon thy chariots of victory thy bow is made quite bare sworn are the rods of the word seal thou dost cleave the earth with rivers the mountains have seen thee and they tremble the tempest of waters flow it over the deep uttereth its voice and lifteth up its hands on high the sun and moon stand still in their habitation at the light of thine arrows as they go at the shining of thy glittering spear thou marchest through the earth in indignation thou threshest the nations in anger thou art come forth for the deliverance of thy people for the deliverance of thine anointed thou woundest the head out of the house of the wicked uncovering the foundation even unto the neck seal thou hast stricken through with his own rods the head of his rulers that come as a whirlwind to scatter me whose rejoicing is as to devour the poor secretly thou hast trodden the sea with thy horses the foaming of mighty waters when I heard mine inward parts trembled my lips quivered at the voice rottenness entereth into my bones and I tremble where I stand that I should wait for the day of trouble when he cometh up against the people that he invadeth for though the fig tree shall not blossom neither shall fruit be in the vines the labor of the olive shall fail and the fields shall yield no food the flock shall be cut off from the fold and there shall be no herd in the stalls yet I will rejoice in Hashem I will exult in the God of my salvation God the Lord is my strength and he Make my feet like hinds feet and he make me to walk upon my high places for the leader with my string music Zephaniah chapter the word of Hashem which came unto Zephaniah the son of Cushi the son of Gedaliah the son of Amariah the son of Hezekiah in the days of Josiah the son of Ammon king of Judah I will utterly consume all things from off the face of the earth saith Hashem I will consume man and beast I will consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea and the
stumbling blocks with the wicked and I will cut off man from off the face of the earth saith Hashem and I will stretch out my hand upon Judah and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem and I will cut off the remnant of Baal from this place and the name of the idolatrous priests with the priests and them that worship the host of heaven upon the housetops and them that worship that swear to Hashem and swear by Malcam them also that are turned back from following Hashem and those that have not sought Hashem nor inquired after him hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord God for the day of Hashem is at hand for Hashem hath prepared a sacrifice he hath consecrated his guests and it shall come to pass in the day of Hashem's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's sons and all such as are clothed with foreign apparel in the same day also will I punish all those that leap over the threshold that fill their master's house with violence and deceit and in that day. Seth Hashem hark a cry from the fish gate and a wailing from the second quarter and a great crashing from the hills wail yet inhabitants of Maktish for all the merchant people are undone all they that were laden with silver are cut off and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with lamps and I will punish the men that are settled on their lees that say in their heart the Hashem will not do good neither will he do evil therefore their wealth shall become a booty. And their houses a desolation yea they shall build houses but shall not inhabit them and they shall plant vineyards but shall not drink the wine thereof the great day of Hashem is near it is near and hasteth greatly even the voice of the day of Hashem wherein the mighty man crieth bitterly that day is a day of wrath a day of trouble and distress a day of wasteness and desolation a day of darkness and gloominess a day of clouds and thick darkness a day of the horn and alarm against the fortified cities and against the high towers and I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like the blind because they have sinned against Hashem and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as dung neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Hashem's wrath but the whole earth shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy for he will make an end yet a terrible end of all them that dwell in the earth Zephaniah chapter gather yourselves together ye gather together O shameless nation before the decree bring forth the day when one passeth as the chaff before the fierce anger of Hashem come upon you before the day of Hashem's anger come upon you seek ye Hashem all ye humble of the earth that have executed his ordinance seek righteousness seek humility it may be ye shall be hid in the day of Hashem's anger for Gaza shall be forsaken and Ashkelon a desolation they shall drive out Ashdod at the noonday and Ekron shall be rooted up woe unto the inhabitants of the sea coast the nation of the Cherethites the word of Hashem is against you O Canaan the land of the Philistines I will even destroy thee that there shall be no inhabitant and the sea coast shall be pastures even meadows for shepherds and folds for flocks and it shall be a portion for the remnant of the house of Judah whereon they shall feed in the houses of Ashkelon shall they lie down in the evening for Hashem their God will remember them and turn their captivity I have heard the taunt of Moab and the revilings of the children of Ammon wherewith they have taunted my people and spoken boastfully concerning their border therefore as I live saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel surely Moab shall be as Sodom and the children of Ammon as Gomorrah even the breeding place of nettles and salt pits and a desolation forever the residue of my people shall spoil them and the remnant of my nation shall inherit them this shall they have for their pride because they have taunted and spoken boastfully against the people of Hashem of hosts Hashem will be terrible unto them for he will famish all the gods of the earth then shall all the isles of the nations worship him every one from its place yea Ethiopians also ye shall be slain by my sword and he will stretch out his hand against the north and destroy Assyria and will make Nineveh a desolation and dry like the wilderness and all beasts of every kind shall lie down. In the midst of her in herds both the pelican and the bittern shall lodge in the capitals thereof voices shall sing in the windows desolation shall be in the posts for the cedar work thereof shall be uncovered this is the joyous city that dwelt without care that said in her heart I am and there is none else beside me how is she become a desolation a place for beasts to lie down in every one that passeth by her shall hiss and wag his hands Zephaniah chapter woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressing city she here kenned not the voice she received not correction she trusted not in Hashem she drew not near to her god her princes in the midst of her are roaring lions her judges are wolves of the desert they leave not a bone for the morrow her prophets are wanton and treacherous persons her priests have profaned that which is holy they have done violence to the law Hashem who is righteous is in the midst of her he will not do unrighteousness every morning doth he bring his right to light it faileth not but the unrighteous know it no shame I have cut off nations their corners are desolate I have made their streets waste so that none passeth by their cities are destroyed so that there is no man so that there is no inhabitant I said surely thou wilt fear me thou wilt receive correction so her dwelling shall not be cut off despite all that I have visited upon her but they betimes corrupted all their doings therefore wait yet for me saith Hashem until the day that I rise up to the prey for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy for then will I turn to the peoples a pure language that they may all call upon the name of Hashem to serve him with one consent from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia shall they bring my suppliants even the daughter of my dispersed as mine. Offering in that day shalt thou not be ashamed for all thy doings wherein thou hast transgressed against me for then I will take away out of the midst of thee thy proudly exulting ones and thou shalt no more be haughty in my holy mountain and I will leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people and they shall take refuge in the name of Hashem the remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity nor speak lies neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth for they shall feed. 
and lie down and none shall make them afraid sing O daughter of Zion shout O Israel be glad and rejoice with all the heart O daughter of Jerusalem Hashem hath taken away thy judgments he hath cast out thine enemy the king of Israel even Hashem is in the midst of thee thou shalt not fear evil any more in that day it shall be said to Jerusalem fear thou not O Zion let not thy hands be slack Hashem thy God is in the midst of thee a mighty one who will save he will rejoice over thee with Joy he will be silent in his love he will joy over thee with singing I will gather them that are far from the appointed season who are of thee that hast borne the burden of reproach behold at that time I will deal with all them that afflict thee and I will save her that is lame and gather her that was driven away and I will make them to be a praise and a name whose shame hath been in all the earth at that time will I bring you in and at that time will I gather you for I will make you to be a name and a praise among all the peoples of the earth when I turn your captivity before your eyes Seth Hashem Haggai chapter in the second year of Darius the king in the sixth month in the first day of the month came the word of Hashem by Haggai the prophet unto Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel governor of Judah and to Joshua the son of Jehozadak the high priest saying thus speak Hashem of hosts saying this people say the time is not come the time that Hashem's house should be built then came the word of Hashem by Haggai the prophet saying is it a time for you yourselves to dwell in your sealed houses while this house layeth waste now therefore thus saith Hashem of hosts consider your ways ye have sown much and brought in little ye eat but ye have not enough ye drink but ye are not filled with drink ye clothe you but there is none warm and he that earneth wages earneth wages for a bag with holes thus saith Hashem of hosts consider your ways go up to the hill country and bring wood and build the house and I will take pleasure in it and I will be glorified Seth Hashem ye looked for much and lo it came to little and when ye brought it home I did blow upon it why Seth Hashem of hosts because of my house that layeth waste while ye run every man for his own house therefore over you the heaven hath kept back so that there is no dew and the earth hath kept back her produce and I called for a drought upon the land and upon the mountains and upon the corn and upon the wine and upon the oil and upon that which the ground bringeth forth and upon men and upon cattle and upon all the labor of the hands then Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel and Joshua the son of Jehozadak the high priest with all the remnant of the people here kenned unto the voice of Hashem their God and unto the words of Haggai the prophet as Hashem their God had sent him and the people did fear before Hashem then spoke Haggai Hashem's messenger in Hashem's message unto the people saying I am with you Seth Hashem and Hashem stirred up the spirit of Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel governor of Judah and the spirit of Joshua the son of Jehozadak the high priest and the spirit of all the remnant of the people and they came and did work in the house of Hashem of hosts their God in the four and twentieth day of the month in the sixth month in the second year of Darius the king Haggai chapter in the seventh month in the one and twentieth day of the month came the word of Hashem by Haggai the prophet saying speak now to Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel governor of Judah and to Joshua the son of Jehozadak the high priest and to the remnant of the people saying who is left among you that saw this house in its former glory and how do ye see it now is not such a one as nothing in your eyes yet now be strong O Zerubbabel Seth Hashem and be strong O Joshua son of Jehozadak the high priest and be strong all ye people of the land Seth Hashem and work for I am with you Seth Hashem of hosts the word that I covenanted with you when ye came out of Egypt have I established and my spirit abideth among you fear ye not for thus Seth Hashem of hosts yet once it is a little while and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land and I will shake all nations and the choicest things of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory Seth Hashem of hosts mine is the silver and mine the gold. Seth Hashem of hosts the glory of this latter house shall be greater than that of the former Seth Hashem of hosts and in this place will I give peace Seth Hashem of hosts in the four and twentieth day of the ninth month in the second year of Darius came the word of Hashem by Haggai the prophet saying thus Seth Hashem of hosts ask now the priests for instruction saying if one bear hallowed flesh in the skirt of his garment and with his skirt do touch bread or pottage or wine or oil or any food shall it be holy and the priests answered and said no then said Haggai if one that is unclean by a dead body touch any of these shall it be unclean and the priests answered and said it shall be unclean then answered Haggai and said so is this people and so is this nation before me Seth Hashem and so is every work of their hands and that which they offer there is unclean and now I pray you consider from this day and forward before a stone was laid upon a stone in the Temple of Hashem through all that time when one came to a heap of twenty measures there were but ten when one came to the wine vat to draw out fifty press measures there were but twenty I smote you with blasting and with mildew and with hail in all the work of your hands yet ye turned not to me Seth Hashem consider I pray you from this day and forward from the four and twentieth day of the ninth month even from the day that the foundation of Hashem's temple was laid consider it is the Seed yet in the barn ye the vine and the fig tree and the pomegranate and the olive tree hath not brought forth from this day will I bless you and the word of Hashem came the second time unto Haggai in the four and twentieth day of the month saying speak to Zerubbabel governor of Judah saying I will shake the heavens and the earth and I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the nations and I will overthrow the chariots and those that 
Ride in them and the horses and their riders shall come down every one by the sword of his brother in that day Seth Hashem of hosts will I take thee O Zerubbabel my servant the son of Shealtiel Seth Hashem and will make thee as a signet for I have chosen thee Seth Hashem of hosts Zechariah chapter in the eighth month in the second year of Darius came the word of Hashem unto Zechariah the son of Berechiah the son of Ido the prophet saying the Hashem hath been sore displeased. With your fathers therefore say thou unto them thus Seth Hashem of hosts return unto me Seth Hashem of hosts and I will return unto you Seth Hashem of hosts be ye not as your fathers unto whom the former prophets proclaimed saying thus Seth Hashem of hosts return ye now from your evil ways and from your evil doings but they did not hear nor attend unto me Seth Hashem your fathers where are they and the prophets do they live forever but my words and my statutes which I commanded my servants the prophets did they not overtake your fathers so that they turned and said like as Hashem of hosts purposed to do unto us according to our ways and according to our doings so hath he dealt with us upon the four and twentieth day of the eleventh month which is the month Shabbat in the second year of Darius came the word of Hashem unto Zechariah the son of Berechiah the son of Ido the prophet saying I saw in the night and behold a man riding upon a red horse and he stood among the myrtle trees that were in the bottom and behind him there were horses red sorrel and white then said I O my lord what are these and the angel that spoke with me said unto me I will show thee what these are and the man that stood among the myrtle trees answered and said these are they whom Hashem hath sent to walk to and fro through the earth and they answered the angel of Hashem that stood among the myrtle trees and said we have walked to and fro through the earth and behold all the earth sitteth still and is at rest then the angel of Hashem spoke and said O Hashem of hosts how long wilt thou not have compassion on Jerusalem and on the cities of Judah against which thou hast had indignation these threescore and ten years and Hashem answered the angel that spoke with me with good words even comforting words so the angel that spoke with me said unto me proclaim thou saying thus saith Hashem of hosts I am jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with a great jealousy and I am very sore displeased with the nations that are at ease for I was but a little displeased and they helped for evil therefore thus saith Hashem I return to Jerusalem with compassions my house shall be built in it saith Hashem of hosts and a line shall be stretched forth over Jerusalem again proclaim saying thus saith Hashem of hosts my cities shall again overflow with prosperity and Hashem shall yet comfort Zion and shall yet choose Jerusalem Zechariah chapter and I lifted up mine eyes and saw and behold four horns and I said unto the angel that spoke with me what are these and he said unto me these are the horns which have scattered Judah Israel and Jerusalem and Hashem showed me four craftsmen then said I what come these to do and he spoke saying these the horns which scattered Judah so that no man did lift up his head these then are come to frighten them to cast down the horns of the nations which lifted up their horn against the land of Judah to scatter it and I lifted up mine eyes and saw and behold a man with a measuring line in his hand then said I whither goest thou and he said unto me to measure Jerusalem to see what is the breadth thereof and what is the length thereof and behold the angel that spoke with me went forth and another angel went out to meet him and said unto him run speak to this young man saying Jerusalem shall be inhabited without walls for the multitude of men and cattle therein for I. Seth Hashem will be unto her a wall of fire round about and I will be the glory in the midst of her ho ho flee then from the land of the north Seth Hashem for I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven Seth Hashem ho Zion escape thou that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon for thus Seth Hashem of hosts who sent me after glory unto the nations which spoiled you surely he that touch it you touch it the apple of his eye for behold I will shake my hand over them and they shall be a spoil to those that serve them and ye shall know that Hashem of hosts hath sent me sing and rejoice O daughter of Zion for lo I come and I will dwell in the midst of thee saith Hashem and many nations shall join themselves to Hashem in that day and shall be my people and I will dwell in the midst of thee and thou shalt know that Hashem of hosts hath sent me unto thee and Hashem shall inherit Judah as his portion in the holy land and shall choose Jerusalem again be. Silent all flesh before Hashem for he is aroused out of his holy habitation Zechariah chapter and he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of Hashem and Satan standing at his right hand to accuse him and Hashem said unto Satan the Hashem rebuke thee O Satan ye Hashem that hath chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee is not this man a brand plucked out of the fire now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and stood before the angel and he answered and spoke unto those that stood before him saying take the filthy garments from off him and unto him he said behold I cause thine iniquity to pass from thee and I will clothe thee with robes and I said let them set a fair mitre upon his head so they set a fair mitre upon his head and clothed him with garments and the angel of Hashem stood by and the angel of Hashem forewarned Joshua saying thus saith Hashem of hosts if thou wilt walk in my ways and if thou wilt keep my charge and wilt also judge my house and wilt also keep my courts then I will give thee free access among these that stand by here now O Joshua the high priest thou and thy fellows that sit before thee for they are men that are assigned for behold I will bring forth my servant the shoot for behold the stone that I have laid before Joshua upon one stone are seven facets behold I will engrave the graving thereof Seth Hashem of hosts and I will remove the iniquity of that land in one day in that day Seth Hashem of hosts 
Shall ye call every man his neighbor under the vine and under the fig tree Zechariah chapter and the angel that spoke with me returned and waked me as a man that is wakened out of his sleep and he said unto me what seest thou and I said I have seen and behold a candlestick all of gold with a bowl upon the top of it and its seven lamps thereon there are seven pipes yea seven to the lamps which are upon the top thereof and two olive trees by it one upon the right side of the bowl and the other upon the left side thereof and I answered and spoke to the angel that spoke with me saying what are these my lord then the angel that spoke with me answered and said unto me knowest thou not what these are and I said no my lord then he answered and spoke unto me saying this is the word of Hashem unto Zerubbabel saying not by might nor by power but by my spirit saith Hashem of hosts who art thou O great mountain before Zerubbabel thou shalt become a plain and he shall bring forth the top stone with shoutings of grace grace unto it moreover the word of Hashem came unto me saying the hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house his hands shall also finish it and thou shalt know that Hashem of hosts hath sent me unto you for who hath despised the day of small things even they shall see with joy the plummet in the hand of Zerubbabel even these seven which are the eyes of Hashem that run to and fro through the whole earth then answered I and said unto him what are these two olive trees upon the right side of the candlestick and upon the left side thereof and I answered the second time and said unto him what are these two olive branches which are beside the two golden spouts that empty the golden oil out of themselves and he answered me and said knowest thou not what these are and I said no my lord then said he these are the two anointed ones that stand by the lord of the whole earth Zechariah chapter then again I lifted up mine eyes and saw and behold a flying roll and he said unto me what seest thou and I answered I see a flying roll the length thereof is twenty cubits and the breadth thereof ten cubits then said he unto me this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole land for every one that stealeth shall be swept away on the one side like it and every one that sweareth shall be swept away on the other side like it I cause it to go forth saith Hashem of hosts and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name and it shall abide in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof then the angel that spoke with me went forth and said unto me lift up now thine eyes and see what is this that goeth forth and I said what is it and he said this is the measure that goeth forth he said moreover this is their eye in all the land and behold there was lifted up a round piece of lead and this is a woman sitting in the midst of the measure and he said this is wickedness and he cast her down into the midst of the measure and he cast the weight of lead upon the mouth thereof then lifted I up mine eyes and saw and behold there came forth two women and the wind was in their wings for they had wings like the wings of a stork and they lifted up the measure between the earth and the heaven then said I to the angel that spoke with me whither do these bear the measure and he said unto me to build her a house in the land of Shinar and when it is prepared she shall be set there in her own place Zechariah chapter and again I lifted up mine eyes and saw and behold there came four chariots out from between the two mountains and the mountains were mountains of brass in the first chariot were red horses and in the second chariot black horses and in the third chariot white horses and in the fourth chariot grizzled bay horses then I answered and said unto the angel that spoke with me what are these my lord and the angel answered and said unto me these chariots go forth to the four winds of heaven after presenting themselves before the lord of all the earth that wherein are the black horses goeth forth toward the north country and the white went forth after them and the grizzled went forth toward the south country and the bay went forth and they sought to go that they might walk to and fro through the earth and he said get you hence walk to and fro through the earth so they walked to and fro through the earth then cried he upon me and spoke unto me saying behold they that go toward the north country have eased my spirit in the north country and the word of Hashem came unto me saying take of them of the captivity even of Helday of Tobijah and of Jedeah that are come from Babylon and come thou the same day and go into the house of Josiah the son of Zephaniah yet yeah. Take silver and gold and make crowns and set the one upon the head of Joshua the son of Jehozadak the high priest and speak unto him saying thus speak Hashem of hosts saying behold a man whose name is the shoot and who shall shoot up out of his place and build the temple of Hashem even he shall build the temple of Hashem and he shall bear the glory and shall sit and rule upon his throne and there shall be a priest before his throne and the council of peace shall be between them both. And the crowns shall be to Helam and to Tobijah and to Jedeah and to Han the son of Zephaniah as a memorial in the temple of Hashem and they that are far off shall come and build in the temple of Hashem and ye shall know that Hashem of hosts hath sent me unto you and it shall come to pass if ye will diligently hearken to the voice of Hashem your God Zechariah chapter and it came to pass in the fourth year of King Darius that the word of Hashem came unto Zechariah in the fourth day. Of the ninth month even in Kislev when Bethel Sarezer and Regem Melech and his men had sent to entreat the favor of Hashem and to speak unto the priests of the house of Hashem of hosts and to the prophets saying should I weep in the fifth month separating myself as I have done these so many years then came the word of Hashem of hosts unto me saying speak unto all the people of the land and to the priests saying when ye fasted and mourned in the fifth and in the seventh month even. These seventy years did ye at all fast unto me even to me and when ye eat and when ye did drink are ye not they that eat and they that drink should ye not hearken to the words which Hashem hath proclaimed by the former prophets when Jerusalem was inhabited and in prosperity and the cities thereof round about her and the south and the lowland were inhabited and the word of Hashem came unto Zechariah saying thus hath Hashem of hosts spoken saying execute true judgment and show mercy and 
Compassion every man to his brother and oppress not the widow nor the fatherless the stranger nor the poor and let none of you devise evil against his brother in your heart but they refused to attend and turned a stubborn shoulder and stopped their ears that they might not hear yet they made their hearts as an adamant stone lest they should hear the law and the words which Hashem of hosts had sent by his spirit by the hand of the former prophets therefore came their great wrath from Hashem of hosts and it came to pass that as he called and they would not hear so they shall call and I will not hear said Hashem of hosts but I will scatter them with a whirlwind among all the nations whom they have not known thus the land was desolate after them so that no man passed through nor returned for they laid the pleasant land desolate Zechariah chapter and the word of Hashem of hosts came saying thus saith Hashem of hosts I am jealous for Zion with great jealousy and I am jealous for her with great fury thus saith Hashem I return unto Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem and Jerusalem shall be called the city of truth and the mountain of Hashem of hosts the holy mountain thus saith Hashem of hosts there shall yet old men and old women sit in the broad places of Jerusalem every man with his staff in his hand for very age and the broad places of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the broad places thereof thus saith Hashem of hosts if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in those days should it also be marvelous in mine eyes saith Hashem of hosts thus saith Hashem of hosts behold I will save my people from the east country and from the west country and I will bring them and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem and they shall be my people and I will be their God in truth and in righteousness thus saith Hashem of hosts let your hands be strong yea that here in these days these words from the mouth of the prophets that were in the day that the foundation of the house of Hashem of hosts was laid even the temple that it might be built for before those days there was no hire for man nor any hire for beast neither was there any peace to him that went out or came in because of the adversary for I set all men every one against his neighbor but now I will not be unto the remnant of this people as in the former days saith Hashem of hosts for as the seed of peace the vine shall give her fruit and the ground shall give her increase and the heavens shall give their due and I will cause the remnant of this people to inherit all these things and it shall come to pass that as ye were a curse among the nations O house of Judah and house of Israel so will I save you and ye shall be a blessing fear not but let your hands be strong for thus saith Hashem of hosts as I purposed to do evil unto you when your fathers provoked me saith Hashem of hosts and I repented not. So again do I purpose in these days to do good unto Jerusalem and to the house of Judah fear ye not these are the things that ye shall do speak ye every man the truth with his neighbor execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates and let none of you devise evil in your hearts against his neighbor and love no false oath for all these are things that I hate saith Hashem and the word of Hashem of hosts came unto me saying thus saith Hashem of hosts the fast of the fourth month. And the fast of the fifth and the fast of the seventh and the fast of the tenth shall be to the house of Judah joy and gladness and cheerful seasons therefore love ye truth and peace thus saith Hashem of hosts it shall yet come to pass that there shall come peoples and the inhabitants of many cities and the inhabitants of one city shall go to another saying let us go speedily to entreat the favor of Hashem and to seek Hashem of hosts I will go also ye many peoples and mighty nations shall come to seek Hashem of hosts in Jerusalem and to entreat the favor of Hashem thus saith Hashem of hosts in those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of all the languages of the nations shall even take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew saying we will go with you for we have heard that God is with you Zechariah chapter the burden of the word of Hashem in the land of Hadrach and in Damascus shall be his resting place for Hashem's is the eye of man and all the tribes of Israel and Hamath also shall border thereon Tyre and Zidon for she is very wise and Tyre did build herself a stronghold and heaped up silver as the dust and fine gold as the mire of the streets behold the Lord will impoverish her and he will smite her power into the sea and she shall be devoured with fire Ashkelon shall see it and fear Gaza also and shall be sore pained and Ekron for her expectation shall be ashamed and the king shall perish from Gaza and Ashkelon shall not be inhabited and a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines and I will take away his blood out of his mouth and his detestable things from between his teeth and he also shall be a remnant for our God and he shall be as a chief in Judah and Ekron as a Jebusite and I will encamp about my house against the army that none pass through or return and no oppressor shall pass through them any more for now have I seen with mine eyes rejoice greatly. O daughter of Zion shout O daughter of Jerusalem behold thy king cometh unto thee he is triumphant and victorious lowly and riding upon an ass even upon a colt the foal of an ass and I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem and the battle bow shall be cut off and he shall speak peace unto the nations and his dominion shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth as for thee also because of the blood of thy covenant I send forth thy Prisoners out of the pit wherein is no water return to the stronghold yet prisoners of hope even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee for I bent Judah for me I fill the bow with Ephraim and I will stir up thy sons O Zion against thy sons O Javan and will make thee as the sword of a mighty man and Hashem shall be seen over them and his arrow shall go forth as the lightning and the Lord God will blow the horn and will go with whirlwinds of the south Hashem of hosts will defend them and they shall devour and shall tread down the sling stones and they shall drink and make a noise as through wine and they shall be filled like the basins like the corners of the altar and Hashem their God shall save them in that day as the flock of his people for they shall be as the stones of a crown glittering over his land for how great is their goodness and how great is their beauty corn shall make the young men flourish and new wine the maids Zechariah chapter ask yet. 
of Hashem rain in the time of the latter rain even of Hashem that make lightnings and he will give them showers of rain to every one grass in the field for the teraphim have spoken vanity and the diviners have seen a lie and the dreams speak falsely they comfort in vain therefore they go their way like sheep they are afflicted because there is no shepherd mine anger is kindled against the shepherds and I will punish the he goats for Hashem of hosts hath remembered his flock the house of Judah and make them as his majestic horse in the battle out of them shall come forth the cornerstone out of them the stake out of them the battle bow out of them every master together and they shall be as mighty men treading down in the mire of the streets in the battle and they shall fight because Hashem is with them and the riders on horses shall be confounded and I will strengthen the house of Judah and I will save the house of Joseph and I will bring them back for I have compassion upon them and they shall be as though I had not cast them off for I am Hashem their God and I will hear them and they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man and their heart shall rejoice as through wine yet their children shall see it and rejoice their heart shall be glad in Hashem I will hiss for them and gather them for I have redeemed them and they shall increase as they have increased and I will sow them among the peoples and they shall remember me in far countries and they shall live with their children and shall return I will bring them back also out of the land of Egypt and gather them out of Assyria and I will bring them into the land of Gilead and Lebanon and place shall not suffice them and over the sea affliction shall pass and the waves shall be smitten in the sea and all the depths of the Nile shall dry up and the pride of Assyria shall be brought down and the scepter of Egypt shall depart away and I will strengthen them in Hashem and they shall walk up and down in his name saith Hashem Zechariah chapter open thy doors O Lebanon that the fire may devour thy cedars wail O cypress tree for the cedar is fallen because the glorious ones are spoiled wail O ye oaks of Bashan for the strong forest is come down hark the wailing of the shepherds for their glory is spoiled hark the roaring of young lions for the thickets of the Jordan are spoiled thus said Hashem my God feed the flock of slaughter whose buyers slay them and hold themselves not guilty and they that sell them say blessed be Hashem for I am rich and their own shepherds pity them not for I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land saith Hashem but lo I will deliver the men every one into his neighbor's hand and into the hand of his king and they shall smite the land and out of their hand I will not deliver them so I fed the flock of slaughter verily the poor of the flock and I took unto me two staves the one I called graciousness and the other I called binders and I fed the flock and I cut off the three shepherds in one month for my soul became impatient of them and their soul also loathed me then said I I will not feed you that which dieth let it die and that which is to be cut off let it be cut off and let them that are left eat every one the flesh of another and I took my staff graciousness and cut it asunder that I might break my covenant which I had made with all the peoples and it was broken in that day and the poor of the flock that gave heed unto me knew of a truth that it was the word of Hashem and I said unto them if ye think good give me my hire and if not forbear so they weighed for my hire thirty pieces of silver and Hashem said unto me cast it into the treasury the goodly price that I was prized out of them and I took the thirty pieces of silver and cast them into the treasury in the house of Hashem then I cut asunder mine other staff even binders that the brotherhood between Judah and Israel might be broken and Hashem said unto me take unto thee yet the instruments of a foolish shepherd for lo I will raise up a shepherd in the land who will not think of those that are cut off neither will seek those that are young nor heal that which is broken neither will he feed that which standeth still but he will eat the flesh of the fat and will break their hoofs in pieces woe to the worthless shepherd that leaveth the flock the sword shall be upon his arm and upon his right eye his arm shall be clean dried up and his right eye shall be utterly darkened Zechariah chapter the burden of the word of Hashem concerning Israel the saying of Hashem who stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundation of the earth and formed the spirit of man within him behold I will make Jerusalem a cup of staggering unto all the peoples round about and upon Judah also shall it fall to be in the siege against Jerusalem and it shall come to pass in that day that I will make Jerusalem a stone of burden for all the peoples all that burden themselves with it shall be sore wounded and all the nations of the earth shall be gathered together against it in that day saith Hashem I will smite every horse with bewilderment and his rider with madness and I will open mine eyes upon the house of Judah and will smite every horse of the peoples with blindness and the chiefs of Judah shall say in their heart the inhabitants of Jerusalem are my strength through Hashem of Hosts their God in that day will I make the chiefs of Judah like a pan of fire among the wood and like a torch of fire among sheaves and they shall devour all the peoples round about on the right hand and on the left and Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place even in Jerusalem Hashem also shall save the tents of Judah first that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem be not magnified above Judah in that day shall Hashem defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem and he that stumbleth among them at that day shall be as David and the house of David shall be as a godlike being as the angel of Hashem before them and it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem and I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplication and they shall look unto me because they have thrust him through and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn in that day shall there be a great mourning in Jerusalem as the mourning of Hadadrimon in the valley of Megiddon and the land shall mourn every family apart the family of the house of David apart and their wives apart the family of the house of Nathan apart and their wives apart the family of the house of Levi apart and their wives apart the family of the Shemites apart.
and their wives apart all the families that remain every family apart and their wives apart Zechariah chapter in that day there shall be a fountain open to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for purification and for sprinkling and it shall come to pass in that day saith Hashem of hosts that I will cut off the names of the idols out of the land and they shall no more be remembered and also I will cause the prophets and the unclean spirit to pass out of the land. And it shall come to pass that when any shall yet prophesy then his father and his mother that begot him shall say unto him thou shalt not live for thou speakest lies in the name of Hashem and his father and his mother that begot him shall thrust him through when he prophesieth and it shall come to pass in that day that the prophets shall be brought to shame every one through his vision when he prophesieth neither shall they wear a hairy mantle to deceive but he shall say I am no prophet. I am a tiller of the ground for I have been made a bondman from my youth and one shall say unto him what are these wounds between thy hands then he shall answer those with which I was wounded in the house of my friends awake O sword against my shepherd and against the man that is near unto me saith Hashem of hosts smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered and I will turn my hand upon the little ones and it shall come to pass that in all the land saith Hashem two parts therein shall be cut off and die but the third shall be left therein and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried they shall call on my name and I will answer them I will say it is my people and they shall say the Hashem is my God Zechariah chapter behold a day of Hashem cometh when thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee for I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle and the city shall be taken and the houses rifled and the women ravished and half of the city shall go forth into captivity but the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city then shall Hashem go forth and fight against those nations as when he fighteth in the day of battle and his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives which is before Jerusalem on the east and the Mount of Olives shall cleft in the midst thereof toward the east and toward the west so that there shall be a very great valley and half of the mountain shall remove toward the north and half of it toward the south and ye shall flee to the valley of the mountains for the valley of the mountains shall reach unto Azel ye, ye shall flee like as ye fled from before the earthquake in the days of Uzziah king of Judah and Hashem my God shall come and all the holy ones with thee and it shall come to pass in that day that there shall not be light but heavy clouds and thick and there shall be one day which shall be known as Hashem's not day and not night but it shall come to pass that at evening time there shall be light and it shall come to pass in that day that living waters shall go out from Jerusalem half of them toward the eastern sea and half of them toward the western sea in summer and in winter shall it be and Hashem shall be king over all the earth in that day shall Hashem be one and his name one all the land shall be turned as the arable from Geba to Rimmon south of Jerusalem and she shall be lifted up and inhabited in her place from Benjamin's gate unto the place of the first gate unto the corner gate and from the tower of Hananel unto the king's wine presses and men shall dwell therein and there shall be no more extermination but Jerusalem shall dwell safely and this shall be the plague wherewith Hashem will smite all the peoples that have warred against Jerusalem their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their sockets and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth and it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from Hashem shall be among them and they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor and Judah also shall fight against Jerusalem and the wealth of all the nations round about shall be gathered together gold and silver and apparel in great abundance and so shall be the plague of the horse of the mule of the camel and of the ass and of all the beasts that shall be in those camps as this plague and it shall come to pass that every one that is left of all the nations that came against Jerusalem shall go up from year to year to worship the king Hashem of hosts and to keep the feast of tabernacles and it shall be that whoso of the families of the earth goeth not up unto Jerusalem to worship the king Hashem of hosts upon them there shall be no rain and if the family of Egypt go not up and come not they shall have no overflow there shall be the plague wherewith Hashem will smite the nations that go not up to keep the feast of tabernacles this shall be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all the nations that go not up to keep the feast of tabernacles in that day shall there be upon the bells of the horses holy unto the Hashem and the pots in Hashem's house shall be like the basins before the altar yea every pot in Jerusalem and in Judah shall be holy unto Hashem of hosts and all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them and seat therein and in that day there shall be no more a trafficker in the house of Hashem of hosts Malachi chapter the burden of the word of Hashem to Israel by Malachi I have loved you Seth Hashem yet yes a wherein hast thou loved us was not Esau Jacob's brother Seth Hashem yet I love Jacob but Esau I hated and made his mountains a desolation and gave his heritage to the jackals of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith we are beaten down but we will return and build the waste places thus saith Hashem of hosts they shall build but I will throw down and they shall be called the border of wickedness and the people whom Hashem execrateth forever and your eyes shall see and ye shall say the Hashem is great beyond the border of Israel a son Hanureth his father and a servant his master if then I be a father where is my honor and if I be a master where is my fear saith Hashem of hosts. Unto you O priests that despise my name and yes say wherein have we despised thy name yet offer polluted bread upon mine altar and yes say wherein have we polluted thee in that yes say the table of Hashem is contemptible and when yet offer the blind for sacrifice is it no evil and when yet offer the lame and sick is it no evil present it now unto thy governor will he be pleased with thee or will he accept thy person saith Hashem of hosts and now I pray you entreat the favor of God that 
he may be gracious unto us this hath been of your doing will he accept any of your person saith Hashem of hosts so that there were even one among you that would shut the doors that ye might not kindle fire on mine altar in vain I have no pleasure in you saith Hashem of hosts neither will I accept an offering at your hand for from the rising of the sun even unto the going down of the same my name is great among the nations and in every place offerings are presented unto my name even. Pure oblations for my name is great among the nations saith Hashem of hosts but ye profane it in that ye say the table of Hashem is polluted and the fruit thereof even the food thereof is contemptible ye say also behold what a weariness is it and ye have snuffed at it saith Hashem of hosts and ye have brought that which was taken by violence and the lame and the sick thus ye bring the offering should I accept this of your hand saith Hashem but cursed be he that dealeth craftily. Whereas he hath in his flock a male and vow it and sacrificeth unto the Lord a blemished thing for I am a great king saith Hashem of hosts and my name is feared among the nations Malachi chapter and now this commandment is for you O ye priests if ye will not hearken and if ye will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name saith Hashem of hosts then will I send the curse upon you and I will curse your blessings ye I curse them because ye do not lay it to heart behold I will rebuke the seed for your hurt and will spread dung upon your faces even the dung of your sacrifices and ye shall be taken away unto it know then that I have sent this commandment unto you that my covenant might be with Levi saith Hashem of hosts my covenant was with him of life and peace and I gave them to him and of fear and he feared me and was afraid of my name the law of truth was in his mouth and unrighteousness was not found in his lips he walked with me in peace and uprightness and did turn many away from iniquity for the priest's lips should keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth for he is the messenger of Hashem of hosts but ye are turned aside out of the way ye have caused many to stumble in the law ye have corrupted the covenant of Levi saith Hashem of hosts therefore have I also made you contemptible and base before all the people according as ye have not kept my ways but have had respect of persons in the law have we not all one father hath not one God created us why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother profaning the covenant of our fathers Judah hath dealt treacherously and an abomination is committed in Israel and in Jerusalem for Judah hath profaned the holiness of Hashem which he loveth and hath married the daughter of a strange God may Hashem cut off to the man that doth this him that calleth and him that answereth out of the tents of Jacob and him that offereth an offering unto Hashem of hosts and this. Further ye do ye cover the altar of Hashem with tears with weeping and with sighing in so much that he regardeth not the offering any more neither receiveth it with good will at your hand yet ye say wherefore because Hashem hath been witness between thee and the wife of thy youth against whom thou hast dealt treacherously though she is thy companion and the wife of thy covenant and not one hath done so who had exuberance of spirit for what seek the one a seed given of God therefore take. Heed to your spirit and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth for I hate putting away saith Hashem the God of Israel and him that covereth his garment with violence saith Hashem of hosts therefore take heed to your spirit that ye deal not treacherously ye have wearied Hashem with your words yet ye say wherein have we wearied him in that ye say every one that doth evil is good in the sight of Hashem and he delighteth in them or where is the God of justice Malachi. Chapter Behold I send my messenger and he shall clear the way before me and the Lord whom ye seek will suddenly come to his temple and the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in behold he cometh saith Hashem of hosts but who may abide the day of his coming and who shall stand when he appeareth for he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap and he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver and he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver and there shall be they that shall offer unto Hashem offerings in righteousness then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto Hashem as in the days of old and as in ancient years and I will come near to you to judgment and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers and against the adulterers and against false swearers and against those that oppress the hireling in his wages the widow and the fatherless and that turn aside the stranger from his right and fear not me saith Hashem. Of hosts for I Hashem change not and ye O sons of Jacob are not consumed from the days of your fathers ye have turned aside from mine ordinances and have not kept them return unto me and I will return unto you saith Hashem of hosts but ye say wherein shall we return will a man rob God yet ye rob me but ye say wherein have we robbed thee in tithes and heave offerings ye are cursed with the curse yet ye rob me even this whole nation bring ye the whole tithe into the storehouse that. There may be food in my house and try me now here with Seth Hashem of hosts if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall be more than sufficiency and I will rebuke the devourer for your good and he shall not destroy the fruits of your land neither shall your vine cast its fruit before the time in the field Seth Hashem of hosts and all nations shall call you happy for ye shall be a delightsome land Seth Hashem of hosts your words have been all. Too strong against me saith Hashem yet ye say wherein have we spoken against thee ye have said it is vain to serve God and what profit is it that we have kept his charge and that we have walked mournfully because of Hashem of hosts and now we call the proud happy ye they that work wickedness are built up ye they try God and are delivered then they that feared Hashem spoke one with another and Hashem here kent and heard and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared Hashem and that thought upon his name and they shall be mine saith Hashem of hosts in the day that I do make even mine own treasure and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him then shall ye again discern between the righteous and the wicked between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and all the proud ye and all that do wickedly shall be stubble and the day that cometh shall burn them up. 
Seth the Lord of hosts had it shall leave them neither root nor branch but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall and ye shall tread down the wicked for they shall be ashes under the solace of your feet in the day that I shall do this Seth the Lord of hosts remember ye the law of Moses my servant which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. Behold I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers lest I come and smite the earth with a curse Psalms chapter happy is the man that hath not walked in the counsel of the wicked nor stood in the way of sinners nor sat in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of Hashem and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by streams of water that bringeth forth its fruit in its season and whose leaf doth not wither and in whatsoever he doth he shall prosper not so the wicked but they are like the chaff which the wind driveth away therefore the wicked shall not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous for Hashem regardeth the way of the righteous but the way of the wicked shall perish Psalms chapter why are the nations in an uproar and why do the peoples mutter in vain the kings of the earth stand up and the rulers take counsel together against Hashem and against his anointed let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us he that sitteth in heaven laugheth the Lord hath them in derision then will he speak unto them in his wrath and affright them in his sore displeasure truly it is I that have established my king upon Zion my holy mountain I will tell of the decree Hashem said unto me thou art my son this day have I begotten thee ask of me and I will give the nations for thine inheritance and the ends of the earth for thy possession thou shalt break them with a rod of iron thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel now therefore O ye kings be wise be admonished ye judges of the earth serve Hashem with fear and rejoice with trembling do homage in purity lest he be angry and ye perish in the way when suddenly his wrath is kindled happy are all they that take refuge in him Psalms chapter a Psalm of David when he fled from Absalom his son Hashem how many are mine adversaries become many are they that rise up against me many there are that say of my soul there is no salvation for him in God's seal but thou O Hashem art a shield about me my glory and the lifter up of my head with my voice I call unto Hashem and he answereth me out of his holy mountain Selah I lay me down and I sleep I awake for Hashem sustaineth me I am not afraid of Ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about arise O Hashem save me O my God for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheek thou hast broken the teeth of the wicked salvation Belangeth unto Hashem thy blessing be upon thy people Selah Psalms chapter for the leader with string music A Psalm of David answer me when I call O God of my righteousness thou who didst set me free when I was in distress be gracious unto me and hear my prayer O ye sons of Men how long shall my glory be put to shame in that ye love vanity and seek after falsehood Selah but know that Hashem hath set apart the godly man as his own Hashem will hear when I call unto him tremble and sin not commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still Selah offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in Hashem many there are that say oh that we could see some good Hashem lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us thou hast put gladness in my heart more than when their corn and their wine increase in peace will I both lay me down and sleep for thou Hashem makest me dwell alone in safety Psalms chapter for the leader upon the net he loath a Psalm of David give ear to my words O Hashem consider my meditation hearken unto the voice of my cry my king and my God for unto thee do I pray O Hashem in the morning shalt thou hear my voice in the morning will I order my prayer unto thee and will look forward for thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness evil shall not sojourn with thee the boaster shall not stand in thy sight thou hatest all workers of iniquity thou destroyest them that speak falsehood Hashem abhorreth the man of blood and of deceit but as for me in the abundance of thy loving kindness will I come into thy house I will bow down toward thy holy temple in the fear of thee O Hashem lead me in thy righteousness because of them that lie in wait for me make thy way straight before my face. For there is no sincerity in their mouth their inward part is a yawning gulf their throat is an open sepulchre they make smooth their tongue hold them guilty O God let them fall by their own counsels cast them down in the multitude of their transgressions for they have rebelled against thee so shall all those that take refuge in thee rejoice they shall ever shout for joy and thou shalt shelter them let them also that love thy name exult in thee for thou dost bless the righteous O Hashem. Thou dost encompass him with favor as with a shield Psalms chapter for the leader with string music on the Sheminith a Psalm of David O Hashem rebuke me not in thine anger neither chasten me in thy wrath be gracious unto me O Hashem for I languish away heal me O Hashem for my bones are affrighted my soul also is sore affrighted and thou O Hashem how long return O Hashem deliver my soul save me for thy mercy's sake for in death there is no remembrance of thee in the nether world. Who will give thee thanks I am weary with my groaning every night make I my bed to swim I melt away my couch with my tears mine eye is dimmed because of vexation it waxed old because of all mine adversaries depart from me all ye workers of iniquity for Hashem hath heard the voice of my weeping Hashem hath heard my supplication Hashem receiveth my prayer all mine enemies shall be ashamed and sore affrighted they shall turn back they shall be ashamed suddenly Psalms chapter.
Shigan of David which he sang unto Hashem concerning Cusha Benjamit O Hashem my God in thee have I taken refuge save me from all them that pursue me and deliver me lest he tear my soul like a lion rending it in pieces while there is none to deliver O Hashem my God if I have done this if there be iniquity in my hands if I have requited him that did evil unto me or spoiled mine adversary unto emptiness let the enemy pursue my soul and overtake it and tread my life down to the earth. Yea let him lay my glory in the dust seal arise O Hashem in thine anger lift up thyself in indignation against mine adversaries yea wake for me at the judgment which thou hast commanded and let the congregation of the peoples compass thee about and over them return thou on high O Hashem who ministerest judgment to the peoples judge me O Hashem according to my righteousness and according to mine integrity that is in me O that a full measure of evil might come upon the wicked and that thou wouldest establish the righteous for the righteous God trieth the heart and reigns my shield is with God who saveth the upright in heart God is a righteous judge yet God that hath indignation every day if a man turn not he will wet his sword he hath bent his bow and made it ready he hath also prepared for him the weapons of death yet his arrows which he made sharp behold he travaileth with iniquity yet he conceiveth mischief and bringeth forth falsehood he hath digged a pit and hollowed it and is fallen into the ditch which he made his mischief shall return upon his own head and his violence shall come down upon his own pate I will give thanks unto Hashem according to his righteousness and will sing praise to the name of Hashem most high psalms chapter for the leader upon the giddeth a psalm of David O Hashem our Lord how glorious is thy name in all the earth whose majesty is rehearsed above the heavens out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast Thou founded strength because of thine adversaries that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger when I behold thy heavens the work of thy fingers the moon and the stars which thou hast established what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou thinkest of him yet thou hast made him but little lower than the angels and hast crowned him with glory and honor thou hast made him to have dominion over the works of thy hands thou hast put all things under his feet sheep and oxen all of them yea and the beasts of the field the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea whatsoever passeth through the paths of the seas O Hashem our Lord how glorious is thy name in all the earth Psalms chapter for the leader upon Muthlaban a psalm of David I will give thanks unto Hashem with my whole heart I will tell of all thy marvelous works I will be glad and exult in thee I will sing praise to thy name O Most High when mine enemies are turned back they stumble and perish at thy presence for thou hast maintained my right and my cause thou saddest upon the throne as the righteous judge thou hast rebuked the nations thou hast destroyed the wicked thou hast blotted out their name forever and ever O thou enemy the waste places are come to an end forever and the cities which thou didst uproot their very memorial is perished but Hashem is enthroned forever he hath established his throne for judgment and he will judge the world in righteousness he will minister judgment to the peoples with equity Hashem also will be a high tower for the oppressed a high tower in times of trouble and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee for thou Hashem hast not forsaken them that seek thee sing praises to Hashem who dwelleth in Zion declare among the peoples his doings for he that even geth blood hath remembered them he hath not forgotten the cry of the humble be gracious unto me O Hashem behold mine affliction at the hands of them that hate me thou that liftest me up from the gates of death that I may tell of all thy praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion that I may rejoice in thy salvation the nations are sunk down in the pit that they made in the net which they hid is their own foot taken Hashem hath made himself known he hath executed judgment the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands Higa and Selah the wicked shall return to the nether world even all the nations that forget God for the needy shall not always be forgotten nor the expectation of the poor perish forever arise O Hashem let not man prevail let the nations be judged in thy sight set terror over them O Hashem let the nations know they are but men Selah Psalms chapter why standest thou afar off O Hashem why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble through the pride of the wicked the poor is hotly pursued they are taken in the devices that they have imagined for the wicked boast death of his hearts. Desire and the covetous vaunteth himself though he contemn Hashem the wicked in the pride of his countenance saith he will not require all his thoughts are there is no God his ways prosper at all times thy judgments are far above out of his sight as for all his adversaries he puffeth at them he saith in his heart I shall not be moved I who to all generations shall not be in adversity his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and oppression under his tongue is mischief and iniquity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages in secret places doth he slay the innocent his eyes are on the watch for the helpless he leath in wait in a secret place as a lion in his lair he leath in wait to catch the poor he doth catch the poor when he draweth him up in his net he croucheth he bow it down and the helpless fall into his mighty claws he hath said in his heart God hath forgotten he hideth his face he will never see arise O Hashem O God lift up thy hand forget not. The humble wherefore doth the wicked contemn God and say in his heart thou wilt not require thou hast seen for thou beholdest trouble and vexation to requite them with thy hand unto thee the helpless committeth himself thou hast been the helper of the fatherless break thou the arm of the wicked and as for the evil man search out his wickedness till none be found Hashem is king forever and ever the nations are perished out of his land Hashem thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou wilt direct their heart thou wilt cause thine ear to attend to right the fatherless and the oppressed that man who is of the earth may be terrible no more Psalms chapter for the leader a psalm of David in Hashem have I taken refuge how say yet to my soul flee thou to your mountain yet birds for lo the wicked bend the bow they have made ready their arrow upon the string that they may shoot in darkness at the upright in heart when the foundations are destroyed what hath the 
Righteous Rod Hashem is in his holy temple Hashem his throne is in heaven his eyes behold his eyelids try the children of men Hashem trieth the righteous but the wicked and him that loveth violence his soul hate upon the wicked he will cause to rain coals fire and brimstone and burning wind shall be the portion of their cup for Hashem is righteous he loveth righteousness the upright shall behold his face Psalms chapter for the leader on the Sheminith a Psalm of David help. Hashem for the godly man seizeth for the faithful fail from among the children of men they speak falsehood every one with his neighbor with flattering lip and with a double heart do they speak may Hashem cut off all flattering lips the tongue that speak proud things who have said our tongue will we make mighty our lips are with us who is lord over us for the oppression of the poor for the sighing of the needy now will I arise saith Hashem I will set him in safety at whom they puff the words of Hashem are pure words as silver tried in a crucible on the earth refined seven times thou wilt keep them O Hashem thou wilt preserve us from this generation forever the wicked walk on every side when vileness is exalted among the sons of men Psalms chapter for the leader a Psalm of David how long O Hashem wilt thou forget me forever how long wilt thou hide thy face from me how long shall I take counsel in my soul having sorrow in my heart by day how long Shall mine enemy be exalted over me behold thou and answer me O Hashem my God lighten mine eyes lest I sleep the sleep of death lest mine enemy say I have prevailed against him lest mine adversaries rejoice when I am moved but as for me in thy mercy do I trust my heart shall rejoice in thy salvation I will sing unto Hashem because he hath dealt bountifully with me Psalms chapter for the leader a Psalm of David the fool hath said in his heart there is no God they have dealt. Corruptly they have done abominably there is none that doth good Hashem looked forth from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any man of understanding that did seek after God they are all corrupt they are together become impure there is none that doth good no not one shall not all the workers of iniquity know it who eat up my people as they eat bread and call not upon Hashem there are they in great fear for God is with the righteous generation yet would put to shame the counsel of the poor but Hashem is his refuge oh that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion when Hashem turneth the captivity of his people let Jacob rejoice let Israel be glad Psalms chapter a Psalm of David Hashem who shall sojourn in thy tabernacle who shall dwell upon thy holy mountain he that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh truth in his heart that hath no slander upon his tongue nor doth evil to his fellow nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor in whose eyes a vile person is despised but he honoureth them that fear Hashem he that sweareth to his own hurt and changeth not he that putteth not out his money on interest nor taketh a bribe against the innocent he that doth these things shall never be moved Psalms chapter Mictum of David keep me O God for I have taken refuge in thee I have said unto Hashem thou art my Lord I have no good but in thee as for the holy that are in the earth they are the excellent in whom is all my delight let the idols of them be multiplied that make suit unto another their drink offerings of blood will I not offer nor take their names upon my lips O Hashem the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup thou maintainest my lot the lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places yea I have a goodly heritage I will bless Hashem who hath given me counsel yea in the night seasons my reigns instruct me I have set Hashem always before me surely he is at my right and I shall not be moved therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoiceth my flesh also dwelleth in safety for thou wilt not abandon my soul to the nether world neither wilt thou suffer thy godly one to see the pit thou makest me to know the path of life in thy presence is fullness of joy in thy right hand bliss forevermore Psalms chapter a prayer of David hear the right O Hashem attend unto my cry give ear unto my prayer from lips without deceit let my judgment come forth from thy presence let thine eyes behold equity thou hast tried my heart thou hast visited it in the night thou hast tested me and thou findest not that I had a thought which should not pass my mouth as for the doings of men by the word of thy lips I have kept me from the ways of the violent my steps have held fast to thy paths my feet have not slipped as for me I call upon thee for thou wilt answer me O God incline thine ear unto me hear my speech make passing great thy mercies O thou that Savest by thy right hand from assailants them that take refuge in thee keep me as the apple of the eye hide me in the shadow of thy wings from the wicked that oppress my deadly enemies that compass me about their gross heart they have shut tight with their mouth they speak proudly at our every step they have now encompassed us they set their eyes to cast us down to the earth he is like a lion that is eager to tear in pieces and like a young lion lurking in secret places arise oh. Hashem confront him cast him down deliver my soul from the wicked by thy sword from men by thy hand O Hashem from men of the world whose portion is in this life and whose belly thou fillest with thy treasure who have children in plenty and leave their abundance to their babes as for me I shall behold thy face in righteousness I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness Psalms chapter for the leader a Psalm of David the servant of Hashem who spoke unto Hashem the words of this. Song in the day that Hashem delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul and he said I love thee O Hashem my strength Hashem is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer my God my rock in him I take refuge my shield and my horn of salvation my high tower praised I cry is Hashem and I am saved from mine enemies the cords of death compassed me and the floods of Belial assailed me the cords of Sheol surrounded me the snares of death confronted me in my 
Distress I called upon Hashem and cried unto my God out of his temple he heard my voice and my cry came before him unto his ears then the earth did shake and quake the foundations also of the mountains did tremble they were shaken because he was wroth smoke arose up in his nostrils and fire out of his mouth did devour coals flamed forth from him he bowed the heavens also and came down and thick darkness was under his feet and he rode upon a cherub and did fly yet he did swoop down upon. The wings of the wind he made darkness his hiding place his pavilion round about him darkness of waters thick clouds of the skies at the brightness before him there passed through his thick clouds hailstones and coals of fire Hashem also thundered in the heavens and the Most High gave forth his voice hailstones and coals of fire and he sent out his arrows and scattered them and he shot forth lightnings and discomfited them and the channels of waters appeared and the foundations of the world were laid bare at thy rebuke O Hashem at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils he sent from on high he took me he drew me out of many waters he delivered me from mine enemy most strong and from them that hated me for they were too mighty for me they confronted me in the day of my calamity but Hashem was a stay unto me he brought me forth also into a large place he delivered me because he delighted in me Hashem rewarded me according to my righteousness according to the cleanness of my hands hath he recompensed me for I have kept the ways of Hashem and have not wickedly departed from my God for all his ordinances were before me and I put not away his statutes from me and I was single hearted with him and I kept myself from mine iniquity therefore hath Hashem recompensed me according to my righteousness according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyes with the merciful thou dost show thyself merciful with the upright man thou dost show thyself upright with the pure thou dost show thyself pure and with the crooked thou dost show thyself subtle for thou dost save the afflicted people but the haughty eyes thou dost humble for thou dost light my lamp Hashem my God doth lighten my darkness for by thee I run upon a troop and by my God do I scale a wall as for God his way is perfect the word of Hashem is tried he is a shield unto all them that take refuge in him for who is God save Hashem and who is a rock except our God the God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way straight who maketh my feet like hinds and setteth me upon my high places who traineth my hands for war so that mine arms do bend a bow of brass thou hast also given me thy shield of salvation and thy right hand hath holden me up and thy condescension hath made me great thou hast enlarged my steps under me and my feet have not slipped I have pursued mine enemies and overtaken them neither did I turn back till they were consumed I have smitten them through so that they are not able to rise they are fallen under my feet for thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me thou hast also made mine enemies turn their backs unto me and I did cut off them that hate me they cried but there was none to save even unto Hashem but he answered them not then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind I did cast them out as the mire of the streets thou hast delivered me from the contentions of the people thou hast made me the head of the nations a people whom I have not known serve me as soon as they hear of me they obey me the sons of the stranger dwindle away before me the sons of the stranger fade away and come trembling out of their close places Hashem liveth and blessed be my rock and exalted be the God of my salvation even the God that executeth vengeance for me and subdueth peoples under me he delivereth me from mine enemies yet Thou liftest me up above them that rise up against me thou deliverest me from the violent man therefore I will give thanks unto thee O Hashem among the nations and will sing praises unto thy name great salvation giveth he to his king and showeth mercy to his anointed to David and to his seed forevermore Psalms chapter for the leader a psalm of David the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament showeth his handiwork day unto day uttereth speech and night unto night revealeth knowledge there is no speech there are no words neither is their voice heard their line is gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world in them hath he set a tent for the sun which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoiceth as a strong man to run his course his going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof the law of Hashem is perfect restoring the soul the testimony of Hashem is sure making wise the simple the precepts of Hashem are right rejoicing the heart the commandment of Hashem is pure enlightening the eyes the fear of Hashem is clean enduring forever the ordinances of Hashem are true they are righteous altogether more to be desired are they than gold yet than much fine gold sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb moreover by them is thy servant warned in keeping of them there is great reward who can discern his errors. Clear thou me from hidden faults keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins that they may not have dominion over me then shall I be faultless and I shall be clear from great transgression let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable before thee O Hashem my rock and my redeemer Psalms chapter for the leader a psalm of David Hashem answer thee in the day of trouble the name of the God of Jacob set thee up on high send forth thy help from thee sanctuary and support thee out of Zion receive the memorial of all thy meal offerings and accept the fat of thy burnt sacrifice seal a grant thee according to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel we will shout for joy in thy victory and in the name of our God we will set up our standards Hashem fulfill all thy petitions now know I that Hashem saveth his anointed he will answer him from his holy heaven with the mighty acts of his saving right hand some trust in chariots and some in 
horses but we will make mention of the name of Hashem our God they are bowed down and fallen but we are risen and stand upright save Hashem let the king answer us in the day that we call Psalms chapter for the leader a psalm of David O Hashem in thy strength the king rejoiceth and in thy salvation how greatly doth he exult thou hast given him his heart's desire and the request of his lips thou hast not withhold in Selah for thou meetest him with choicest blessings thou settest a crown of fine gold on his head he asked life of thee thou gavest it him even length of days forever and ever his glory is great through thy salvation honor and majesty dost thou lay upon him for thou makest him most blessed forever thou makest him glad with joy in thy presence for the king trusteth in Hashem yet in the mercy of the most high he shall not be moved thy hand shall be equal to all thine enemies thy right hand shall overtake those that hate thee thou shalt make them as a fiery furnace in the time of thine anger Hashem shall swallow them up in his wrath and the fire shall devour them their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth and their seed from among the children of men for they intended evil against thee they imagined a device wherewith they shall not prevail for thou shalt make them turn their back thou shalt make ready with thy bowstrings against the face of them be thou exalted O Hashem in thy strength so will we sing and praise thy power. Psalms chapter for the leader upon Ijleth Hashahar a psalm of David my God my God why hast thou forsaken me and art far from my help at the words of my cry O my God I call by day but thou answerest not and at night and there is no surcease for me yet thou art holy O thou that art enthroned upon the praises of Israel in thee did our fathers trust they trusted and thou didst deliver them unto thee they cried and escaped in thee did they trust and were not ashamed but I am a worm and no man a reproach of men and despised of the people all they that see me laugh me to scorn they shoot out the lip they shake the head let him commit himself unto Hashem let him rescue him let him deliver him seeing he delighteth in him for thou art he that took me out of the womb thou madest me trust when I was upon my mother's breasts upon thee I have been cast from my birth thou art my God from my mother's womb be not far from me for trouble is near for there is none to Help many bulls have encompassed me strong bulls of Bashan have beset me round they open wide their mouth against me as a ravening and a roaring lion I am poured out like water and all my bones are out of joint my heart is become like wax it is melted in mine in most parts my strength is dried up like a pot's herd and my tongue cleaveth to my throat and thou layest me in the dust of death for dogs have encompassed me a company of evil doers have enclosed me like a lion they are at my Hands and my feet I may count all my bones they look and gloat over me they part my garments among them and for my vesture do they cast lots but thou O Hashem be not far off O thou my strength hasten to help me deliver my soul from the sword mine only one from the power of the dog save me from the lion's mouth yea from the horns of the wild oxen do thou answer me I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the congregation will I praise thee yea that fear Hashem. Praise him all ye the seed of Jacob glorify him and stand in awe of him all ye the seed of Israel for he hath not despised nor abhorred the lowliness of the poor neither hath he hid his face from him but when he cried unto him he heard from thee cometh my praise in the great congregation I will pay my vows before them that fear him let the humble eat and be satisfied let them praise Hashem that seek after him may your heart be quickened forever all the ends of the earth shall remember. And turn unto Hashem and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee for the kingdom is Hashem's and he is the ruler over the nations all the fat ones of the earth shall eat and worship all they that go down to the dust shall kneel before him even he that cannot keep his soul alive a seed shall serve him it shall be told of the Lord unto the next generation they shall come and shall declare his righteousness unto a people that shall be born that he hath done it Psalms. Chapter A Psalm of David Hashem is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restoreth my soul he guideth me in straight paths for his name's sake yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies thou hast anointed my head with oil my cup runneth over surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of Hashem forever Psalms chapter A Psalm of David the earth is Hashem's and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein for he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods who shall ascend into the mountain of Hashem and who shall stand in his holy place he that hath clean hands and a pure heart who hath not taken my name in vain and hath not sworn deceitfully. He shall receive a blessing from Hashem and righteousness from the God of his salvation such is the generation of them that seek after him that seek thy face even Jacob Selah lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors that the king of glory may come in who is the king of glory the Hashem strong and mighty Hashem mighty in battle lift up your heads O ye gates ye lift them up ye everlasting doors that the king of glory may come in who then is the king. Of glory the Hashem of hosts he is the king of glory Selah Psalms chapter A Psalm of David unto thee O Hashem do I lift up my soul O my God in thee have I trusted let me not be ashamed let not mine enemies triumph over me ye none that wait for thee shall be ashamed they shall be ashamed that deal treacherously without cause show me thy ways O Hashem teach me thy paths guide me in thy truth and teach me for thou art the God of my salvation for thee do I wait all the day.
Remember O Hashem thy compassions and thy mercies for they have been from of old remember not the sins of my youth nor my transgressions according to thy mercy remember thou me for thy goodness sake O Hashem good and upright is Hashem therefore doth he instruct sinners in the way he guides the humble in justice and he tiak hate the humble his way all the paths of Hashem are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies for thy name's sake O Hashem pardon mine. Iniquity for it is great what man is he that feareth Hashem him will he instruct in the way that he should choose his soul shall abide in prosperity and his seed shall inherit the land the counsel of Hashem is with them that fear him and his covenant to make them know it mine eyes are ever toward Hashem for he will bring forth my feet out of the net turn thee unto me and be gracious unto me for I am solitary and afflicted the troubles of my heart are enlarged O bring thou me out of my distresses see mine affliction and my travail and forgive all my sins consider how many are mine enemies and the cruel hatred wherewith they hate me O keep my soul and deliver me let me not be ashamed for I have taken refuge in thee let integrity and uprightness preserve me because I wait for thee redeem Israel O God out of all his troubles Psalms chapter a Psalm of David judge me O Hashem for I have walked in mine integrity and I have trusted in Hashem without wavering. Examine me O Hashem and try me test my reins and my heart for thy mercy is before mine eyes and I have walked in thy truth I have not sat with men of falsehood neither will I go in with dissemblers I hate the gathering of evil doers and will not sit with the wicked I will wash my hands in innocency so will I compass thine altar O Hashem that I may make the voice of thanksgiving to be heard and tell of all thy wondrous works Hashem I love the habitation of thy house and the place. Where thy glory dwelleth gather not my soul with sinners nor my life with men of blood in whose hands is craftiness and their right hand is full of bribes but as for me I will walk in mine integrity redeem me and be gracious unto me my foot standeth in an even place in the congregations will I bless Hashem Psalms chapter a Psalm of David Hashem is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear Hashem is the stronghold of my life of whom shall I be afraid when evildoers came upon me to eat up my flesh even mine adversaries and my foes they stumbled and fell though a host should encamp against me my heart shall not fear though war should rise up against me even then will I be confident one thing have I asked of Hashem that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of Hashem all the days of my life to behold the graciousness of Hashem and to visit early in his temple for he concealeth me in his pavilion in the day of evil he hideth me in the covert of his tent. He lifteth me up upon a rock and now shall my head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me and I will offer in his tabernacle sacrifices with trumpet sound I will sing yet I will sing praises unto Hashem hear O Hashem when I call with my voice and be gracious unto me and answer me in thy behalf my heart hath said seek ye my face thy face Hashem will I seek hide not thy face far from me put not thy servant away in anger thou hast been my help cast me not off neither forsake me O. God of my salvation for though my father and my mother have forsaken me Hashem will take me up teach me thy way O Hashem and lead me in an even path because of them that lie in wait for me deliver me not over unto the will of mine adversaries for false witnesses are risen up against me and such as breathe out violence if I had not believed to look upon the goodness of Hashem in the land of the living wait on Hashem be strong and let thy heart take courage yet wait thou for Hashem. Psalms chapter a Psalm of David unto thee O Hashem do I call my rock be not thou deaf unto me lest if thou be silent unto me I become like them that go down into the pit hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee when I lift up my hands toward thy holy sanctuary draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity who speak peace with their neighbors but evil is in their hearts give them according to their deeds and according to the evil of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands render to them their desert because they give no heed to the works of Hashem nor to the operation of his hands he will break them down and not build them up blessed be Hashem because he hath heard the voice of my supplications Hashem is my strength and my shield in him hath my heart trusted and I am helped therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth and with my song will I praise him Hashem is a strength unto them and he is a stronghold of salvation too. His anointed save thy people and bless thine inheritance and tend them and carry them forever Psalms chapter a Psalm of David ascribe unto Hashem O yes sons of might ascribe unto Hashem glory and strength ascribe unto Hashem the glory due unto his name worship Hashem in the beauty of holiness the voice of Hashem is upon the waters the God of glory thundereth even Hashem upon many waters the voice of Hashem is powerful the voice of Hashem is full of majesty the voice of Hashem. Break the cedars ye Hashem break in pieces the cedars of Lebanon he make them also to skip like a calf Lebanon and Syrian like a young wild ox the voice of Hashem heweth out flames of fire the voice of Hashem shake the wilderness Hashem shake the wilderness of Kadesh the voice of Hashem make the hinds to calve and strip peth the forest spare and in his temple all say glory Hashem sat enthroned at the flood ye Hashem sitteth as king forever Hashem will give strength. Unto his people Hashem will bless his people with peace Psalms chapter a Psalm a song at the dedication of the house of David I will extol thee O Hashem for thou hast raised me up and hast not suffered mine enemies to rejoice over me O Hashem my God I cried unto thee and thou didst heal me O Hashem thou broughtest up my soul from the nether world thou didst kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit sing praise unto Hashem O yet his godly ones and give thanks to his holy.
Name for his anger is but for a moment his favor is for a lifetime weeping may tarry for the night but joy cometh in the morning now I had said in my security I shall never be moved thou hadst established O Hashem in thy favor my mountain as a stronghold thou didst hide thy face I was affrighted unto thee O Hashem did I call and unto Hashem I made supplication what profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit shall the dust praise thee shall it declare thy truth here. O Hashem and be gracious unto me Hashem be thou my helper thou didst turn for me my morning into dancing thou didst lose my sackcloth and gird me with gladness so that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent O Hashem my God I will give thanks unto thee forever Psalms chapter for the leader a psalm of David in thee O Hashem have I taken refuge let me never be ashamed deliver me in thy righteousness incline thine ear unto me deliver me speedily be thou to me a rock of Refuge even a fortress of defense to save me for thou art my rock and my fortress therefore for thy name's sake lead me and guide me bring me forth out of the net that they have hidden for me for thou art my stronghold into thy hand I commit my spirit thou hast redeemed me O Hashem thou God of truth I hate them that regard lying vanities but I trust in Hashem I will be glad and rejoice in thy loving kindness for thou hast seen mine affliction thou hast taken cognizance of the troubles of my soul and thou hast not given me over into the hand of the enemy thou hast set my feet in a broad place be gracious unto me O Hashem for I am in distress mine eye wasteth away with vexation yea my soul and my body for my life is spent in sorrow and my years in sighing my strength faileth because of mine iniquity and my bones are wasted away because of all mine adversaries I am become a reproach yea unto my neighbors exceedingly and a dread to mine acquaintance they that see me. Without flee from me I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind I am like a useless vessel for I have heard the whispering of many terror on every side while they took counsel together against me they devised to take away my life but as for me I have trusted in thee O Hashem I have said thou art my God my times are in thy hand deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me make thy face to shine upon thy servant save me in thy loving kindness O Hashem let me not be ashamed for I have called upon thee let the wicked be ashamed let them be put to silence in the nether world let the lying lips be dumb which speak arrogantly against the righteous with pride and contempt oh how abundant is thy goodness which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee which thou hast wrought for them that take their refuge in thee in the sight of the sons of men thou hidest them in the covert of thy presence from the plottings of man thou concealest them in a pavilion from the strife of tongues blessed be Hashem for he hath shown me his wondrous loving kindness in an entrenched city as for me I said in my haste I am cut off from before thine eyes nevertheless thou heardest the voice of my supplications when I cried unto thee O love Hashem all yet his godly ones Hashem preserveth the faithful and plentifully repayeth him that acteth haughtily be strong and let your heart take courage all yet that wait for Hashem Psalms chapter a Psalm of David Maskil happy is he whose transgression is forgiven whose sin is pardoned happy is the man unto whom Hashem counteth not iniquity and in whose spirit there is no guile when I kept silence my bones wore away through my groaning all the day long for day and night thy hand was heavy upon me my sap was turned as in the droughts of summer Selah I acknowledged my sin unto thee and mine iniquity have I not hid I said I will make confession concerning my transgressions unto Hashem and Thou thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin Selah for this let every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found surely when the great waters overflow they will not reach unto him thou art my hiding place thou wilt preserve me from the adversary with songs of deliverance thou wilt compass me about Selah I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go I will give counsel mine eye being upon thee be ye not as the horse or as the mule which have no understanding whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle that they come not near unto thee many are the sorrows of the wicked but he that trusteth in Hashem mercy compasseth him about be glad in Hashem and rejoice ye righteous and shout for joy all ye that are upright in heart Psalms chapter rejoice in Hashem O ye righteous praise is comely for the upright give thanks unto Hashem with harp sing praises unto him with the psaltery of ten strings sing unto him a new song play. Skillfully amid shouts of joy for the word of Hashem is upright and all his work is done in faithfulness he loveth righteousness and justice the earth is full of the loving kindness of Hashem by the word of Hashem were the heavens made and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth he gathereth the waters of the sea together as a heap he layeth up the deeps in storehouses let all the earth fear Hashem let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him for he spoke and it was he commanded and it stood Hashem bringeth the counsel of the nations to not he make the thoughts of the peoples to be of no effect the counsel of Hashem standeth forever the thoughts of his heart to all generations happy is the nation whose God is Hashem the people whom he hath chosen for his own inheritance Hashem looked from heaven he beholdeth all the sons of men from the place of his habitation he looked intently upon all the inhabitants of the earth he that fashioneth the hearts of them all that considereth all their doings a king is not saved by the multitude of a host a mighty man is not delivered by great strength a horse is a vain thing for safety neither doth it afford escape by its great strength behold the eye of Hashem is toward them that fear him toward them that wait for his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine our soul hath waited for Hashem he is our help and our shield for in him doth our 
Heart rejoice because we have trusted in his holy name let thy mercy O Hashem be upon us according as we have waited for thee Psalms chapter A Psalm of David when he changed his demeanor before Abimelech who drove him away and he departed I will bless Hashem at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth my soul shall glory in Hashem the humble shall hear thereof and be glad O magnify Hashem with me and let us exalt his name together I sought Hashem and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears they looked unto him and were radiant and their faces shall never be abashed this poor man cried and Hashem heard and saved him out of all his troubles the angel of Hashem encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them O consider and see that Hashem is good happy is the man that taketh refuge in him O fear Hashem yet his holy ones for there is no want to them that fear him the young lions do lack and suffer hunger but they that seek Hashem want not any good thing come yet children hearken unto me I will teach you the fear of Hashem who is the man that desireth life and loveth days that he may see good therein keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile depart from evil and do good seek peace and pursue it the eyes of Hashem are toward the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry the face of Hashem is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth they cried and Hashem heard and delivered them out of all their troubles Hashem is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as are of a contrite spirit many are the ills of the righteous but Hashem delivereth him out of them all he keepeth all his bones not one of them is broken evil shall kill the wicked and they that hate the righteous shall be held guilty Hashem redeemeth the soul of his servants and none of them that take refuge in him shall be desolate Psalms chapter a Psalm of David strive O Hashem with them that strive with me fight against them that fight against me take hold of shield and buckler and rise up to my help draw out also the spear and the battle axe against them that pursue me say unto my soul I am thy salvation let them be ashamed and brought to confusion that seek after my soul let them be turned back and be abashed that devise my hurt let them be as chaff before the wind the angel of Hashem thrusting them let their way be dark and slippery the angel of Hashem pursuing them for without cause have they hid for me the pit even their net without cause have they digged for my soul let destruction come upon him unawares and let his net that he hath hid catch himself with destruction let him fall therein and my soul shall be joyful in Hashem it shall rejoice in his salvation all my bones shall say Hashem who is like unto thee who deliverest the poor from him that is too strong for him yea the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him unrighteous witnesses rise up they ask me of things that I know not they repay me evil for good bereavement is come to my soul but as for me when they were sick my clothing was sackcloth I afflicted my soul with fasting and my prayer may it return into mine own bosom I went about as though it had been my friend or my brother I bowed down mournful as one that mourneth for his mother but when I halt they rejoice and gather themselves together the abjects gather themselves together against me and those whom I know not they tear me and cease not with the profanest mockeries of backbiting they gnash at me with their teeth Lord how long wilt thou look on rescue my soul from their destructions mine only one from the lions I will give thee thanks in the great congregation I will praise thee among a numerous people let not them that are wrongfully mine enemies rejoice over me neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause for they speak not peace but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land yea they open their mouth wide against me they say aha aha or I hath seen it thou hast seen O Hashem keep not silence O Lord be not far from me rouse thee and awake to my judgment even unto my cause my God and my Lord judge me O Hashem my God according to thy righteousness and let them not rejoice over me let them not say in their heart aha we have our desire let them not say we have swallowed him up let them be ashamed and abashed together that rejoice at my hurt let them be clothed with shame and confusion that magnify themselves against me let them shout for joy and be glad that delight in my righteousness yea let them say continually magnified be Hashem who delighteth in the peace of his servant and my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day psalms chapter for the leader a psalm of David the servant of Hashem transgression speak to the wicked methinks there is no fear of God before his eyes for it flattereth him in his eyes until his iniquity be found and he be hated the words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit he hath left off to be wise to do good he devi saith iniquity upon his bed he setteth himself in a way that is not good he abhorreth not evil thy loving kindness O Hashem is in the heavens thy faithfulness reach it unto the skies thy righteousness is like the mighty mountains thy judgments are like the great deep man and beast thou preservest O Hashem how precious is thy loving kindness O God and the children of men take refuge in the shadow of thy wings they are abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house and thou makest them drink of the river of thy pleasures for with thee is the fountain of life in thy light do we see light O continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee and thy righteousness to the upright in heart let not the foot of Pride overtake me and let not the hand of the wicked drive me away there are the workers of iniquity fallen they are thrust down and are not able to rise Psalms chapter a Psalm of David fret not thyself because of evildoers neither be thou envious against them that work unrighteousness for they shall soon wither like the grass and fade as the green herb trust in Hashem and do good dwell in the land and cherish faithfulness so shalt thou delight thyself in Hashem and he shall give.
Thee the petitions of thy heart commit thy way unto Hashem trust also in him and he will bring it to pass and he will make thy righteousness to go forth as the light and thy right as the noonday resign thyself unto Hashem and wait patiently for him fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass cease from anger and forsake wrath fret not thyself it tendeth only to evil doing for evil doers shall be cut off but those that wait for Hashem they shall inherit the land and yet a little while and the wicked is no more yet thou shalt look well at his place and he is not but the humble shall inherit the land and delight themselves in the abundance of peace the wicked plotteth against the righteous and gnash it at him with his teeth the Lord doth laugh at him for he seeth that his day is coming the wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy to slay such as are upright in the way their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken better is a little that the righteous hath than the abundance of many wicked for the arms of the wicked shall be broken but Hashem upholdeth the righteous Hashem knoweth the days of them that are wholehearted and their inheritance shall be forever they shall not be ashamed in the time of evil and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied for the wicked shall perish and the enemies of Hashem shall be as the fat of lambs they shall pass away in smoke they shall pass away the wicked borroweth and payeth not but the righteous dealeth graciously and giveth for such as are blessed of him shall inherit the land and they that are cursed of him shall be cut off it is of Hashem that a man's goings are established and he delighted in his way though he fall he shall not be utterly cast down for Hashem upholdeth his hand I have been young and now am old yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread all the day long he dealeth graciously and lendeth and his seed is blessed depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore for Hashem loveth justice and forsaketh not his saints they are preserved forever but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off the righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever the mouth of the righteous uttereth wisdom and his tongue speak justice the law of his God is in his heart none of his steps slide the wicked watch the righteous and seek to slay him Hashem will not leave him in his hand nor suffer him to be condemned when he is judged wait for Hashem and keep his way and he will exalt thee to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off thou shalt see it I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a leafy tree in its native soil but one passed by and lo he was not yet I sought him but he could not be found mark the man of integrity and behold the upright for there is a future for the man of peace but transgressors shall be destroyed together the future of the wicked shall be cut off but the salvation of the righteous is of Hashem he is their stronghold in the time of trouble and Hashem helpeth them and delivereth them he delivereth them from the wicked and saveth them because they have taken refuge in him Psalms chapter a Psalm of David to make memorial O Hashem rebuke me not in thine anger neither chasten me in thy wrath for thine arrows are gone deep into me and thy hand is come down upon me there is no soundness in my flesh because of thine indignation neither is there any health in my bones because of my sin for mine iniquities are gone over my head as a heavy burden they are too heavy for me my wounds are noisome they fester because of my foolishness I am bent and bowed down greatly I go mourning all the day for my loins are filled with burning and there is no soundness in my flesh I am benumbed and sore crushed I groan by reason of the moaning of my heart Lord all my desire is before thee and my sighing is not hid from thee my heart fluttereth my strength faileth me as for the light of mine eyes it also is gone from me my friends and my companions stand aloof from my plague and my kinsmen stand afar off they also that seek after my life lay snares for me and they that seek my hurt speak crafty devices and utter deceits all the day but I am as a deaf man I hear not and I am as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth yet I am become as a man that heareth not and in whose mouth are no arguments for in thee O Hashem do I hope thou wilt answer O Lord my God for I said lest they rejoice over me when my foot slippeth they magnify themselves against me for I am ready to halt and my pain is continually before me for I do declare mine iniquity I am full of care because of my sin but mine enemies are strong in health and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied they also that repay evil for good are adversaries unto me because I follow the thing that is good forsake me not O Hashem O my God be not far from me make haste to help me O Lord my salvation Psalms chapter for the leader for Jeduth and a Psalm of David I said I will take heed to my ways that I sin not with my tongue I will keep a curb upon my mouth while the wicked is before me I was dumb with silence I held my peace had no comfort and my pain was Held in check my heart waxed hot within me while I was musing the fire kindled then spoke I with my tongue Hashem make me to know mine end and the measure of my days what it is let me know how short lived I am behold thou hast made my days as hand breadths and mine ages as nothing before thee surely every man at his best estate is altogether vanity seal surely man walketh as a mere semblance surely for vanity they are in turmoil he heapeth up riches and knoweth not who shall gather them and now Lord what wait I for my hope it is in thee deliver me from all my transgressions make me not the reproach of the base I am dumb I open not my mouth because thou hast done it remove thy stroke from off me I am consumed by the blow of thy hand with rebukes dost thou chasten man for iniquity and like a moth thou makest his beauty to consume away surely every man is vanity seal hear my prayer O Hashem and give ear unto my cry keep not silence at my tears for I am a 
Stranger with thee a sojourner as all my fathers were look away from me that I may take comfort before I go hence and be no more Psalms chapter for the leader a Psalm of David I waited patiently for Hashem and he inclined unto me and heard my cry he brought me up also out of the tumultuous pit out of the miry clay and he set my feet upon a rock he established my goings and he hath put a new song in my mouth even praise unto our God many shall see and fear and shall trust in. Hashem happy is the man that hath made Hashem his trust and hath not turned unto the arrogant nor unto such as fall away treacherously many things hast thou done O Hashem my God even thy wonderful works and thy thoughts toward us there is none to be compared unto thee if I would declare and speak of them they are more than can be told sacrifice and meal offering thou hast no delight in mine ears hast thou opened burnt offering and sin offering hast thou not required then said I lo I am. Come with the roll of a book which is prescribed for me I delight to do thy will O oh my God yet thy law is in my inmost parts I have preached righteousness in the great congregation lo I did not refrain my lips O oh Hashem thou knowest I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation I have not concealed thy mercy and thy truth from the great congregation thou O oh Hashem wilt not withhold thy compassions from me let thy mercy and thy truth continually preserve me for innumerable evils have compassed me about mine iniquities have overtaken me so that I am not able to look up they are more than the hairs of my head and my heart hath failed me be pleased O Hashem to deliver me O Hashem make haste to help me let them be ashamed and abashed together that seek after my soul to sweep it away let them be turned backward and brought to confusion that delight in my hurt let them be appalled by reason of their shame that say unto me Aha aha let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee let such as love thy salvation say continually the Hashem be magnified but as for me that am poor and needy the Lord will account it unto me thou art my help and my deliverer O my God tarry not Psalms chapter for the leader a Psalm of David happy is he that considereth the poor Hashem will deliver him in the day of evil Hashem preserve him and keep him alive let him be called happy in the land and deliver not. Thou him unto the greed of his enemies Hashem support him upon the bed of illness mayest thou turn all his lying down in his sickness as for me I said O Hashem be gracious unto me heal my soul for I have sinned against thee mine enemies speak evil of me when shall he die and his name perish and if one come to see me he speak falsehood his heart gathereth iniquity to itself when he goeth abroad he speak of it all that hate me whisper together against me against me do they. Devise my hurt an evil thing cleaveth fast unto him and now that he leeth he shall rise up no more ye mine own familiar friend in whom I trusted who did eat of my bread hath lifted up his heel against me but thou O Hashem be gracious unto me and raise me up that I may requite them by this I know that thou delightest in me that mine enemy doth not triumph over me and as for me thou upholdest me because of mine integrity and settest me before thy face forever blessed be Hashem the God of Israel from everlasting and to everlasting Amen and Amen Psalms chapter for the leader masculine of the sons of Korah as the heart panteth after the water brook so panteth my soul after thee O God my soul thirsteth for God for the living God when shall I come and appear before God my tears have been my food day and night while they say unto me all the day where is thy God these things I remember and pour out my soul within me how I passed on with the throng and led them to the house of God with the voice of joy and praise a multitude keeping holy day why art thou cast down O my soul and why moanest thou within me hope thou in God for I shall yet praise him for the salvation of his countenance O my God my soul is cast down within me therefore do I remember thee from the land of Jordan and the Hermans from the hill Mizar deep calleth unto deep at the voice of thy cataracts all thy waves and thy billows are gone over me by day Hashem will command his loving kindness and in the night his song shall be with me even a prayer unto the God of my life I will say unto God my rock why hast thou forgotten me why go I mourning under the oppression of the enemy as with a crushing in my bones mine adversaries taunt me while they say unto me all the day where is thy God why art thou cast down O my soul and why moanest thou within me hope thou in God for I shall yet praise him the salvation of my countenance and my God Psalms chapter b. Thou my judge O God and plead my cause against an ungodly nation O deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man for thou art the God of my strength why hast thou cast me off why go I mourning under the oppression of the enemy O send out thy light and thy truth let them lead me let them bring me unto thy holy mountain and to thy dwelling places then will I go unto the altar of God unto God my exceeding joy and praise thee upon the harp O God my God why art thou cast down O my soul and why moanest thou within me hope thou in God for I shall yet praise him the salvation of my countenance and my God Psalms chapter for the leader a psalm of the sons of Korah masculine O God we have heard with our ears our fathers have told us a work thou didst in their days in the days of old thou with thy hand didst drive out the nations and didst plant them in thou didst break the peoples and didst spread them abroad for not by their own sword did they get the land in possession. Neither did their own arm save them but thy right hand and thine arm and the light of thy countenance because thou wast favorable unto them thou art my king O God command the salvation of Jacob through thee do we push down our adversaries through thy name do we tread them under that rise up against us for I trust not in my bow neither can my sword save me but thou hast saved us from our adversaries and hast put them to shame that hate us in God have we gloried all the day and we will.
Give thanks unto thy name forever Selah yet thou hast cast off and brought us to confusion and goest not forth with our hosts thou makest us to turn back from the adversary and they that hate us spoil at their will thou hast given us like sheep to be eaten and hast scattered us among the nations thou sellest thy people for small gain and hast not set their prices high thou makest us a taunt to our neighbors a scorn and a derision to them that are round about us thou makest us a by word among the nations a shaking of the head among the peoples all the day is my confusion before me and the shame of my face hath covered me for the voice of him that taunteth and blasphemeth by reason of the enemy and the revengeful all this is come upon us yet have we not forgotten thee neither have we been false to thy covenant our heart is not turned back neither have our steps declined from thy path though thou hast crushed us into a place of jackals and covered us with the shadow of death if we had forgotten the name of our god or spread forth our hands to a strange god would not god search this out for he knoweth the secrets of the heart nay but for thy sake are we killed all the day we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter awake why sleepest thou o lord arouse thyself cast not off forever wherefore hidest thou thy face and forgettest our affliction and our oppression for our soul is bowed down to the dust our belly cleaveth unto the earth Arise for our help and redeem us for thy mercy's sake Psalms chapter for the leader upon Shoshanim a psalm of the sons of Korah Maskele a song of loves my heart overflow it with a goodly matter I say my work is concerning a king my tongue is the pen of a ready writer thou art fairer than the children of men grace is poured upon thy lips therefore God hath blessed thee forever gird thy sword upon thy thigh O mighty one thy glory and thy majesty and in thy majesty prosper ride on in behalf of truth and meekness and righteousness and let thy right hand teach thee tremendous things thine arrows are sharp the peoples fall under thee they sink into the heart of the king's enemies thy throne given of God is forever and ever a scepter of equity is the scepter of thy kingdom thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God thy God hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows myrrh and aloes and kasha are all thy garments out of Ivory palaces stringed instruments have made thee glad king's daughters are among thy favorites at thy right hand doth stand the queen in gold of Ophir hearken O daughter and consider and incline thine ear forget also thine own people and thy father's house so shall the king desire thy beauty for he is thy lord and do homage unto him and O daughter of Tyre the richest of the people shall entreat thy favor with a gift all glorious is the king's daughter within the palace her. Rhymant is of checker work inwrought with gold she shall be led unto the king on richly woven stuff the virgins her companions in her train being brought unto thee they shall be led with gladness and rejoicing they shall enter into the king's palace instead of thy fathers shall be thy sons whom thou shalt make princes in all the land I will make thy name to be remembered in all generations therefore shall the peoples praise thee forever and ever Psalms chapter for the leader a Psalm of the sons of Korah upon Alamoth a song God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble therefore will we not fear though the earth do change and though the mountains be moved into the heart of the seas though the waters thereof roar and foam though the mountains shake at the swelling thereof Selah there is a river the streams whereof make glad the city of God the holiest dwelling place of the most high God is in the midst of her she shall not be moved God shall help her at the approach of morning nations were in tumult kingdoms were moved he uttered his voice the earth melted Hashem of hosts is with us the God of Jacob is our high tower Selah come behold the works of Hashem who hath made desolations in the earth he make wars to cease unto the end of the earth he break the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder he burneth the chariots in the fire let be and know that I am God I will be exalted among the nations I will be exalted in the earth Hashem of hosts is with us the God of Jacob is our high tower Selah Psalms chapter for the leader a psalm for the sons of Korah O clap your hands all ye peoples shout unto God with the voice of triumph for Hashem is most high awful a great king over all the earth he subdueth peoples under us and nations under our feet he chooseth our inheritance for us the pride of Jacob whom he loveth Selah God is gone up amidst shouting Hashem amidst the sound of the horn sing Praises to God sing praises sing praises unto our king sing praises for God is the king of all the earth sing ye praises in a skillful song God reigneth over the nations God sitteth upon his holy throne the princes of the peoples are gathered together the people of the God of Abraham for unto God belong the shields of the earth he is greatly exalted Psalms chapter a song a psalm of the sons of Korah great is Hashem and highly to be praised in the city of our God his holy mountain. Fair in situation the joy of the whole earth even Mount Zion the uttermost parts of the north the city of the great king God in her palaces hath made himself known for a stronghold for lo the kings assembled themselves they came onward together they saw straightway they were amazed they were affrighted they haste away trembling took hold of them their pangs as of a woman in travail with the east wind thou breakest the ships of Tarshish as we have heard so have we seen in the city. Of Hashem of hosts in the city of our God God establish it forever Selah we have thought on thy loving kindness O God in the midst of thy temple as is thy name O God so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth thy right hand is full of righteousness let Mount Zion be glad let the daughters of Judah rejoice because of thy judgments walk about Zion and go round about her count the towers thereof mark ye well her ramparts traverse her palaces that ye may tell it to the generation. 
following for such is God our God forever and ever he will guide us eternally Psalms chapter for the leader a psalm of the sons of Korah hear this all ye peoples give ear all ye inhabitants of the world both low and high rich and poor together my mouth shall speak wisdom and the meditation of my heart shall be understanding I will incline mine ear to a parable I will open my dark saying upon the harp wherefore should I fear in the days of evil when the iniquity of my Supplanters compasseth me about of them that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches no man can by any means redeem his brother nor give to God a ransom for him for too costly is the redemption of their soul and must be let alone forever that he should still live alway that he should not see the pit for he seeth that wise men die the fool and the brutish together perish and leave their wealth to others their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations they call their lands after their own names but man abideth not in honor he is like the beasts that perish this is the way of them that are foolish and of those who after them approve their saying seal like sheep they are appointed for the netherworld death shall be their shepherd and the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning and their form shall be for the netherworld to wear away that there be no habitation for it but God will redeem my soul from the power of the netherworld for he shall receive me Selah be not thou afraid when one waxth rich when the wealth of his house is increased for when he dieth he shall carry nothing away his wealth shall not descend after him though while he lived he blessed his soul men will praise thee when thou shalt do well to thyself it shall go to the generation of his fathers they shall never see the light man that is in honor understandeth not he is like the beasts that perish psalms chapter a psalm of asaph god god hashem hath spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof out of zion the perfection of beauty god hath shined forth our god cometh and doth not keep silence a fire devoureth before him and round about him it stormeth mightily he calleth to the heavens above and to the earth that he may judge his people gather my saints together unto me those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice and the heavens declare his righteousness for God he is judge Selah hear O my people and I will speak O Israel and I will testify against thee God thy God am I I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices and thy burnt offerings are continually before me I will take no bullock out of thy house nor he goats out of thy folds for every beast of the forest is mine and the cattle upon a thousand hills I know all the fowls of the mountains and the wild beasts of the field are mine if I were hungry I would not tell thee for the world is mine and the fullness thereof do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats offer unto God the sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the most high and call upon me in the day of trouble I will deliver thee and thou shalt honor me but unto the wicked God saith what hast thou to do to declare my statutes and that thou hast taken my covenant in thy mouth seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee when thou sawest a thief thou hadst company with him and with adulterers was thy portion thou hast let loose thy mouth for evil and thy tongue frameth deceit thou sittest and speakest against thy brother thou slanderest thine own mother's son these things hast thou done and should I have kept silence thou hadst thought that I was altogether such a one as thyself but I will reprove thee and set the cause before thine eyes now consider this Yea that forget God lest I tear in pieces and there be none to deliver whoso offereth the sacrifice of thanksgiving hanureth me and to him that ordereth his way aright will I show the salvation of God Psalms chapter for the leader a psalm of David when Nathan the prophet came unto him after he had gone into Bathsheba be gracious unto me O God according to thy mercy according to the multitude of thy compassions blot out my transgressions wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and Cleanse me from my sin for I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me against thee the only have I sinned and done that which is evil in thy sight that thou mayest be justified when thou speakest and be in the right when thou judgest behold I was brought forth in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me behold thou desirest truth in the inward parts make me therefore to know wisdom in mine inmost heart purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean wash me and I shall be whiter than snow make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast crushed may rejoice hide thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities create me a clean heart O God and renew a steadfast spirit within me cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy holy spirit from me restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and let a willing spirit uphold me then will I teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall return unto thee deliver me from blood guiltiness O God thou God of my salvation so shall my tongue sing aloud of thy righteousness O Lord open thou my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise for thou delightest not in sacrifice else would I give it thou hast no pleasure in burnt offering the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit a broken and a contrite heart O God thou wilt not despise do good in thy favor unto Zion build thou the walls of Jerusalem then wilt thou delight in the sacrifices of righteousness in burnt offering and whole offering then will they offer bullocks upon thine altar psalms chapter for the leader masculine of david when dog the edomite came and told saul and said unto him david is come to the house of ahimelech why boastest thou thyself of evil o mighty man the mercy of god endureth continually thy tongue devi saith destruction like a sharp razor working deceitfully thou lovest evil more than good falsehood rather than speaking righteousness Selah, thou lovest all devouring words
the deceitful tongue God will likewise break thee forever he will take thee up and pluck thee out of thy tent and root thee out of the land of the living seal the righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him lo this is the man that made not God his stronghold but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself in his wickedness but as for me I am like a leafy olive tree in the house of God I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever I will give thee thanks forever because thou hast done it and I will wait for thy name for it is good in the presence of thy saints psalms chapter for the leader upon Mahalath Maskil of David the fool hath said in his heart there is no God they have dealt corruptly and have done abominable iniquity there is none that doth good God looked forth from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any man of understanding that did seek after God every one of them is unclean they are together become impure there is none that doth good no not one shall not the workers of iniquity know it who eat up my people as they eat bread and call not upon God there are they in great fear where no fear was for God hath scattered the bones of him that encampeth against thee thou hast put them to shame because God hath rejected them O that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion when God turneth the captivity of his people let Jacob rejoice let Israel be glad Psalms chapter for the leader with string music maskil of David when the Ziphites came and said to Saul doth not David hide himself with us O God save me by thy name and write me by thy might O God hear my prayer give ear to the words of my mouth for strangers are risen up against me and violent men have sought after my soul they have not set God before them Selah behold God is my helper the Lord is for me as the upholder of my soul he will requite the evil unto them that lie in wait for me. Destroy thou them in thy truth with a free will offering will I sacrifice unto thee I will give thanks unto thy name O Hashem for it is good for he hath delivered me out of all trouble and mine eye hath gazed upon mine enemies Psalms chapter for the leader with string music maskil of David give ear O God to my prayer and hide not thyself from my supplication attend unto me and hear me I am distraught in my complaint and will moan because of the voice of the enemy because of the oppression of the wicked for they cast mischief upon me and in anger they persecute me my heart doth writhe within me and the terrors of death are fallen upon me fear and trembling come upon me and horror hath overwhelmed me and I said oh that I had wings like a dove then would I fly away and be at rest lo then would I wander far off I would lodge in the wilderness Selah I would haste me to a shelter from the stormy wind and tempest destroy O Lord and divide their tongue for I have seen violence and strife in the city day and night they go about it upon the walls thereof iniquity also and mischief are in the midst of it wickedness is in the midst thereof oppression and guile depart not from her broad place for it was not an enemy that taunted me then I could have borne it neither was it mine adversary that did magnify himself against me then I would have hid myself from him but it was thou a man mine equal my companion and my familiar friend we took sweet counsel together in the house of God we walked with the throng may he incite death against them let them go down alive into the nether world for evil is in their dwelling and within them as for me I will call upon God and Hashem shall save me evening and morning and at noon will I complain and moan and he hath heard my voice he hath redeemed my soul in peace so that none came nigh me for they were many that strove with me God shall hear and humble them even he that is enthroned of old Selah such as have no changes and fear not God he hath put forth his hands against them that were at peace with him he hath profaned his covenant smoother than cream were the speeches of his mouth but his heart was war his words were softer than oil yet were they keen edged swords cast thy burden upon Hashem and he will sustain thee he will never suffer the righteous to be moved but thou O God wilt bring them down into the nethermost pit men of blood and deceit shall not live out half their days but as for me I will trust in thee Psalms chapter for the leader upon Jonathelam Rehokim a Psalm of David Mikedom when the Philistines took him in Gath be gracious unto me O God for man would swallow me up all the day he fighting oppresseth me they that lie in wait for me would swallow me up all the day for they are many that fight against me O most high in the day that I am afraid I will put my trust in thee in God I will praise his word in God do I trust one will not be afraid what can flesh do unto me all the day they trouble mine affairs all their thoughts are against me for evil they gather themselves together they hide themselves they mark my steps according as they have waited for my soul because of iniquity cast them out in anger bring down the peoples O God thou has counted my wanderings put thou my tears into thy bottle are they not in thy book then shall mine enemies turn back in the day that I call this I know that God is for me in God. I will praise his word in Hashem I will praise his word in God do I trust one will not be afraid what can man do unto me thy vows are upon me O God I will render thank offerings unto thee for thou hast delivered my soul from death hast thou not delivered my feet from stumbling that I may walk before God in the light of the living Psalms chapter for the leader al a Psalm of David Mikedom when he fled from Saul in the cave be gracious unto me O God be gracious unto me. For in thee hath my soul taken refuge yet in the shadow of thy wings will I take refuge until calamities be overpassed I will cry unto God most high unto God that accomplisheth it for me he will send from heaven and save me when he that would swallow me up taunteth Selah God shall send forth his mercy and his truth my soul is among lions I do lie down among them that are aflame even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows and their tongue a sharp sword be thou exalted O God. 
above the heavens thy glory be above all the earth they have prepared a net for my steps my soul is bowed down they have digged a pit before me they are fallen into the midst thereof themselves Selah my heart is steadfast O God my heart is steadfast I will sing yet I will sing praises awake my glory awake psaltery and harp I will awake the dawn I will give thanks unto thee O Lord among the peoples I will sing praises unto thee among the nations for thy mercy is great unto the heavens and thy truth unto the skies be thou exalted O God above the heavens thy glory be above all the earth Psalms chapter for the leader al tash a psalm of David Mikedom do ye indeed speak as a righteous company do ye judge with equity the sons of men ye in heart ye work wickedness ye weigh out in the earth the violence of your hands the wicked are estranged from the womb the speakers of lies go astray as soon as they are born their venom is like the venom of a serpent they are like the deaf asp that stop peth her ear which hearkeneth not to the voice of charmers or of the most cunning binder of spells break their teeth o god in their mouth break out the cheek teeth of the young lions o hashem let them melt away as water that runneth apace when he aimeth his arrows let them be as though they were cut off let them be as a snail which melteth and passeth away like the untimely births of a woman that have not seen the sun before your pots can feel the thorns he will sweep it away with a whirlwind the raw and the burning alike the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance he shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked and men shall say verily there is a reward for the righteous verily there is a god that judgeth in the earth psalms chapter for the leader al tash had a psalm of david mikedom when saul sent and they watched the house to kill him deliver me from mine enemies oh my god set me on high from them that rise up against me deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from the men of blood for lo they lie in wait for my soul the impudent gather themselves together against me not for my transgression nor for my sin O Hashem without my fault they run and prepare themselves awake thou to help me and behold thou therefore O Hashem God of hosts the God of Israel arouse thyself to punish all the nations show no mercy to any iniquitous traitors Selah they return at evening they howl like a dog and go Round about the city behold they belch out with their mouth swords are in their lips for who doth hear but thou O Hashem shalt laugh at them thou shalt have all the nations in derision because of his strength I will wait for thee for God is my high tower the God of my mercy will come to meet me God will let me gaze upon mine adversaries slay them not lest my people forget make them wander to and fro by thy power and bring them down O Lord our shield for the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips let them even be taken in their pride and for cursing and lying which they speak consume them in wrath consume them that they be no more and let them know that God ruleth in Jacob unto the ends of the earth Selah and they return at evening they howl like a dog and go round about the city they wander up and down to devour and tarry all night if they have not their fill but as for me I will sing of thy strength yet I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning for Thou hast been my high tower and a refuge in the day of my distress O my strength unto thee will I sing praises for God is my high tower the God of my mercy Psalms chapter for the leader upon Shushan Adoth Mikedom of David to teach when he strove with Aram Naharim and with Aram Zabah and Job returned and smote of Edom in the valley of Saul 12,000 O God thou hast cast us off thou hast broken us down thou hast been angry O restore us thou hast made the land to shake thou hast cleft it heal the breaches thereof for it tottereth thou hast made thy people to see hard things thou hast made us to drink the wine of staggering thou hast given a banner to them that fear thee that it may be displayed because of the truth seal that thy beloved may be delivered save with thy right hand and answer me God spoke in his holiness that I would exult that I would divide Shechem and meet out the valley of Sukkah Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine Ephraim also is the defense of my head Judah is my scepter Moab is my washpot upon Edom do I cast my shoe Philistia cry aloud because of me who will bring me into the fortified city who will lead me unto Edom hast not thou O God cast us off and thou goest not forth O God with our hosts give us help against the adversary for vain is the help of man through God we shall do valiantly for he it is that will tread down our adversaries Psalms chapter for the leader with string music a psalm of David Hear my cry O God attend unto my prayer from the end of the earth will I call unto thee when my heart fainteth lead me to a rock that is too high for me for thou hast been a refuge for me a tower of strength in the face of the enemy I will dwell in thy tent forever I will take refuge in the covert of thy wing Selah for thou O God hast heard my vows thou hast granted the heritage of those that fear thy name mayest thou add days unto the king's days may his years be as many. Generations may he be enthroned before God forever appoint mercy and truth that they may preserve him so will I sing praise unto thy name forever that I may daily perform my vows Psalms chapter for the leader for Jeduth and a psalm of David only for God doth my soul wait in stillness from him cometh my salvation he only is my rock and my salvation my high tower I shall not be greatly moved how long will ye set upon a man that ye may slay him all of you as a leaning wall a tottering fence they only devise to thrust him down from his height delighting in lies they bless with their mouth but they curse inwardly Selah only for God wait thou in stillness my soul for from him cometh my hope he only is my rock and my salvation my high tower I shall not be moved upon God resteth my salvation and my glory the rock of my strength and my refuge is in God trust in him at all times yet people pour out your heart before him God is a refuge for us Selah men of low 
Degree are vanity and men of high degree are a lie if they be laid in the balances they are together lighter than vanity trust not in oppression and put not vain hope in robbery if riches increase set not your heart thereon God hath spoken once twice have I heard this that strength belongeth unto God also unto thee O Lord belongeth mercy for thou renderest to every man according to his work Psalms chapter a Psalm of David when he was in the wilderness of Judah O God thou art my God earnestly will I seek thee my soul thirsteth for thee my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and weary land where no water is so have I looked for thee in the sanctuary to see thy power and thy glory for thy loving kindness is better than life my lips shall praise thee so will I bless thee as long as I live in thy name will I lift up my hands my soul is satisfied as with marrow and fatness and my mouth doth praise thee with joyful lips when I remember thee upon my couch and meditate on thee in the night watches for thou hast been my help and in the shadow of thy wings do I rejoice my soul cleaveth unto thee thy right hand holdeth me fast but those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth they shall be hurled to the power of the sword they shall be a portion for foxes but the king shall rejoice in God every one that sweareth by him shall glory for the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped Psalms chapter for the Leader A Psalm of David Hear my voice O God in my complaint preserve my life from the terror of the enemy hide me from the counsel of evildoers from the tumult of the workers of iniquity who have wet their tongue like a sword and have aimed their arrow a poisoned word that they may shoot in secret places at the blameless suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not they encourage one another in an evil matter they converse of laying snares secretly they ask who would see them they search out iniquities they have accomplished a diligent search even in the inward thought of every one and the deep heart but God doth shoot at them with an arrow suddenly thence are their wounds so they make their own tongue a stumbling unto themselves all that see them shake the head and all men fear and they declare the work of God and understand his doing the righteous shall be glad in Hashem and shall take refuge in him and all the upright in heart shall glory Psalms chapter for the leader a psalm a song of David praise wait for thee O God in Zion and unto thee the vow is performed O thou that hearest prayer unto thee doth all flesh come the tale of iniquities is too heavy for me as for our transgressions thou wilt pardon them happy is the man whom thou choosest and bringest near that he may dwell in thy courts may we be satisfied with the goodness of thy house the holy place of thy temple with wondrous works dost thou answer us in righteousness O God. Of our salvation thou the confidence of all the ends of the earth and of the far distant seas who by thy strength settest fast the mountains who art girded about with might who stillest the roaring of the seas the roaring of their waves and the tumult of the people so that they that dwell in the uttermost part stand in awe of thy signs thou makest the outgoings of the morning and evening to rejoice thou hast remembered the earth and watered her greatly enriching her with the river of God that is full of water thou preparest them corn for so preparest thou her watering her ridges abundantly settling down the furrows thereof thou makest her soft with showers thou blessest the growth thereof thou crownest the year with thy goodness and thy paths drop fatness the pastures of the wilderness do drop and the hills are girded with joy the meadows are clothed with flocks the valleys also are covered over with corn they shout for joy yea they sing psalms chapter for the Leader a song a psalm shout unto God all the earth sing praises unto the glory of his name make his praise glorious say unto God how tremendous is thy work through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies dwindle away before thee all the earth shall worship thee and shall sing praises unto thee they shall sing praises to thy name Selah come and see the works of God he is terrible in his doing toward the children of men he turned the sea into dry land they went through the river on foot there let us rejoice in him who ruleth by his might forever his eyes keep watch upon the nations let not the rebellious exalt themselves seal a bless our god ye peoples and make the voice of his praise to be heard who hath set our soul in life and suffered not our foot to be moved for thou o god hast tried us thou hast refined us as silver is refined thou didst bring us into the hold thou didst lay constraint upon our loins thou hast caused men to ride over our heads we went through fire and through water but thou didst bring us out unto abundance I will come into thy house with burnt offerings I will perform unto thee my vows which my lips have uttered and my mouth hath spoken when I was in distress I will offer unto thee burnt offerings of fatlings with the sweet smoke of rams I will offer bullocks with goat seal come and hearken all ye that fear God and I will declare what he hath done for my soul I cried unto him with my mouth and he was extolled with my tongue if I had regarded iniquity in my heart the Lord would not hear but verily God hath heard he hath attended to the voice of my prayer blessed be God who hath not turned away my prayer nor his mercy from me Psalms chapter for the leader with string music a psalm a song God be gracious unto us and bless us may he cause his face to shine toward us Selah that thy way may be known upon earth thy salvation among all nations let the peoples give thanks unto thee O God let the peoples give thanks unto thee all of them O let the nations be glad and sing for joy for thou wilt judge the peoples with equity and lead the nations upon earth Selah let the peoples give thanks unto thee O God let the peoples give thanks unto thee all of them the earth hath yielded her increase may God our own God bless us may God bless us and let all the ends of the earth fear him Psalms chapter for the leader a psalm of David a song let God arise let his enemies be scattered and let them that hate him flee before him as smoke is driven away so drive them away as wax melteth before the fire so let the wicked perish at the presence of God but let the righteous be glad let them exult before God yea let them rejoice with gladness sing unto God sing praises to his name extol him that writh upon the skies whose name is Hashem and exult yea before him a father of the fatherless and a judge of the widows is God in his holy habitation God
make the solitary to dwell in a house he bringeth out the prisoners into prosperity the rebellious dwell but in a parched land O God when thou wentest forth before thy people when thou didst march through the wilderness seal of the earth trembled the heavens also dropped at the presence of God even yon Sinai trembled at the presence of God the God of Israel a bounteous rain didst thou pour down O God when thine inheritance was weary thou didst confirm it thy flock settled therein thou didst prepare in thy goodness for the poor O God the Lord giveth the word the women that proclaim the tidings are a great host kings of armies flee they flee and she that tarrieth at home divide the spoil when ye lie among the sheep folds the wings of the dove are covered with silver and her pinions with the shimmer of gold when the almighty scattereth kings therein it snow it in Zalman a mountain of God is the mountain of Bashan a mountain of peaks is the mountain of Bashan why? Look ye askance ye mountains of peaks at the mountain which God hath desired for his abode ye Hashem will dwell therein forever the chariots of God are myriads even thousands upon thousands the Lord is among them as in Sinai in holiness thou hast ascended on high thou hast led captivity captive thou hast received gifts among men ye among the rebellious also that Hashem God might dwell there blessed be the Lord day by day he beareth our burden even the God who is our salvation Selah. God is unto us a God of deliverances and unto God the Lord belong the issues of death surely God will smite through the head of his enemies the hairy scalp of him that goeth about in his guiltiness the Lord said I will bring back from Bashan I will bring them back from the depths of the sea that thy foot may wade through blood that the tongue of thy dogs may have its portion from thine enemies they see thy goings O God even the goings of my God my King in holiness the singers go. Before the minstrels follow after in the midst of damsels playing upon timbrels bless ye God in full assemblies even the Lord ye that are from the fountain of Israel there is Benjamin the youngest ruling them the princes of Judah their council the princes of Zebulun the princes of Naphtali thy God hath commanded thy strength be strong O God thou that hast wrought for us out of thy temple at Jerusalem whither kings shall bring presents unto thee rebuke the wild beast of the reeds the multitude of the bulls with the calves of the peoples every one submitting himself with pieces of silver he hath scattered the peoples that delight in war nobles shall come out of egypt ethiopia shall hasten to stretch out her hands unto god sing unto god ye kingdoms of the earth o sing praises unto the lord seal to him that writh upon the heavens of heavens which are of old lo he uttereth his voice a mighty voice ascribe yes strength unto god his majesty is over israel and his Strength is in the skies awful is God out of thy holy places the God of Israel he giveth strength and power unto the people blessed be God Psalms chapter for the leader upon Shoshanim a psalm of David save me O God for the waters are come in even unto the soul I am sunk in deep mire where there is no standing I am come into deep waters and the flood overwhelmeth me I am weary of my crying my throat is dried mine eyes fail while I wait for my God they that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head they that would cut me off being mine enemies wrongfully are many should I restore that which I took not away O God thou knowest my folly and my trespasses are not hid from thee let not them that wait for thee be ashamed through me O Lord God of hosts let not those that seek thee be brought to confusion through me O God of Israel because for thy sake I have borne reproach confusion hath covered my face I am become a stranger unto my brethren and an alien unto my mother's children because zeal for thy house hath eaten me up and the reproaches of them that reproach thee are fallen upon me and I wept with my soul with fasting and that became unto me a reproach I made sackcloth also my garment and I became a byword unto them they that sit in the gate talk of me and I am the song of the drunkards but as for me let my prayer be unto thee O Hashem in an acceptable time O God in the abundance of thy mercy answer me with the truth of thy salvation deliver me out of the mire and let me not sink let me be delivered from them that hate me and out of the deep waters let not the water flood overwhelm me neither let the deep swallow me up and let not the pit shut her mouth upon me answer me O Hashem for thy mercy is good according to the multitude of thy compassions turn thou unto me and hide not thy face from thy servant for I am in distress answer me speedily draw nigh unto my soul and redeem it ransom me because of Mine enemies thou knowest my reproach and my shame and my confusion mine adversaries are all before thee reproach hath broken my heart and I am sore sick and I looked for some to show compassion but there was none and for comforters but I found none yea they put poison into my food and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink let their table before them become a snare and when they are in peace let it become a trap let their eyes be darkened that they see not and make their loins continually to totter pour out thine indignation upon them and let the fierceness of thine anger overtake them let their encampment be desolate let none dwell in their tents for they persecute him whom thou hast smitten and they tell of the pain of those whom thou hast wounded add iniquity unto their iniquity and let them not come into thy righteousness let them be blotted out of the book of the living and not be written with the righteous but I am afflicted and in pain let thy salvation O God set me up on high I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving and it shall please Hashem better than a bullock that hath horns and hoofs the humble shall see it and be glad ye that seek after God let your heart revive for Hashem hearkeneth unto the needy and despiseth not his prisoners let heaven and earth praise him the seas and everything that moveth therein for God will save Zion and build the cities of Judah and they shall
abide there and have it in possession the seed also of his servants shall inherit it and they that love his name shall dwell therein psalms chapter for the leader a psalm of david to make memorial o god to deliver me o hashem to help me make haste let them be ashamed and abashed that seek after my soul let them be turned backward and brought to confusion that delight in my hurt let them be turned back by reason of their shame that say aha aha let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee and let such as love thy salvation say continually let God be magnified but I am poor and needy O God make haste unto me thou art my help and my deliverer O Hashem tari not Psalms chapter in thee O Hashem have I taken refuge let me never be ashamed deliver me in thy righteousness and rescue me incline thine ear unto me and save me be thou to me a sheltering rock whereunto I may continually resort which thou hast appointed to save me for thou art my rock and my Fortress O my God rescue me out of the hand of the wicked out of the grasp of the unrighteous and ruthless man for thou art my hope O Lord God my trust from my youth upon thee have I stayed myself from birth thou art he that took me out of my mother's womb my praise is continually of thee I am as a wonder unto many but thou art my strong refuge my mouth shall be filled with thy praise and with thy glory all the day cast me not off in the time of old age when my strength faileth. Forsake me not for mine enemies speak concerning me and they that watch for my soul take counsel together saying God hath forsaken him pursue and take him for there is none to deliver O God be not far from me O my God make haste to help me let them be ashamed and consumed that are adversaries to my soul let them be covered with reproach and confusion that seek my hurt but as for me I will hope continually and will praise thee yet more and more my mouth shall tell of thy righteousness and of thy salvation all the day for I know not the numbers thereof I will come with thy mighty acts O Lord God I will make mention of thy righteousness even of thine only O God thou hast taught me from my youth and until now do I declare thy wondrous works and even unto old age and hoary hairs O God forsake me not until I have declared thy strength unto the next generation thy might to every one that is to come thy righteousness also O God which reach it unto high heaven Thou who hast done great things O God who is like unto thee Thou who hast made me to see many and sore troubles wilt quicken me again and bring me up again from the depths of the earth Thou wilt increase my greatness and turn and comfort me I also will give thanks unto thee with the psaltery even unto thy truth O my God I will sing praises unto thee with the harp O thou holy one of Israel my lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing praises unto thee and my soul which thou hast redeemed. My tongue also shall tell of thy righteousness all the day for they are ashamed for they are abashed that seek my hurt Psalms chapter a Psalm of Solomon give the king thy judgments O God and thy righteousness unto the king's son that he may judge thy people with righteousness and thy poor with justice let the mountains bear peace to the people and the hills through righteousness may he judge the poor of the people and save the children of the needy and crush the oppressor they shall fear thee while the sun endureth and so long as the moon throughout all generations may he come down like rain upon the mown grass as showers that water the earth in his days let the righteous flourish and abundance of peace till the moon be no more may he have dominion also from sea to sea and from the river unto the ends of the earth let them that dwell in the wilderness bow before him and his enemies lick the dust the kings of Tarshish and of the isles shall render tribute the kings of Sheba and Saba shall offer gifts yet all kings shall prostrate themselves before him all nations shall serve him for he will deliver the needy when he crieth the poor also and him that hath no helper he will have pity on the poor and needy and the souls of the needy he will save he will redeem their soul from oppression and violence and precious will their blood be in his sight that they may live and that he may give them of the gold of Sheba that they may pray for him. Continually ye bless him all the day may he be as a rich cornfield in the land upon the top of the mountains may his fruit rustle like Lebanon and may they blossom out of the city like grass of the earth may his name endure forever may his name be continued as long as the sun may men also bless themselves by him may all nations call him happy blessed be Hashem God the God of Israel who only doth wondrous things and blessed be his glorious name forever and let the whole earth be. Filled with his glory Amen and Amen the prayers of David the son of Jesse are ended Psalms chapter a Psalm of Asaph surely God is good to Israel even to such as are pure in heart but as for me my feet were almost gone my steps had well nigh slipped for I was envious at the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the wicked for there are no pangs at their death and their body is sound in the trouble of man they are not neither are they plagued like men therefore pride is as a chain about their neck violence covereth them as a garment their eyes stand forth from fatness they are gone beyond the imaginations of their heart they scoff and in wickedness utter oppression they speak as if there were none on high they have set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth therefore his people return hither and waters of fullness are drained out by them and they say how doth God know and is their knowledge in the most high behold such are the wicked and they that are always at ease increase riches surely in vain have I cleansed my heart and washed my hands in innocency for all the day have I been plagued and my chastisement came every morning if I had said I will speak thus behold I had been faithless to the generation of thy children and when I pondered how I might know this it was wearisome in mine eyes until I entered into the sanctuary of God and considered their end surely thou settest them in.
Slippery places thou hurlest them down to utter ruin how are they become a desolation in a moment they are wholly consumed by terrors as a dream when one awaked so O Lord when thou arousest thyself thou wilt despise their semblance for my heart was in a ferment and I was pricked in my reins but I was brutish and ignorant I was as a beast before thee nevertheless I am continually with thee thou holdest my right hand thou wilt guide me with thy counsel and afterward receive me with glory whom have I in heaven but thee and beside thee I desire none upon earth my flesh and my heart faileth but God is the rock of my heart and my portion forever for lo they that go far from thee shall perish thou dost destroy all them that go astray from thee but as for me the nearness of God is my good I have made the Lord God my refuge that I may tell of all thy works Psalms chapter mascul of Asaf why O God hast thou cast us off forever why doth thine anger smoke against the flock of thy pasture remember thy congregation which thou hast gotten of old which thou hast redeemed to be the tribe of thine inheritance and Mount Zion wherein thou hast dwelt lift up thy steps because of the perpetual ruins even all the evil that the enemy hath done in the sanctuary thine adversaries have roared in the midst of thy meeting place they have set up their own signs for signs it seemed as when men wield upwards axes in a thicket of trees and now all the carved work thereof together they strike down with hatchet and hammers they have set thy sanctuary on fire they have profaned the dwelling place of thy name even to the ground they said in their heart let us make havoc of them altogether they have burned up all the meeting places of God in the land we see not our signs there is no more any prophet neither is there among us any that know it how long how long O God shall the adversary reproach shall the enemy blaspheme thy name forever why withdrawest thou thy hand even thy right hand draw it out of thy bosom and consume them yet God is my king of old working salvation in the midst of the earth thou didst break the sea in pieces by thy strength thou didst shatter the heads of the sea monsters in the waters thou didst crush the heads of leviathan thou gavest him to be food to the folk inhabiting the wilderness thou didst cleave fountain and brook thou driedst up ever flowing rivers thine is the day thine also the night Thou hast established luminary and sun thou hast set all the borders of the earth thou hast made summer and winter remember this how the enemy hath reproached Hashem and how a base people have blasphemed thy name O deliver not the soul of thy turtle dove unto the wild beast forget not the life of thy poor forever look upon the covenant for the dark places of the land are full of the habitations of violence O let not the oppressed turn back in confusion let the poor and needy praise. Thy name arise O God plead thine own cause remember thy reproach all the day at the hand of the base man forget not the voice of thine adversaries the tumult of those that rise up against thee which ascendeth continually Psalms chapter for the leader al Tash had a psalm of Asaph a song we give thanks unto thee O God we give thanks and thy name is near men tell of thy wondrous works when I take the appointed time I myself will judge with equity when the earth and all the inhabitants thereof are dissolved I myself establish the pillars of it Selah I say unto the arrogant deal not arrogantly and to the wicked lift not up the horn lift not up your horn on high speak not insolence with a haughty neck for neither from the east nor from the west nor yet from the wilderness cometh lifting up for God is judge he putteth down one and lifteth up another for in the hand of Hashem there is a cup with foaming wine full of mixture and he poureth out of the same surely the dregs thereof all the wicked of the earth shall drain them and drink them but as for me I will declare forever I will sing praises to the God of Jacob all the horns of the wicked also will I cut off but the horns of the righteous shall be lifted up Psalms chapter for the leader with string music a psalm of Asaph a song in Judah is God known his name is great in Israel in Salem also is set his tabernacle and his dwelling place in Zion there he broke the fiery shafts of the bow the shield and the sword and the battle seal a glorious art thou and excellent coming down from the mountains of prey the stout-hearted are bereft of sense they sleep their sleep and none of the men of might have found their hands at thy rebuke o god of jacob they are cast into a dead sleep the riders also and the horses thou even thou art terrible and who may stand in thy sight when once thou art angry thou didst cause sentence to be heard from heaven the earth feared and was still when God arose to judgment to save all the humble of the earth seal surely the wrath of man shall praise thee the residue of wrath shalt thou gird upon thee thou and pay unto Hashem your God let all that are round about him bring presents unto him that is to be feared he many sheth the spirit of princes he is terrible to the kings of the earth psalms chapter for the leader for Jeduthun a psalm of Asaph I will lift up my voice unto God and cry I will lift up my Voice unto God that he may give ear unto me in the day of my trouble I seek the Lord with my hand uplifted mine I streameth in the night without ceasing my soul refused to be comforted when I think thereon O God I must moan when I muse thereon my spirit fainteth Selah thou holdest fast the lids of mine eyes I am troubled and cannot speak I have pondered the days of old the years of ancient times in the night I will call to remembrance my song I will commune with mine own heart and my spirit make diligent search will the Lord cast off forever and will he be favorable no more is his mercy clean gone forever is his promise come to an end forevermore hath God forgotten to be gracious hath he in anger shut up his compassion Selah and I say this is my weakness that the right hand of the Most High could change I will make mention of the deeds of Hashem yet I will remember thy wonders of old I will meditate also upon all thy work and muse on thy doings so. 
God thy way is in holiness who is a great God like unto God thou art the God that doest wonders thou hast made known thy strength among the peoples thou hast with thine arm redeemed thy people the sons of Jacob and Joseph Selah the waters saw thee O God the waters saw thee they were in pain the depths also trembled the clouds flooded forth waters the skies sent out a sound thine arrows also went abroad the voice of thy thunder was in the whirlwind the lightnings lighted up the world. The earth trembled and shook thy way was in the sea and thy path in the great waters and thy footsteps were not known thou didst lead thy people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron Psalms chapter Maskil of Azaf give ear O my people to my teaching incline your ears to the words of my mouth I will open my mouth with a parable I will utter dark sayings concerning days of old that which we have heard and known and our fathers have told us we will not hide from there. Children telling to the generation to come the praises of Hashem and his strength and his wondrous works that he hath done for he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children that the generation to come might know them even the children that should be born who should arise and tell them to their children that they might put their confidence in God and not forget the works of God but keep his commandments and might not be as their fathers a stubborn and rebellious generation a generation that set not their heart aright and whose spirit was not steadfast with God the children of Ephraim were as archers handling the bow that turned back in the day of battle they kept not the covenant of God and refused to walk in his law and they forgot his doings and his wondrous works that he had shown them marvelous things did he in the sight of their fathers in the land of Egypt in the field of Zoan he cleaved the sea and caused them to pass through and he made the waters to stand as a heap by day also he led them with a cloud and all the night with a light of fire he cleaved rocks in the wilderness and gave them drink abundantly as out of the great deep he brought streams also out of the rock and caused waters to run down like rivers yet went they on still to sin against him to rebel against the most high in the desert and they tried God in their heart by asking food for their craving yet they spoke against God they said can God prepare a table in the wilderness behold he smote the rock that waters gushed out and streams overflowed can he give bread also or will he provide flesh for his people therefore Hashem heard and was wroth and a fire was kindled against Jacob and anger also went up against Israel because they believed not in God and trusted not in his salvation and he commanded the skies above and opened the doors of heaven and he caused manna to rain upon them for food and gave them of the corn of heaven man did eat the bread of the mighty he sent them provisions to the full he caused the east wind to set forth in heaven and by his power he brought on the south wind he caused flesh also to rain upon them as the dust and winged fowl as the sand of the seas and he let it fall in the midst of their camp round about their dwellings so they did eat and were well filled and he gave them that which they craved. They were not estranged from their craving their food was yet in their mouths when the anger of God went up against them and slew of the lust eath among them and smote down the young men of Israel for all this they sinned still and believed not in his wondrous works therefore he ended their days as a breath and their years in terror when he slew them then they would inquire after him and turn back and seek God earnestly and they remembered that God was their rock and the most high God their redeemer but they beguiled him with their mouth and lied unto him with their tongue for their heart was not steadfast with him neither were they faithful in his covenant but he being full of compassion forgiveth iniquity and destroyeth not yet many a time doth he turn his anger away and doth not stir up all his wrath so he remembered that they were but flesh a wind that passeth away and cometh not again how oft did they rebel against him in the wilderness and grieve him in the desert and still again they tried God and set bounds to the Holy One of Israel they remembered not his hand nor the day when he redeemed them from the adversary how he set his signs in Egypt and his wonders in the field of Zoan and turned their rivers into blood so that they could not drink their streams he sent among them swarms of flies which devoured them and frogs which destroyed them he gave also their increase unto the caterpillar and their labor unto the locust he destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamore trees with frost he gave over their cattle also to the hail and their flocks to fiery bolts he sent forth upon them the fierceness of his anger wrath and indignation and trouble ascending of messengers of evil he leveled a path for his anger he spared not their soul from death but gave their life over to the pestilence and smote all the firstborn in Egypt the first fruits of their strength in the tents of Ham but he made his own people to go forth like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock and he led them safely and they feared not but the sea overwhelmed their enemies and he brought them to his holy border to the mountain which his right hand had gotten he drove out the nations also before them and allotted them for an inheritance by line and made the tribes of Israel to dwell in their tents yet they tried and provoked God the most high and kept not his testimonies but turned back and dealt treacherously like their fathers they were turned aside like a deceitful bow for they provoked him with their high places and moved him to jealousy with their graven images God heard and was wroth and he greatly abhorred Israel and he forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh the tent which he had made to dwell among men and delivered his strength into captivity and his glory into the adversary's hand he gave his people over also unto the sword and was wroth with his inheritance fire devoured their young men and their virgins had no marriage song their priests fell by the sword and their widows made no lamentation then the Lord awaked as one asleep like a mighty man recovering from wine and he smote his adversaries backward he put upon them a perpetual reproach moreover he abhorred the tent of Joseph and chose not the tribe of Ephraim but chose the tribe of Judah the Mount Zion which he loved and he built his sanctuary like the heights like the earth which he 
hath founded forever he chose David also his servant and took him from the sheepfolds from following the ewes that give suck he brought him to be shepherd over Jacob his people and Israel his inheritance so he shepherded them according to the integrity of his heart and lead them by the skillfulness of his hands Psalms chapter a Psalm of Asaph O God the heathen are come into thine inheritance they have defiled thy holy temple they have made Jerusalem into heaps they have given the dead bodies of thy servants to be food unto the fowls of the heaven the flesh of thy saints unto the beasts of the earth they have shed their blood like water round about Jerusalem with none to bury them we are become a taunt to our neighbors a scorn and derision to them that are round about us how long O Hashem wilt thou be angry forever how long will thy jealousy burn like fire pour out thy wrath upon the nations that know thee not and upon the kingdoms that call not upon thy name for they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his habitation remember not against us the iniquities of our forefathers let thy compassion speedily come to meet us for we are brought very low help us O God of our salvation for the sake of the glory of thy name and deliver us and forgive our sins for thy name's sake wherefore should the nations say where is their God let the avenging of thy servant's blood that is shed be made known among the nations in our sight let the groaning of the prisoner come before thee according to the greatness of thy power set free those that are appointed to death and render unto our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom their reproach wherewith they have reproached thee O Lord so we that are thy people and the flock of thy pasture will give thee thanks forever we will tell of thy praise to all generations Psalms chapter for the leader upon Shoshanim a testimony a psalm of Asaph give ear O shepherd of Israel thou that leadest Joseph like a flock thou that art enthroned upon the cherubim shine forth before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh stir up thy might and come to save us O God restore us and cause thy face to shine and we shall be saved O Hashem God of hosts how long wilt thou be angry against the prayer of thy people thou hast fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in large measure thou makest us a strife unto our neighbors and our enemies mock as they please O God of hosts. Restore us and cause thy face to shine and we shall be saved thou didst pluck up a vine out of Egypt thou didst drive out the nations and didst plant it thou didst clear a place before it and it took deep root and filled the land the mountains were covered with the shadow of it and the mighty cedars with the boughs thereof she sent out her branches unto the sea and her shoots unto the river why hast thou broken down her fences so that all they that pass by the way do pluck her the bore out of the wood doth ravage it that which moveth in the field feedeth on it O God of hosts return we beseech thee look from heaven and behold and be mindful of this vine and of the stock which thy right hand hath planted and the branch that thou madest strong for thyself it is burned with fire it is cut down they perish at the rebuke of thy countenance let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand upon the son of man whom thou madest strong for thyself so shall we not turn back. From thee quicken thou us and we will call upon thy name O Hashem God of hosts restore us cause thy face to shine and we shall be saved Psalms chapter to the chief musician upon Giddath a psalm of Asaph sing aloud unto God our strength shout unto the God of Jacob take up the melody and sound the timbrel the sweet harp with the psaltery blow the horn at the new moon at the full moon for our feast day for it is a statute for Israel an ordinance of the God of Jacob he appointed it in Joseph for a testimony when he went forth against the land of Egypt the speech of one that I knew not did I hear I removed his shoulder from the burden his hands were freed from the basket thou didst call in trouble and I rescued thee I answered thee in the secret place of thunder I proved thee at the waters of Meribah Selah hear O my people and I will admonish thee O Israel if thou wouldest hearken unto me there shall no strange God be in thee neither shalt thou worship any. Foreign God I am Hashem thy God who brought thee up out of the land of Egypt open thy mouth wide and I will fill it but my people here can not to my voice and Israel would none of me so I let them go after the stubbornness of their heart that they might walk in their own counsels oh that my people would hearken unto me that Israel would walk in my ways I would soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their adversaries the haters of Hashem should dwindle away before him. And their punishment should endure forever they should also be fed with the fat of wheat and with honey out of the rock would I satisfy thee Psalms chapter a Psalm of Asaph God standeth in the congregation of God in the midst of the judges he judgeth how long will ye judge unjustly and respect the persons of the wicked Selah judge the poor and fatherless do justice to the afflicted and destitute rescue the poor and needy deliver them out of the hand of the wicked they know. Not neither do they understand they go about in darkness all the foundations of the earth are moved I said ye are godlike beings and all of you sons of the most high nevertheless ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes arise O God judge the earth for thou shalt possess all nations Psalms chapter a song a psalm of Asaph O God keep not thou silence hold not thy peace and be not still O God for lo thine enemies are in an uproar and they that hate thee have lifted up. The head they hold crafty converse against thy people and take counsel against thy treasured ones they have said come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance for they have consulted together with one consent against thee do they make a covenant the tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites Moab and the Hagrites Gabal and Ammon and Amalek Philistia with the inhabitants of Tyre Assyria also is joined with them they have been an arm. To the children of Lot Selah do thou unto them as unto Midian as to Sisera as to Jabin at the brook Kishon who were destroyed at Endor they became as dung for the earth make their nobles like Oreb and Zeb and like Zeba and Zalmunna all their princes who said let us take to ourselves in possession the habitations of God O oh my God make them like the whirling dust as stubble before the wind as the fire that burneth the forest and as the flame that satateth the mountains ablaze so.
pursue them with thy tempest and affright them with thy storm fill their faces with shame that they may seek thy name O Hashem let them be ashamed and affrighted forever yea let them be abashed and perish that they may know that it is thou alone whose name is Hashem the most high over all the earth Psalms chapter for the leader upon the Giddath a psalm of the sons of Korah how lovely are thy tabernacles O Hashem of hosts my soul yearneth yea even pineth for the courts of Hashem my heart and my flesh sing for joy unto the living God yea the sparrow hath found a house and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young thine altars O Hashem of hosts my king and my God happy are they that dwell in thy house they are ever praising thee Selah happy is the man whose strength is in thee in whose heart are the highways passing through the valley of Baca they make it a place of springs yea the early rain clot hated with blessings they go from strength to strength every one of them appeareth before God in Zion O Hashem God of hosts hear my prayer give ear O God of Jacob Selah behold O God our shield and look upon the face of thine anointed for a day in thy courts is better than a thousand I had rather stand at the threshold of the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness for Hashem God is a sun and a shield Hashem giveth grace and glory no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly O Hashem of hosts. Happy is the man that trusteth in thee Psalms chapter for the leader a psalm of the sons of Korah Hashem thou hast been favorable unto thy land thou hast turned the captivity of Jacob thou hast forgiven the iniquity of thy people thou hast pardoned all their sins Selah thou hast withdrawn all thy wrath thou hast turned from the fierceness of thine anger restore us O God of our salvation and cause thine indignation toward us to cease wilt thou be angry with us forever wilt thou. Draw out thine anger to all generations wilt thou not quicken us again that thy people may rejoice in thee show us thy mercy O Hashem and grant us thy salvation I will hear what God Hashem will speak for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints but let them not turn back to folly surely his salvation is nigh them that fear him that glory may dwell in our land mercy and truth are met together righteousness and peace have kissed each other truth springeth out of the earth. And righteousness hath looked down from heaven Yah Hashem will give that which is good and our land shall yield her produce righteousness shall go before him and shall make his footsteps away Psalms chapter a prayer of David incline thine ear O Hashem and answer me for I am poor and needy keep my soul for I am godly O thou my God save thy servant that trusteth in thee be gracious unto me O Lord for unto thee do I cry all the day rejoice the soul of thy servant for unto thee O. Lord do I lift up my soul for thou Lord art good and ready to pardon and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee give ear O Hashem unto my prayer and attend unto the voice of my supplications in the day of my trouble I call upon thee for thou wilt answer me there is none like unto thee among the gods O Lord and there are no works like thine all nations whom thou hast made shall come and prostrate themselves before thee O Lord and they shall glorify thy name for thou art great and doest wondrous things thou art God alone teach me O Hashem thy way that I may walk in thy truth make one my heart to fear thy name I will thank thee O Lord my God with my whole heart and I will glorify thy name forevermore for great is thy mercy toward me and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest nether world O God the proud are risen up against me and the company of violent men have sought after my soul and have not set thee before them but thou O Lord art a God full of compassion and gracious slow to anger and plenteous in mercy and truth O turn unto me and be gracious unto me give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thy handmaid work in my behalf a sign for good that they that hate me may see it and be put to shame because thou Hashem hast helped me and comforted me Psalms chapter a Psalm of the sons of Korah a song his foundation is in the holy mountains Hashem loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob Glorious things are spoken of the O city of God Selah I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon as among them that know me behold Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia this one was born there but of Zion it shall be said this man and that was born in her and the Most High himself doth establish her Hashem shall count in the register of the peoples this one was born there Selah and whether they sing or dance all my thoughts are in these Psalms chapter a song a psalm of the sons of Korah for the leader upon Mahalath Linnath Maskil of Heman the Ezrahite O Hashem God of my salvation what time I cry in the night before thee let my prayer come before thee incline thine ear unto my cry for my soul is sated with troubles and my life draw it nigh unto the grave I am counted with them that go down into the pit I am become as a man that hath no help set apart among the dead like the slain that lie in the grave whom thou rememberest no more and they are cut off from thy and thou hast laid me in the nethermost pit in dark places in the deeps thy wrath lieth hard upon me and all thy waves thou praisest down Selah thou hast put mine acquaintance far from me thou hast made me an abomination unto them I am shut up and I cannot come forth mine eye languisheth by reason of affliction I have called upon thee O Hashem every day I have spread forth my hands unto thee wilt thou work wonders for the dead or shall the shades arise and give thee thanks Selah. Shall thy mercy be declared in the grave or thy faithfulness in destruction shall thy wonders be known in the dark and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness but as for me unto thee O Hashem do I cry and in the morning doth my prayer come to meet thee Hashem why castest thou off my soul why hidest thou thy face from me I am afflicted and at the point of death from my youth up I have borne thy terrors I am distracted thy fierce wrath is gone over me thy terrors have cut me off.
They came round about me like water all the day they compassed me about together friend and companion hast thou put far from me and mine acquaintance into darkness Psalms chapter Maskil of Ethan the Ezraite I will sing of the mercies of Hashem forever to all generations will I make known thy faithfulness with my mouth for I have said forever is mercy built in the very heavens thou dost establish thy faithfulness I have made a covenant with my chosen I have sworn unto David my Servant forever will I establish thy seed and build up thy throne to all generations Selah so shall the heavens praise thy wonders O Hashem thy faithfulness also in the assembly of the holy ones for who in the skies can be compared unto Hashem who among the sons of might can be likened unto Hashem a God dreaded in the great council of the holy ones and feared of all them that are about him O Hashem God of hosts who is a mighty one like unto thee O Hashem and thy faithfulness is Round about thee thou rulest the proud swelling of the sea when the waves thereof arise thou stillest them thou didst crush Rahab as one that is slain thou didst scatter thine enemies with the arm of thy strength thine are the heavens thine also the earth the world and the fullness thereof thou hast founded them the north and the south thou hast created them Tabor and Hermon rejoice in thy name thine is an arm with might strong is thy hand and exalted is thy right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of thy throne mercy and truth go before thee happy is the people that know the joyful shout they walk O Hashem in the light of thy countenance in thy name do they rejoice all the day and through thy righteousness are they exalted for thou art the glory of their strength and in thy favor our horn is exalted for of Hashem is our shield and the holy one of Israel is our king then thou spokest in vision to thy godly ones and saidst I have laid help upon one that is mighty I have exalted one chosen out of the people I have found David my servant with my holy oil have I anointed him with whom my hand shall be established mine arm also shall strengthen him the enemy shall not exact from him nor the son of wickedness afflict him and I will beat to pieces his adversaries before him and smite them that hate him but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and through my name shall his horn be exalted I will set his hand also on the sea and his right hand on the rivers he shall call unto me thou art my father my god and the rock of my salvation i also will appoint him firstborn the highest of the kings of the earth forever will i keep for him my mercy and my covenant shall stand fast with him his seed also will i make to endure forever and his throne as the days of heaven if his children forsake my law and walk not in mine ordinances if they profane my statutes and keep not my commandments then will I visit their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with strokes but my mercy will I not break off from him nor will I be false to my faithfulness my covenant will I not profane nor alter that which is gone out of my lips once have I sworn by my holiness surely I will not be false unto David his seed shall endure forever and his throne as the sun before me it shall be established forever as the moon and be steadfast as the witness in sky seal but thou hast cast off and rejected thou hast been wroth with thine anointed thou hast abhorred the covenant of thy servant thou hast profaned his crown even to the ground thou hast broken down all his fences thou hast brought his strongholds to ruin all that pass by the way spoil him he is become a taunt to his neighbors thou hast exalted the right hand of his adversaries thou hast made all his enemies to rejoice yea thou turnest back the edge of his sword and hast not made him to stand in the battle Thou hast made his brightness to cease and cast his throne down to the ground the days of his youth hast thou shortened thou hast covered him with shame Selah how long O Hashem wilt thou hide thyself forever how long shall thy wrath burn like fire O remember how short my time is for what vanity hast thou created all the children of men what man is he that liveth and shall not see death that shall deliver his soul from the power of the grave Selah where are thy former mercies O Lord which thou didst swear unto David in thy faithfulness remember Lord the taunt of thy servants how I do bear in my bosom the taunt of so many peoples wherewith thine enemies have taunted O Hashem wherewith they have taunted the footsteps of thine anointed blessed be Hashem forevermore Amen and Amen Psalms chapter A prayer of Moses the man of God Lord thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations before the mountains were brought forth or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world even from everlasting to everlasting thou art God thou turnest man to contrition and sayest return yet children of man for a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past and as a watch in the night thou carriest them away as with a flood they are as asleep in the morning they are like grass which grow it up in the morning it flourisheth and grow it up in the evening it is cut down and with a wrath for we are consumed in thine anger and by thy wrath are we hurried away thou hast set our iniquities before thee our secret sins in the light of thy countenance for all our days are passed away in thy wrath we bring our years to an end as a tale that is told the days of our years are threescore years and ten or even by reason of strength fourscore years yet is their pride but travail and vanity for it is speedily gone and we fly away who knoweth the power of thine anger and thy wrath according to the fear that is due unto thee so teach us. To number our days that we may get us a heart of wisdom return O Hashem how long and let it repent thee concerning thy servants O satisfy us in the morning with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us according to the years wherein we have seen evil let thy work appear unto thy servants and thy glory upon their children and let the graciousness of the Lord our God be upon us establish thou also upon us. 
The work of our hands, yea, the work of our hands, establish thou it. Psalms chapter O thou that dwellest in the covert of the Most High and abidest in the shadow of the Almighty, I will say of Hashem, who is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust, that he will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence, he will cover thee with his pinions, and under his wings shalt thou take refuge. His truth is a shield and a buckler, thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flieth by day, of the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor of the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand may fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. It shall not come nigh thee, only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the recompense of the wicked. For thou hast made Hashem who is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy tent, for he will give his Angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways they shall bear thee upon their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone thou shalt tread upon the lion and asp the young lion and the serpent shalt thou trample under feet because he hath set his love upon me therefore will I deliver him I will set him on high because he hath known my name he shall call upon me and I will answer him I will be with him in trouble I will rescue him and bring him to honor with long life will I satisfy him and make him to behold my salvation psalms chapter a psalm a song for the sabbath day it is a good thing to give thanks unto hashem and to sing praises unto thy name o most high to declare thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness in the night seasons with an instrument of ten strings and with the psaltery with a solemn sound upon the harp for thou hashem hast made me glad through thy work i will exult in the works of thy hands how great are thy works o Hashem thy thoughts are very deep a brutish man know it not neither doth a fool understand this when the wicked spring up as the grass and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish it is that they may be destroyed forever but thou O Hashem art on high forevermore for lo thine enemies O Hashem for lo thine enemies shall perish all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered but my horn hast thou exalted like the horn of the wild ox I am anointed with rich oil mine I also have gazed on them that lie in wait for me mine ears have heard my desire of the evildoers that rise up against me the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree he shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon planted in the house of Hashem they shall flourish in the courts of our God they shall still bring forth fruit in old age they shall be full of sap and richness to declare that Hashem is upright my rock in whom there is no unrighteousness Psalms chapter Hashem reigneth he is clothed in Majesty Hashem is clothed he hath girded himself with strength yea the world is established that it cannot be moved thy throne is established of old thou art from everlasting the floods have lifted up O Hashem the floods have lifted up their voice the floods lift up their roaring above the voices of many waters the mighty breakers of the sea Hashem on high is mighty thy testimonies are very sure holiness Bekometh thy house O Hashem forevermore Psalms chapter O Hashem thou God to whom vengeance bellingeth thou God to whom vengeance bellingeth shine forth lift up thyself thou judge of the earth render to the proud their recompense Hashem how long shall the wicked how long shall the wicked exult they gush out they speak arrogancy all the workers of iniquity bear themselves loftily they crush thy people O Hashem and afflict thy heritage they slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless and they say the Hashem will not see neither will the God of Jacob give heed consider ye brutish among the people and ye fools when will ye understand he that planted the ear shall he not hear he that formed the eye shall he not see he that instructeth nations shall not he correct even he that teak hate man knowledge Hashem knoweth the thoughts of man that they are vanity happy is the man whom thou instructest O Hashem and teachest out of thy law that thou mayest give him rest from the days of evil until the pit be digged for the wicked for Hashem will not cast off his people neither will he forsake his inheritance for right shall return unto justice and all the upright in heart shall follow it who will rise up for me against the evildoers who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity unless Hashem had been my help my soul had soon dwelt in silence if I say my foot slip path thy mercy O Hashem holdeth me up when my cares are many within me thy comforts delight my soul shall the seed of wickedness have fellowship with thee which frameth mischief by statute they gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn innocent blood but Hashem hath been my high tower and my God the rock of my refuge and he hath brought upon them their own iniquity and will cut them off in their own evil Hashem our God will cut them off Psalms chapter O come let us sing unto Hashem let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation let us come before his presence with thanksgiving let us shout for joy unto him with psalms for Hashem is a great God and a great king above all gods in whose hand are the depths of the earth the heights of the mountains are his also the sea is his and he made it and his hands formed the dry land O come let us bow down and bend the knee let us kneel before Hashem our maker for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the flock of his hand today if ye would but hearken to his voice harden not your heart as at Meribah. As in the day of Massah in the wilderness when your fathers tried me proved me even though they saw my work for forty years was I wearied with that generation and said it is a people that do err in their heart and they have not known my ways wherefore I swore in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest Psalms chapter O sing unto Hashem a new song sing unto Hashem all the earth sing unto Hashem bless his name proclaim his salvation from day to day declare his glory among.
the nations his marvelous works among all the peoples for great is Hashem and highly to be praised he is to be feared above all gods for all the gods of the peoples are things of naught but Hashem made the heavens honor and majesty are before him strength and beauty are in his sanctuary ascribe unto Hashem ye kindreds of the peoples ascribe unto Hashem glory and strength ascribe unto Hashem the glory due unto his name bring an offering and come into his courts O worship Hashem in the beauty of holiness tremble before him all the earth say among the nations the Hashem reignath the world also is established that it cannot be moved he will judge the peoples with equity let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice let the sea roar and the fullness thereof let the field exult and all that is therein then shall all the trees of the wood sing for joy before Hashem for he is come for he is come to judge the earth he will judge the world with righteousness and the Peoples in his faithfulness Psalms chapter Hashem reignath let the earth rejoice let the multitude of isles be glad clouds and darkness are round about him righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne a fire goeth before him and burneth up his adversaries round about his lightnings lighted up the world the earth saw and trembled the mountains melted like wax at the presence of Hashem at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth the heavens declared his righteousness and all the people saw his glory ashamed be all they that serve graven images that boast themselves of things of not bow down to him all ye gods zion heard and was glad and the daughters of judah rejoiced because of thy judgments o hashem for thou hashem art most high above all the earth thou art exalted far above all gods o ye that love hashem hate evil he preserveth the souls of his saints he delivered them out of the hand of the wicked light is sown for thee Righteous and gladness for the upright in heart be glad in Hashem ye righteous and give thanks to his holy name Psalms chapter A Psalm O sing unto Hashem a new song for he hath done marvelous things his right hand and his holy arm hath wrought salvation for him Hashem hath made known his salvation his righteousness hath he revealed in the sight of the nations he hath remembered his mercy and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God shout unto Hashem all the earth break forth and sing for joy yes sing praises sing praises unto Hashem with the harp with the harp and the voice of melody with trumpets and sound of the horn shout yea before the king Hashem let the sea roar and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein let the floods clap their hands let the mountains sing for joy together before Hashem for he is come to judge the earth he will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity Psalms chapter Hashem reignath let the peoples tremble he is enthroned upon the cherubim let the earth quake Hashem is great in Zion and he is high above all the peoples let them praise thy name as great and awful holy is he the strength also of the king who loveth justice thou hast established equity thou hast executed justice and righteousness in Jacob exalt ye Hashem our God and prostrate yourselves at his footstool holy is he Moses and Aaron among his priests and Samuel among them that call upon his name did call upon Hashem and he answered them he spoke unto them in the pillar of cloud they kept his testimonies and the statute that he gave them O Hashem our God thou didst answer them a forgiving God wast thou unto them though thou tookest vengeance of their misdeeds exalt ye Hashem our God and worship at his holy hill for Hashem our God is holy Psalms chapter a psalm of thanksgiving shout unto Hashem all the earth serve Hashem with gladness come before his presence with singing know ye that Hashem he is God it is he that hath made us and we are his his people and the flock of his pasture enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise give thanks unto him and bless his name for Hashem is good his mercy endureth forever and his faithfulness unto all generations Psalms chapter a Psalm of David I will sing of mercy and justice unto thee O Hashem will I sing praises I will Give heed unto the way of integrity O when wilt thou come unto me I will walk within my house in the integrity of my heart I will set no base thing before mine eyes I hate the doing of things crooked it shall not cleave unto me a perverse heart shall depart from me I will know no evil thing whoso slandereth his neighbor in secret him will I destroy whoso is haughty of eye and proud of heart him will I not suffer mine eyes are upon the faithful of the land that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a way of integrity he shall minister unto me he that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house he that speaketh falsehood shall not be established before mine eyes morning by morning will I destroy all the wicked of the land to cut off all the workers of iniquity from the city of Hashem Psalms chapter a prayer of the afflicted when he fainteth and poureth out his complaint before Hashem O Hashem hear my prayer and let my cry come unto thee hide not thy face. From me in the day of my distress incline thine ear unto me in the day when I call answer me speedily for my days are consumed like smoke and my bones are burned as a hearth my heart is smitten like grass and withered for I forget to eat my bread by reason of the voice of my sighing my bones cleave to my flesh I am like a pelican of the wilderness I am become as an owl of the waste places I watch and am become like a sparrow that is alone upon the house top mine enemies taunt me all. The day they that are mad against me do curse by me for I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink with weeping because of thine indignation and thy wrath for thou hast taken me up and cast me away my days are like a lengthening shadow and I am withered like grass but thou O Hashem sittest enthroned forever and thy name is unto all generations thou wilt arise and have compassion upon Zion for it is time to be gracious unto her for the appointed time is come for thy servants. 
Take pleasure in her stones and love her dust so the nations will fear the name of Hashem and all the kings of the earth thy glory when Hashem hath built up Zion when he hath appeared in his glory when he hath regarded the prayer of the destitute and hath not despised their prayer this shall be written for the generation to come and a people which shall be created shall praise Hashem for he hath looked down from the height of his sanctuary from heaven did Hashem behold the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoner to loose those that are appointed to death that men may tell of the name of Hashem in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem when the peoples are gathered together and the kingdoms to serve Hashem he weakened my strength in the way he shortened my days I say O oh my God take me not away in the midst of my days thou whose years endure throughout all generations of old thou didst lay the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the work of thy hands they shall perish but thou shalt endure yet all of them shall wax old like a garment as a vesture shalt thou change them and they shall pass away but thou art the self same and thy years shall have no end the children of thy servants shall dwell securely and their seed shall be established before thee psalms chapter a psalm of david bless hashem o my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless hashem o my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgiveth all thine iniquity who healeth all thy diseases who redeemeth thy life from the pit who encompasseth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfieth thine old age with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagle Hashem executeth righteousness and acts of justice for all that are oppressed he made known his ways unto Moses his doings unto the children of Israel Hashem is full of compassion and gracious slow to anger and plenteous in mercy he will not always contend neither will he keep his anger forever he hath not dealt with us after our sins nor requited us according to our iniquities for as the heaven is high above the earth so great is his mercy toward them that fear him as far as the east is from the west so far hath he removed our transgressions from us like as a father hath compassion upon his children so hath Hashem compassion upon them that fear him for he knoweth our frame he remembereth that we are dust as for man his days are as grass as a flower of the field so he flourisheth for the wind passeth over it and it is gone and the place thereof knoweth it no more but the mercy of Hashem is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children to such as keep his covenant and to those that remember his precepts to do them Hashem hath established his throne in the heavens and his kingdom ruleth over all bless Hashem ye angels of his ye mighty in strength that fulfill his word here canning unto the voice of his word bless Hashem all yet his hosts ye ministers of his that do his pleasure bless Hashem all yet his works in all places of his dominion bless Hashem O my soul Psalms chapter bless Hashem O my soul O Hashem my God thou art very great thou art clothed with glory and majesty who coverest thyself with light as with a garment who stretchest out the heavens like a curtain who layest the beams of thine upper chambers in the waters who makest thee clouds thy chariot who walkest upon the wings of the wind who makest winds thy messengers the flaming fire thy ministers who didst establish the earth upon its foundations that it should not be moved forever and ever thou didst cover it with the deep as with a vesture the waters stood above the mountains at thy rebuke they fled at the voice of thy thunder they haste away the mountains rose the valleys sank down unto the place which thou hadst founded for them thou didst set a bound which they should not pass over that they might not return to cover the earth who sendest forth springs into the valleys they run between the mountains they give drink to every beast of the field the wild asses quench their thirst beside them dwell the fowl of the heaven from among the branches they sing who waterest the mountains from thine upper chambers the earth is full of the fruit of thy works who causeth the grass to spring up for the cattle and herb for the service of man to bring forth bread out of the earth and wine that make glad the heart of man making the face brighter than oil and bread that stayeth man's heart the trees of Hashem have their fill the cedars of Lebanon which he hath planted wherein the birds make their nests as for the stork the fir trees are her house the high mountains are for the wild goats the rocks are a refuge for the conies who appointed the moon for seasons the sun knoweth his going down thou makest darkness and it is night wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth the young lions roar after their prey and seek their food from God the sun or as if they slink away and couch in their dens man goeth forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening how manifold are thy works O Hashem in wisdom hast thou made them all the earth is full of thy creatures yonder sea great and wide therein are creeping things innumerable living creatures both small and great there go the ships there is Leviathan whom thou hast formed to sport therein all of them wait for thee that thou mayest give them their food in due season thou givest it unto them they gather it thou openest thy hand they are satisfied with good thou hidest thy face they vanish thou withdrawest their breath they perish and return to their dust thou sendest forth thy spirit they are created and thou renewest the face of the earth may the glory of Hashem endure forever let Hashem rejoice in his works who Luke on the earth and it trembleth he toucheth the mountains and they smoke I will sing unto Hashem as long as I live I will sing praise to my God while I have any being let my musing be sweet unto him as for me I will rejoice in Hashem let sinners cease out of the earth and let the wicked be no more bless Hashem O my soul hallelujah Psalms chapter O give thanks unto Hashem call upon his name make known his doings among the people sing unto him sing praises unto him speak yet of all his marvelous works glory yet in his holy name let the heart of them rejoice that seek Hashem seek yet Hashem and his strength seek his face continually remember his marvelous works that he hath done his wonders and the judgments of his mouth O ye seed of Abraham his servant yet children of Jacob his chosen ones he is Hashem our God his judgments are in all the earth he hath remembered his covenant forever the word which he commanded to a thousand generations the covenant.
which he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac and he established it unto Jacob for a statute to Israel for an everlasting covenant saying unto thee will I give the land of Canaan the lot of your inheritance when they were but a few men in number ye very few and sojourners in it and when they went about from nation to nation from one kingdom to another people he suffered no man to do them wrong ye for their sake he reproved kings touch not mine anointed ones and do my prophets no harm and he called a famine upon the land he broke the whole staff of bread he sent a man before them Joseph was sold for a servant his feet they hurt with fetters his person was laid in iron until the time that his word came to pass the word of Hashem tested him the king sent and loosed him even the ruler of the peoples and set him free he made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions to bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his elders wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham and he increased his people greatly and made them too mighty for their adversaries he turned their heart to hate his people to deal craftily with his servants he sent Moses his servant and Aaron whom he had chosen they wrought among them his manifold signs and wonders in the land of Ham he sent darkness and it was dark and they rebelled not against his word he turned their waters into blood and slew their fish. Their land swarmed with frogs in the chambers of their kings he spoke and there came swarms of flies and gnats in all their borders he gave them hail for rain and flaming fire in their land he smote their vines also and their fig trees and broke the trees of their borders he spoke and the locust came and the canker worm without number and did eat up every herb in their land and did eat up the fruit of their ground he smote also all the firstborn in their land the first fruits of all their strength and he brought them forth with silver and gold and there was none that stumbled among his tribes Egypt was glad when they departed for the fear of them had fallen upon them he spread a cloud for a screen and fire to give light in the night they asked and he brought quails and gave them in plenty the bread of heaven he opened the rock and waters gushed out they ran a river in the dry places for he remembered his holy word unto Abraham his servant and he brought forth his people with joy his chosen ones with singing and he gave them the lands of the nations and they took the labor of the peoples in possession that they might keep his statutes and observe his laws hallelujah psalms chapter hallelujah O give thanks unto Hashem for he is good for his mercy endureth forever who can express the mighty acts of Hashem or make all his praise to be heard happy are they that keep justice that do righteousness at all times remember me O Hashem when thou favorest thy people O think of me at thy salvation that I may behold the prosperity of thy chosen that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation that I may glory with thine inheritance we have sinned with our fathers we have done iniquitously we have dealt wickedly our fathers in Egypt gave no heed unto thy wonders they remembered not the multitude of thy mercies but were rebellious at the sea even at the Red Sea nevertheless he saved them for his name's sake that he might make his mighty power to be known and he rebuked the Red Sea and it was dried up and he led them through the depths as through a wilderness and he saved them from the hand of him that hated them and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy and the waters covered their adversaries there was not one of them left then believed they his words they sang his praise they soon forgot his works they waited not for his counsel but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tried God in the desert and he gave them their request but sent leanness into their soul they were jealous also of Moses in the camp and of Aaron the holy one of Hashem the earth opened and swallowed up day then and covered the company of Abiram and a fire was kindled in their company the flame burned up the wicked they made a calf in Horeb and worshipped a molten image thus they exchanged their glory for the likeness of an ox that eat grass they forgot God their savior who had done great things in Egypt wondrous works in the land of Ham terrible things by the Red Sea therefore he said that he would destroy them had not Moses his chosen stood before him in the breach to turn back his wrath lest he should destroy them moreover they scorned the desirable land they believed not his word and they murmured in their tents they hearkened not unto the voice of Hashem therefore he swore concerning them that he would overthrow them in the wilderness and that he would cast out their seed among the nations and scatter them in the lands they joined themselves also unto Baal of Peer and ate the sacrifices of the dead thus they provoked him with their doings and the plague broke in upon them then stood up Phinehas and wrought judgment and so the plague was stayed and that was counted unto him for righteousness unto all generations forever they angered him also at the waters of Meribah and it went ill with Moses because of them for they embittered his spirit and he spoke rashly with his lips they did not destroy the peoples as Hashem commanded them but mingled themselves with the nations and learned their works and they served their idols which became a snare unto them yet they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto demons and shed innocent blood even the blood of their sons and of their daughters whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan and the land was polluted with blood thus were they defiled with their works and went astray. In their doings therefore was the wrath of Hashem kindled against his people and he abhorred his inheritance and he gave them into the hand of the nations and they that hated them ruled over them their enemies also oppressed them and they were subdued under their hand many times did he deliver them but they were rebellious in their counsel and sank low through their iniquity nevertheless he looked upon their distress when he heard their cry and he remembered for them his covenant and repented according to the multitude of his mercies he made them also to be pitted of all those that carried them captive save us O Hashem our God and gather us from among the nations that we may give thanks unto thy holy name that we may triumph in thy praise blessed be Hashem the God of Israel from everlasting even to everlasting and let all the people say Amen Hallelujah Psalms chapter O give thanks unto Hashem for he is good for his mercy endureth forever so let the
redeemed of Hashem say whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the adversary and gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west from the north and from the sea they wandered in the wilderness in a desert way they found no city of habitation hungry and thirsty their soul fainted in them then they cried unto Hashem in their trouble and he delivered them out of their distresses and he led them by a straight way that they might go to a city of habitation let them give. Thanks unto Hashem for his mercy and for his wonderful works to the children of men for he hath satisfied the longing soul and the hungry soul he hath filled with good such as sat in darkness and in the shadow of death being bound in affliction and iron because they rebelled against the words of God and contim ned the counsel of the Most High therefore he humbled their heart with travail they stumbled and there was none to help they cried unto Hashem in their trouble and he saved them out of their distresses he brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and broke their bands in sunder let them give thanks unto Hashem for his mercy and for his wonderful works to the children of men for he hath broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder crazed because of the way of their transgression and afflicted because of their iniquities their soul abhorred all manner of food and they drew near unto the gates of death they cried unto Hashem in their trouble and he saved them out of their distresses he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their graves let them give thanks unto Hashem for his mercy and for his wonderful works to the children of men and let them offer the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with singing they that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters these saw the works of Hashem and his wonders in the deep for he commanded and raised the stormy wind which lifted up the waves thereof they mounted up to the heaven they went down to the deeps their soul melted away because of trouble they reeled to and fro and staggered like a drunken man and all their wisdom was swallowed up they cried unto Hashem in their trouble and he brought them out of their distresses he made the storm a calm so that the waves thereof were still then were they glad because they were quiet and he led them unto their desired haven let them give thanks unto Hashem for his mercy and for his wonderful works to the children of men let them exalt him also in the assembly of the people and praise him in the seat of the elders he turneth rivers into a wilderness and water springs into a thirsty ground a fruitful land into a salt waste for the wickedness of them that dwell therein he turneth a wilderness into a pool of water and a dry land into water springs and there he make the hungry to dwell and they establish a city of habitation and so fields and plant vineyards which yield fruits of increase he blesseth them also so that they are multiplied greatly and suffereth not their cattle to decrease again they are minished and dwindle away through oppression of evil and sorrow he poureth contempt upon princes and causeth them to wander in the waste where there is no way yet setteth he the needy on high from affliction and maketh his families like a flock the upright see it and are glad and all iniquity stoppeth her mouth Whoso is wise let him observe these things and let them consider the mercies of Hashem Psalms chapter a song a psalm of David my heart is steadfast O God I will sing ye I will sing praises even with my glory awake psaltery and harp I will awake the dawn I will give thanks unto thee O Hashem among the peoples and I will sing praises unto thee among the nations for thy mercy is great above the heavens and thy truth reach it unto the skies be thou exalted O God above the heavens. And thy glory be above all the earth that thy beloved may be delivered save with thy right hand and answer me God spoke in his holiness that I would exult that I would divide Shechem and meet out the valley of Sukkah Gilead is mine Manasseh is mine Ephraim also is the defense of my head Judah is my scepter Moab is my washpot upon Edom do I cast my shoe over Philistia do I cry aloud who will bring me into the fortified city who will lead me unto Edom hast not thou cast us off O God. And thou goest not forth O God with our hosts give us help against the adversary for vain is the help of man through God we shall do valiantly for he it is that will tread down our adversaries Psalms chapter for the leader a psalm of David O God of my praise keep not silence for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of deceit have they opened against me they have spoken unto me with a lying tongue they compassed me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause in return for my love they are my adversaries but I am all prayer and they have laid upon me evil for good and hatred for my love set thou a wicked man over him and let an adversary stand at his right hand when he is judged let him go forth condemned and let his prayer be turned into sin let his days be few let another take his charge let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow let his children be vagabonds and beg and let them seek their bread out of their desolate places let the creditor dis to reign all that he hath and let strangers make spoil of his labor let there be none to extend kindness unto him neither let there be any to be gracious unto his fatherless children let his posterity be cut off in the generation following let their name be blotted out let the iniquity of his fathers be brought to remembrance unto Hashem and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out let them be before Hashem continually that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth because that he remembered not to do kindness but persecuted the poor and needy man and the broken in heart he was ready to slay yet he loved cursing and it came unto him and he delighted not in blessing and it is far from him he clothed himself also with cursing as with his raiment and it is come into his inward parts like water and like oil into his bones let it be unto him as the garment which he putteth on and for the girdle wherewith he is girded continually. This would mine adversaries effect from Hashem and they that speak evil against my soul but thou O God the Lord deal with me for thy name's sake because thy mercy is good deliver thou me for I am poor and needy and my heart is wounded within me I am gone like the shadow when it lengtheneth I am shaken off as the locust my knees totter through fasting and my flesh is lean and hath no fatness I am become also a taunt unto them when they see me they shake their head help me O Hashem my. 
God O oh, save me according to thy mercy that they may know that this is thy hand that thou Hashem hast done it let them curse but bless thou when they arise they shall be put to shame but thy servant shall rejoice mine adversaries shall be clothed with confusion and shall put on their own shame as a robe I will give great thanks unto Hashem with my mouth yea I will praise him among the multitude because he standeth at the right hand of the needy to save him from them that judge his soul. Psalms chapter a Psalm of David Hashem saith unto my Lord sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool the rod of thy strength Hashem will send out of Zion rule thou in the midst of thine enemies thy people offer themselves willingly in the day of thy warfare in adornments of holiness from the womb of the dawn thine is the dew of thy youth Hashem hath sworn and will not repent thou art a priest forever after the manner of Melchizedek the Lord at thy right hand doth crush kings in the day of his wrath he will judge among the nations he filleth it with the dead bodies he cruise hate the head over a wide land he will drink of the brook in the way therefore will he lift up the head psalms chapter hallelujah i will give thanks unto hashem with my whole heart in the council of the upright and in the congregation the works of hashem are great sought out of all them that have delight therein his work is glory and majesty and his Righteousness endureth forever he hath made a memorial for his wonderful works Hashem is gracious and full of compassion he hath given food unto them that fear him he will ever be mindful of his covenant he hath declared to his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations the works of his hands are truth and justice all his precepts are sure they are established forever and ever they are done in truth and uprightness he hath sent redemption unto his people he hath commanded his covenant forever holy and awful is his name the fear of Hashem is the beginning of wisdom a good understanding have all they that do thereafter his praise endureth forever psalms chapter hallelujah happy is the man that feareth Hashem that delighteth greatly in his commandments his seed shall be mighty upon earth the generation of the upright shall be blessed wealth and riches are in his house and his merit endureth forever unto the upright he Shineth as a light in the darkness gracious and full of compassion and righteous well is it with the man that dealeth graciously and lendeth that ordereth his affairs rightfully for he shall never be moved the righteous shall be had in everlasting remembrance he shall not be afraid of evil tidings his heart is steadfast trusting in Hashem his heart is established he shall not be afraid until he gaze upon his adversaries he hath scattered abroad he hath given to the needy his righteousness endureth forever his horn shall be exalted in honor the wicked shall see it and be vexed he shall gnash with his teeth and melt away the desire of the wicked shall perish psalms chapter hallelujah praise O yes servants of hashem praise the name of hashem blessed be the name of hashem from this time forth and forever from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof hashem's name is to be praised hashem is high above all nations his glory is above the heavens who is like unto Hashem our God that is enthroned on high that looked down low upon heaven and upon the earth who raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the needy out of the dunghill that he may set him with princes even with the princes of his people who make the barren woman to dwell in her house as a joyful mother of children hallelujah psalms chapter when Israel came forth out of Egypt the house of Jacob from a people of strange language Judah became his sanctuary Israel his dominion the sea saw it and fled the Jordan turned backward the mountains skipped like rams the hills like young sheep what aileth thee O thou sea that thou fleest thou Jordan that thou turnest backward ye mountains that ye skip like rams ye hills like young sheep tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord at the presence of the God of Jacob who turned the rock into a pool of water the flint into a fountain of waters Psalms chapter not unto us O Hashem not unto us but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake wherefore should the nations say where is now their God but our God is in the heavens whatsoever pleased him he hath done their idols are silver and gold the work of men's hands they have mouths but they speak not eyes have they but they see not they have ears but they hear not noses have they but they smell not they have hands but they handle not feet have they but they walk not neither speak they with their throat they that make them shall be like unto them yea every one that trusteth in them O Israel trust thou in Hashem he is their help and their shield O house of Aaron trust yea in Hashem he is their help and their shield yea that fear Hashem trust in Hashem he is their help and their shield Hashem hath been mindful of us he will bless he will bless the house of Israel he will bless the house of Aaron he will bless them that fear Hashem both small and great Hashem increase you more and more you and your children blessed be ye of Hashem who made heaven and earth the heavens are the heavens of Hashem but the earth hath he given to the children of men the dead praise not Hashem neither any that go down into silence but we will bless Hashem from this time forth and forever hallelujah psalms chapter I love that Hashem should hear my voice and my supplications because he hath inclined his ear unto me therefore will I call upon him all my days the cords of death compassed me and the straits of the netherworld got hold upon me I found trouble and sorrow but I called upon the name of Hashem I beseech thee O Hashem deliver my soul gracious is Hashem and righteous ye our God is compassionate Hashem preserveth the simple I was brought low and he saved me return O my soul unto thy rest for Hashem hath dealt bountifully with thee for thou hast delivered my soul from death mine eyes from tears and my feet from stumbling I shall walk before Hashem in the lands of the living I trusted even when I spoke I am greatly afflicted I said in my haste all men are liars how can I repay unto Hashem all his bountiful dealings toward me I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of Hashem my vows will I pay unto Hashem yet in the presence of all his people precious in the sight of Hashem is the death of his saints I beseech thee O Hashem for I am thy servant I am thy servant the son of thy 
And may thou hast loosed my bands I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of Hashem I will pay my vows unto Hashem in the presence of all his people in the courts of Hashem's house in the midst of the O Jerusalem Hallelujah Psalms chapter O praise Hashem all ye nations laud him all ye peoples for his mercy is great toward us and the truth of Hashem endureth forever Hallelujah Psalms chapter O give thanks unto Hashem for he is good for his mercy endureth forever so let Israel now say for his mercy endureth forever so let the house of Aaron now say for his mercy endureth forever so let them now that fear Hashem say for his mercy endureth forever out of my straits I called upon Hashem he answered me with great enlargement Hashem is for me I will not fear what can man do unto me Hashem is for me as my helper and I shall gaze upon them that hate me it is better to take refuge in Hashem than to trust in Man it is better to take refuge in Hashem than to trust in princes all nations compass me about verily in the name of Hashem I will cut them off they compass me about yea they compass me about verily in the name of Hashem I will cut them off they compass me about like bees they are quenched as the fire of thorns verily in the name of Hashem I will cut them off thou didst thrust sore at me that I might fall but Hashem help me Hashem is my strength and song and he is become my salvation the voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tents of the righteous the right hand of Hashem doth valiantly the right hand of Hashem is exalted the right hand of Hashem doth valiantly I shall not die but live and declare the works of Hashem Hashem hath chastened me sore but he hath not given me over unto death open to me the gates of righteousness I will enter into them I will give thanks unto Hashem this is the gate of Hashem the righteous shall enter into it I will Give thanks unto thee for thou hast answered me and art become my salvation the stone which the builders rejected is become the chief cornerstone this is Hashem's doing it is marvelous in our eyes this is the day which Hashem hath made we will rejoice and be glad in it we beseech thee O Hashem save now we beseech thee O Hashem make us now to prosper blessed be he that cometh in the name of Hashem we bless you out of the house of Hashem Hashem is God and hath given us light order. The festival procession with bows even unto the horns of the altar thou art my God and I will give thanks unto thee thou art my God I will exalt thee O give thanks unto Hashem for he is good for his mercy endureth forever Psalms chapter Aleph Happy are they that are upright in the way who walk in the law of Hashem Happy are they that keep his testimonies that seek him with the whole heart yea they do no unrighteousness they walk in his ways thou hast ordained thy precepts that we should observe them diligently O that my ways were directed to observe thy statutes then should I not be ashamed when I have regard unto all thy commandments I will give thanks unto thee with uprightness of heart when I learn thy righteous ordinances I will observe thy statutes O forsake me not utterly Beth wherewithal shall a young man keep his way pure by taking heed thereto according to thy word with my whole heart have I sought thee O let me not err from thy commandments thy word have I laid up in my heart that I might not sin against thee blessed art thou O Hashem teach me thy statutes with my lips have I told all the ordinances of thy mouth I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways I will delight myself in thy statutes I will not forget thy word Gimel deal bountifully with thy servant that I may live and I will observe thy word open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law I am a sojourner in the earth hide not thy commandments from me my soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thine ordinances at all times thou hast rebuked the proud that are cursed that do err from thy commandments take away from me reproach and contempt for I have kept thy testimonies even though princes sit and talk against me thy servant doth meditate in thy statutes yea thy testimonies are my delight they are my Counselors doleth my soul cleaveth unto the dust quicken thou me according to thy word I told of my ways and thou didst answer me teach me thy statutes make me to understand the way of thy precepts that I may talk of thy wondrous works my soul melteth away for heaviness sustain me according unto thy word remove from me the way of falsehood and grant me thy law graciously I have chosen the way of faithfulness thine ordinances have I set before me I cleave unto thy testimonies O. Hashem put me not to shame I will run the way of thy commandments for thou dost enlarge my heart he teach me O Hashem the way of thy statutes and I will keep it at every step give me understanding that I keep thy law and observe it with my whole heart make me to tread in the path of thy commandments for therein do I delight incline my heart unto thy testimonies and not to covetousness turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity and quicken me in thy ways confirm thy word unto thy servant which pertaineth unto the fear of thee turn away my reproach which I dread for thine ordinances are good behold I have longed after thy precepts quicken me in thy righteousness vav let thy mercies also come unto me O Hashem even thy salvation according to thy word that I may have an answer for him that taunteth me for I trust in thy word and take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth for I hope in thine ordinances so shall I observe thy law continually forever and ever and I will walk at ease for I have sought thy precepts I will also speak of thy testimonies before kings and will not be ashamed and I will delight myself in thy commandments which I have loved I will lift up my hands also unto thy commandments which I have loved and I will meditate in thy statutes sign remember the word unto thy servant because thou hast made me to hope this is my comfort in my affliction that thy word hath quickened me the proud have had me greatly in 
Derision yet have I not turned aside from thy law I have remembered thine ordinances which are of old O Hashem and have comforted myself burning indignation hath taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law thy statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage I have remembered thy name O Hashem in the night and have observed thy law this I have had that I have kept thy precepts hate my portion is Hashem I have said that I would observe thy words I have entreated thy favor with my whole heart be gracious unto me according to thy word I considered my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies I made haste and delayed not to observe thy commandments the bands of the wicked have enclosed me but I have not forgotten thy law at midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous ordinances I am a companion of all them that fear thee and of them that observe thy precepts the earth O Hashem is full of thy mercy teach me thy statutes teth thou hast dealt well with thy servant O Hashem according unto thy word teach me good discernment and knowledge for I have believed thy commandments before I was afflicted I did err but now I observe thy word thou art good and doest good teach me thy statutes the proud have forged a lie against me but I with my whole heart will keep thy precepts their heart is gross like fat but I delight in thy law it is good for me that I have been afflicted in order that I might learn thy statutes the law of thy mouth is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver jod thy hands have made me and fashioned me give me understanding that i may learn thy commandments they that fear thee shall see me and be glad because i have hope in thy word i know o hashem that thy judgments are righteous and that in faithfulness thou hast afflicted me let i pray thee thy loving kindness be ready to comfort me according to thy promise unto thy servant let thy tender mercies come unto me that I may live for thy law is my delight let the proud be put to shame for they have distorted my cause with falsehood but I will meditate in thy precepts let those that fear thee return unto me and they that know thy testimonies let my heart be undivided in thy statutes in order that I may not be put to shame caph my soul pineth for thy salvation in thy word do I hope mine eyes fail for thy word saying when wilt thou comfort me for I am become like a wine skin in the smoke yet do I not forget thy statutes how many are the days of thy servant when wilt thou execute judgment on them that persecute me the proud have digged pits for me which is not according to thy law all thy commandments are faithful they persecute me for not help thou me they had almost consumed me upon earth but as for me I forsook not thy precepts quicken me after thy loving kindness and I will observe the testimony of thy mouth lamet forever O Hashem thy word standeth fast in heaven thy faithfulness is unto all generations thou hast established the earth and it standeth they stand this day according to thine ordinances for all things are thy servants unless thy law had been my delight I should then have perished in mine affliction I will never forget thy precepts for with them thou hast quickened me I am thine save me for I have sought thy precepts the wicked have waited for me to destroy me but I will consider thy testimonies I have seen an end to every purpose but thy commandment is exceeding broad memo how love i thy law it is my meditation all the day thy commandments make me wiser than mine enemies for they are ever with me i have more understanding than all my teachers for thy testimonies are my meditation i understand more than mine elders because i have keep thy precepts i have refrained my feet from every evil way in order that i might observe thy word i have not turned aside from thine ordinances for Thou hast instructed me how sweet are thy words unto my palate yes sweeter than honey to my mouth from thy precepts I get understanding therefore I hate every false way none thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path I have sworn and have confirmed it to observe thy righteous ordinances I am afflicted very much quicken me O Hashem according unto thy word except I beseech thee the free will offerings of my mouth O Hashem and teach me thine ordinances my soul is continually in my hand yet have I not forgotten thy law the wicked have laid a snare for me yet went I not astray from thy precepts thy testimonies have I taken as a heritage forever for they are the rejoicing of my heart I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes forever at every step same I hate them that are of a double mind but thy law do I love thou art my covert and my shield in thy word do I hope depart from me ye evildoers that I may keep the commandments of my God Uphold me according unto thy word that I may live and put me not to shame in my hope support thou me and I shall be saved and I will occupy myself with thy statutes continually thou hast made light of all them that err from thy statutes for their deceit is vain thou puttest away all the wicked of the earth like dross therefore I love thy testimonies my flesh shuddereth for fear of thee and I am afraid of thy judgments and I have done justice and righteousness leave me not to mine oppressors be surety for thy servant for good let not the proud oppress me mine eyes fail for thy salvation and for thy righteous word deal with thy servant according unto thy mercy and teach me thy statutes I am thy servant give me understanding that I may know thy testimonies it is time for Hashem to work they have made void thy law therefore I love thy commandments above gold yea above fine gold therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right every false way I hate pe thy testimonies are wonderful therefore doth my soul keep them the opening of thy words giveth light it giveth understanding unto the simple I opened wide my mouth and panted for I longed for thy commandments turn thee towards me and be gracious unto me as is thy want to do unto those that love thy name order my footsteps by thy word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me redeem me from the oppression of man and I will observe thy precepts make thy face to 
Shine upon thy servant and teach me thy statutes mine eyes run down with rivers of water because they observe not thy laws aid righteous art thou O Hashem and upright are thy judgments thou hast commanded thy testimonies in righteousness and exceeding faithfulness my zeal hath undone me because mine adversaries have forgotten thy words thy word is tried to the uttermost and thy servant loveth it I am small and despised yet have I not forgotten thy precepts thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth trouble and anguish have overtaken me yet thy commandments are my delight thy testimonies are righteous forever give me understanding and I shall live koph I have called with my whole heart answer me O Hashem I will keep thy statutes I have called thee save me and I will observe thy testimonies I rose early at dawn and cried I hoped in thy word mine eyes forestalled the night watches that I might meditate in thy word hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness quicken me O Hashem as thou art wont they draw nigh that follow after wickedness they are far from thy law thou art nigh O Hashem and all thy commandments are truth of old have I known from thy testimonies that thou hast founded them forever resho see mine affliction and rescue me for I do not forget thy law plead thou my cause and redeem me quicken me according to thy word salvation is far from the wicked for they seek not thy statutes Great are thy compassions O Hashem quicken me as thou art wont many are my persecutors and mine adversaries yet have I not turned aside from thy testimonies I beheld them that were faithless and strove with them because they observed not thy word O see how I love thy precepts quicken me O Hashem according to thy loving kindness the beginning of thy word is truth and all thy righteous ordinance endureth forever skin princes have persecuted me without a cause but my heart standeth in of thy words I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil I hate and abhor falsehood thy law do I love seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous ordinances great peace have they that love thy law and there is no stumbling for them I have hope for thy salvation O Hashem and have done thy commandments my soul hath observed thy testimonies and I love them exceedingly I have observed thy precepts and thy testimonies for all my ways are before thee tough. Let my cry come near before thee O Hashem give me understanding according to thy word let my supplication come before thee deliver me according to thy word let my lips utter praise because thou teachest me thy statutes let my tongue sing of thy word for all thy commandments are righteousness let thy hand be ready to help me for I have chosen thy precepts I have longed for thy salvation O Hashem and thy law is my delight let my soul live and it shall praise thee and let thine ordinances help me I have gone astray like a lost sheep seek thy servant for I have not forgotten thy commandments Psalms chapter a song of ascents in my distress I called unto Hashem and he answered me O Hashem deliver my soul from lying lips from a deceitful tongue what shall be given unto thee and what shall be done more unto thee thou deceitful tongue sharp arrows of the mighty with coals of broom woe is me that I sojourn with Meshech that I dwell beside the tents of Kedar my soul hath full long had her dwelling with him that hath peace I am all peace but when I speak they are for war Psalms chapter a song of ascents I will lift up mine eyes unto the mountains from whence shall my help come my help cometh from Hashem who made heaven and earth he will not suffer thy foot to be moved he that keepeth thee will not slumber behold he that keepeth Israel doth neither slumber nor sleep Hashem is thy keeper Hashem is thy shade upon thy right hand the sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night Hashem shall keep thee from all evil he shall keep thy soul Hashem shall guard thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and forever Psalms chapter a song of ascents of David I rejoiced when they said unto me let us go unto the house of Hashem our feet are standing within thy gates O Jerusalem Jerusalem that art builded as a city that is compact together whither the tribes went up even the tribes of Hashem as a testimony unto Israel to give thanks unto the name of Hashem for there were set thrones for judgment the thrones of the house of David pray for the peace of Jerusalem may they prosper that love thee peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces for my brethren and companions sakes I will now say peace be within thee for the sake of the house of Hashem our God I will seek thy good Psalms chapter a song of ascents unto thee I lift up mine eyes O thou that art enthroned in the heavens behold as the eyes of servants unto the hand of their master as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress so our eyes look unto Hashem our God until he be gracious unto us be gracious unto us O Hashem be gracious unto us for we are full sated with contempt our soul is full sated with the scorning of those that are at ease and with the contempt of the proud oppressors Psalms chapter a song of ascents of David if it had not been Hashem who was for us let Israel now say if it had not been Hashem who was for us when men rose up against us then they had swallowed us up alive when their wrath was kindled against us then the waters had overwhelmed us the stream had gone over our soul then the proud waters had gone over our soul blessed be Hashem who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers the snare is broken and we are escaped our help is in the name of Hashem who made heaven and earth Psalms chapter a song of ascents they that trust in Hashem are as Mount Zion which cannot be moved but abide forever as the mountains are round about Jerusalem so Hashem is round about his people from this time forth and forever for the rod of wickedness shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous that the righteous put not forth their hands unto iniquity do good O Hashem unto the good and to them that are upright in their hearts but as for such as 
Turn aside unto their crooked ways Hashem will lead them away with the workers of iniquity peace be upon Israel Psalms chapter a song of ascents when Hashem brought back those that returned to Zion we were like unto them that dream then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing then said they among the nations the Hashem hath done great things with these Hashem hath done great things with us we are rejoiced turn our captivity O Hashem as the streams in the dry land they that sow in tears shall reap in joy though he goeth on his way weeping that beareth the measure of seed he shall come home with joy bearing his sheep psalms chapter a song of ascents of solomon except hashem build the house they labor in vain that build it except hashem keep the city the watchman waked but in vain it is vain for you that ye rise early and sit up late ye that eat the bread of toil so he giveth unto his beloved in sleep low children are a heritage of Hashem the fruit of the womb is a reward as arrows in the hand of a mighty man so are the children of one's youth happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them they shall not be put to shame when they speak with their enemies in the gate Psalms chapter a song of ascents happy is every one that feareth Hashem that walketh in his ways when thou eatest the labor of thy hands happy shalt thou be and it shall be well with thee thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine in the innermost parts of thy house thy children like olive plants round about thy table behold surely thus shall the man be blessed that feareth Hashem Hashem bless thee out of Zion and see thou the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life and see thy children's children peace be upon Israel Psalms chapter a song of ascents much have they afflicted me from my youth up let Israel now say much have they afflicted me from my youth up but they have not prevailed against me the Plowers plowed upon my back they made long their furrows Hashem is righteous he hath cut asunder the cords of the wicked let them be ashamed and turned backward all they that hate Zion let them be as the grass upon the housetops which with a wreath afore it springeth up wherewith the reaper filleth not his hand nor he that bindeth sheaves his bosom neither do they that go by say the blessing of Hashem be upon you we bless you in the name of Hashem Psalms chapter a song of ascents. Out of the depths have I called thee O Hashem Lord hearken unto my voice let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications if thou Hashem shouldest mark iniquities O Lord who could stand for with thee there is forgiveness that thou mayest be feared I wait for Hashem my soul doth wait and in his word do I hope my soul wait for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning yea more than watchmen for the morning O Israel hope in Hashem for with Hashem there is mercy and with him is plenteous redemption and he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities Psalms chapter a song of ascents of David Hashem my heart is not haughty nor mine eyes lofty neither do I exercise myself in things too great or in things too wonderful for me surely I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child with his mother my soul is with me like a weaned child O Israel hope in Hashem from this time forth and forever Psalms chapter a song of ascents Hashem remember unto David all his affliction how he swore unto Hashem and vowed unto the mighty one of Jacob surely I will not come into the tent of my house nor go up into the bed that is spread for me I will not give sleep to mine eyes nor slumber to mine eyelids until I find out a place for Hashem a dwelling place for the mighty one of Jacob lo we heard of it as being in Ephrath we found it in the field of the wood let us go into his dwelling place let us worship at his footstool arise O oh. Hashem unto thy resting place thou and the ark of thy strength let thy priests be clothed with righteousness and let thy saints shout for joy for thy servant David's sake turn not away the face of thine anointed Hashem swore unto David in truth he will not turn back from it of the fruit of thy body will I set upon thy throne if thy children keep my covenant and my testimony that I shall teach them their children also forever shall sit upon thy throne for Hashem hath chosen Zion he hath desired it for his habitation this is my resting place forever here will I dwell for I have desired it I will abundantly bless her provision I will give her needy bread in plenty her priests also will I clothe with salvation and her saints shall shout aloud for joy there will I make a horn to shoot up unto David there have I ordered a lamp for mine anointed his enemies will I clothe with shame but upon himself shall his crown shine Psalms chapter a song of a sense of David behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity it is like the precious oil upon the head coming down upon the beard even Aaron's beard that cometh down upon the collar of his garments like the dew of Hermon that cometh down upon the mountains of Zion for their Hashem commanded the blessing even life forever Psalms chapter a song of ascents behold bless ye Hashem all ye servants of Hashem that stand in the house of Hashem in the night seasons. Lift up your hands to the sanctuary and bless ye Hashem Hashem bless thee out of Zion even he that made heaven and earth Psalms chapter hallelujah praise ye the name of Hashem give praise O ye servants of Hashem ye that stand in the house of Hashem in the courts of the house of our God praise ye Hashem for Hashem is good sing praises unto his name for it is pleasant for Hashem hath chosen Jacob unto himself and Israel for his own treasure for I know that Hashem is great and that our Lord is above all gods whatsoever Hashem pleased that hath he done in heaven and in earth in the seas and in all deeps who causeth the vapours to ascend from the ends of the earth he maketh lightnings for the rain he bringeth forth the wind out of his treasuries who smote the firstborn of Egypt both of man and beast he sent signs and wonders into the midst of the O Egypt upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants who smote many nations and slew mighty king Sihon king of the 
Amorites and Og king of Bashan and all the kingdoms of Canaan and gave their land for a heritage a heritage unto Israel his people O Hashem thy name endureth forever thy memorial O Hashem throughout all generations for Hashem will judge his people and repent himself for his servants the idols of the nations are silver and gold the work of men's hands they have mouths but they speak not eyes have they but they see not they have ears but they hear not neither is there any breath in their mouths they that make them shall be like unto them ye every one that trusteth in them O house of Israel bless ye Hashem O house of Aaron bless ye Hashem O house of Levi bless ye Hashem ye that fear Hashem bless ye Hashem blessed be Hashem out of Zion who dwelleth at Jerusalem hallelujah Psalms chapter O give thanks unto Hashem for he is good for his mercy endureth forever O give thanks unto the God of gods for his mercy endureth forever O give thanks unto the Lord of Lords for his mercy endureth forever to him who alone doth great wonders for his mercy endureth forever to him that by understanding made the heavens for his mercy endureth forever to him that spread forth the earth above the waters for his mercy endureth forever to him that made great lights for his mercy endureth forever the sun to rule by day for his mercy endureth forever the moon and stars to rule by night for his mercy endureth forever to him that smote Egypt in their firstborn for his mercy endureth forever and brought out Israel from among them for his mercy endureth forever with a strong hand and with an outstretched arm for his mercy endureth forever to him who divided the Red Sea in sunder for his mercy endureth forever and made Israel to pass through the midst of it for his mercy endureth forever but overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea for his mercy endureth forever to him that led his people through the wilderness. For his mercy endureth forever to him that smote great kings for his mercy endureth forever and slow mighty kings for his mercy endureth forever Sihon king of the Amorites for his mercy endureth forever and Og king of Bashan for his mercy endureth forever and gave their land for a heritage for his mercy endureth forever even a heritage unto Israel his servant for his mercy endureth forever who remembered us in our low estate for his mercy endureth forever and hath delivered us from our adversaries for his mercy endureth forever who giveth food to all flesh for his mercy endureth forever O give thanks unto the God of heaven for his mercy endureth forever Psalms chapter by the rivers of Babylon there we sat down yea we wept when we remembered Zion upon the willows in the midst thereof we hanged up our harps for there they that led us captive asked of us words of song and our tormentors asked of us mirth sing us one of the songs of Zion how shall we sing Hashem's song in a foreign land if I forget thee O Jerusalem let my right hand forget her cunning let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth if I remember thee not if I set not Jerusalem above my chiefest joy remember O Hashem against the children of Edom the day of Jerusalem who said raise it raise it even to the foundation thereof O daughter of Babylon that art to be destroyed happy shall he be that repayeth thee as thou hast served us happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the rock psalms chapter a psalm of david i will give thee thanks with my whole heart in the presence of the mighty will i sing praises unto thee i will bow down toward thy holy temple and give thanks unto thy name for thy mercy and for thy truth for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name in the day that i called thou didst answer me thou didst encourage me in my soul with strength all the kings of the earth shall give thee thanks o Hashem for they have heard the words of thy mouth yea they shall sing of the ways of Hashem for great is the glory of Hashem for though Hashem be high yet regardeth he the lowly and the haughty he knoweth from afar though I walk in the midst of trouble thou quickenest me thou stretchest forth thy hand against the wrath of mine enemies and thy right hand doth save me Hashem will accomplish that which concerneth me thy mercy O Hashem endureth forever forsake not the work of thine own. Hence Psalms chapter for the leader a psalm of David O Hashem thou hast searched me and known me thou knowest my down sitting and mine uprising thou understandest my thought afar off thou measurest my going about and my lying down and art acquainted with all my ways for there is not a word in my tongue but lo O Hashem thou knowest it altogether thou hast hemmed me in behind and before and laid thy hand upon me such knowledge is too wonderful for me too high I cannot attain unto. It whither shall I go from thy spirit or whither shall I flee from thy presence if I ascend up into heaven thou art there if I make my bed in the nether world behold thou art there if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea even there would thy hand lead me and thy right hand would hold me and if I say surely the darkness shall envelop me and the light about me shall be night even the darkness is not too dark for thee but the night shineth as the day the darkness is even as the light for thou hast made my reins thou hast knit me together in my mother's womb I will give thanks unto thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made wonderful are thy works and that my soul know it right well my frame was not hidden from thee when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth thine eyes did see mine unformed substance and in thy book they were all written even the days that were fashioned when as yet there was none of them how weighty also are thy thoughts unto me O God how great is the sum of them if I would count them they are more in number than the sand were I to come to the end of them I would still be with thee if thou but wouldest slay the wicked O God depart from me therefore ye men of blood who utter thy name with wicked thought they take it for falsehood even thine enemies do not I hate them O Hashem that hate thee and do not I strive with those that rise up against thee I hate them with utmost hatred I count them mine enemies search me O God and know my heart try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any way in me that is grievous and lead me in the way everlasting Psalms chapter for the leader a psalm of David deliver me O Hashem from the evil man preserve me from the violent man who devise evil things in their heart every day do they stir up wars they have sharpened their tongue like a serpent vipers venom is under their lips 
Selah keep me O Hashem from the hands of the wicked preserve me from the violent man who have purposed to make my steps slip the proud have hid a snare for me and cords they have spread a net by the wayside they have set gins for me Selah I have said unto Hashem thou art my God give ear O Hashem unto the voice of my supplications O God the Lord the strength of my salvation who hast screened my head in the day of battle grant not O Hashem the desires of the wicked further not his evil device so that they exalt themselves Selah as for the head of those that compass me about let the mischief of their own lips cover them let burning coals fall upon them let them be cast into the fire into deep pits that they rise not up again a slanderer shall not be established in the earth the violent and evil man shall be hunted with thrust upon thrust I know that Hashem will maintain the cause of the poor and the right of the needy surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name the upright shall dwell in thy presence Psalms chapter a Psalm of David Hashem I have called thee make haste unto me give ear unto my voice when I call unto thee let my prayer be set forth as incense before thee the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice set a guard O Hashem to my mouth keep watch at the door of my lips incline not my heart to any evil thing to be occupied in deeds of wickedness with men that work iniquity and let me not eat of their dainties let the righteous smite me in kindness and correct me oil so choice let not my head refuse for still is my prayer because of their wickedness their judges are thrown down by the sides of the rock and they shall hear my words that they are sweet as when one cleaveth and breaketh up the earth our bones are scattered at the grave's mouth for mine eyes are unto thee O God the Lord in thee have I taken refuge O pour not out my soul keep me from the snare which they have laid for me and from the gins of the workers of iniquity let the wicked fall into their own nets whilst I withal escape Psalms chapter maskil of David when he was in the cave a prayer with my voice I cry unto Hashem with my voice I make supplication unto Hashem I pour out my complaint before him I declare before him my trouble when my spirit fainteth within me thou knowest my path in the way wherein I walk have they hidden a snare for me look on my right hand and see for there is no man that Know it me I have no way to flee no man careth for my soul I have cried unto thee O Hashem I have said thou art my refuge my portion in the land of the living attend unto my cry for I am brought very low deliver me from my persecutors for they are too strong for me bring my soul out of prison that I may give thanks unto thy name the righteous shall crown themselves because of me for thou wilt deal bountifully with me Psalms chapter a Psalm of David O Hashem hear my prayer give. Hear to my supplications in thy faithfulness answer me and in thy righteousness and enter not into judgment with thy servant for in thy sight shall no man living be justified for the enemy hath persecuted my soul he hath crushed my life down to the ground he hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead and my spirit fainteth within me my heart within me is appalled I remember the days of old I meditate on all thy doing I muse on the work of thy hands I spread. Forth my hands unto thee my soul thirsteth after thee as a weary land seal answer me speedily O Hashem my spirit faileth hide not thy face from me lest I become like them that go down into the pit cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning for in thee do I trust cause me to know the way wherein I should walk for unto thee have I lifted up my soul deliver me from mine enemies O Hashem with thee have I hidden myself teach me to do thy will for thou art my God let thy good spirit. Lead me in an even land for thy name's sake O Hashem quicken me in thy righteousness bring my soul out of trouble and in thy mercy cut off mine enemies and destroy all them that harass my soul for I am thy servant Psalms chapter a Psalm of David blessed be Hashem my rock who traineth my hands for war and my fingers for battle my loving kindness and my fortress my high tower and my deliverer my shield and he in whom I take refuge who subdueth my people under me Hashem what is man. That thou takest knowledge of him or the son of man that thou makest account of him man is like unto a breath his days are as a shadow that passeth away O Hashem bow thy heavens and come down touch the mountains that they may smoke cast forth lightning and scatter them send out thine arrows and discomfit them stretch forth thy hands from on high rescue me and deliver me out of many waters out of the hand of strangers whose mouth speak falsehood and their right hand is a right hand. Of lying O God I will sing a new song unto thee upon a psaltery of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee who givest salvation unto kings who rescuest David thy servant from the hurtful sword rescue me and deliver me out of the hand of strangers whose mouth speak falsehood and their right hand is a right hand of lying we whose sons are as plants grown up in their youth whose daughters are as corner pillars carved after the fashion of a palace whose garners are full affording all manner of store whose sheep increase by thousands and ten thousands in our fields whose oxen are well laden with no breach and no going forth and no outcry in our broad places happy is the people that is in such a case yeah happy is the people whose God is Hashem Psalms chapter a psalm of praise of David I will extol thee my God O King and I will bless thy name forever and ever every day will I bless thee and I will praise thy name forever and ever great is Hashem and highly too be praised and his greatness is unsearchable one generation shall laud thy works to another and shall declare thy mighty acts the glorious splendor of thy majesty and thy wondrous works will I rehearse and men shall speak of the might of thy tremendous acts and I will tell of thy greatness they shall utter the fame of thy great goodness and shall sing of thy righteousness Hashem is gracious and full of compassion slow to anger and of great mercy Hashem is good to all and is tender.
Mercies are over all his works all thy works shall praise thee O Hashem and thy saints shall bless thee they shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy might to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glory of the majesty of his kingdom thy kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations Hashem upholdeth all that fall and raiseth up all those that are bowed down the eyes of all wait for thee and thou givest them there. Food in due season thou openest thy hand and satisfiest every living thing with favor Hashem is righteous in all his ways and gracious in all his works Hashem is nigh unto all them that call upon him to all that call upon him in truth he will fulfill the desire of them that fear him he also will hear their cry and will save them Hashem preserveth all them that love him but all the wicked will he destroy my mouth shall speak the praise of Hashem and let all flesh bless his holy name. Forever and ever Psalms chapter Hallelujah praise Hashem O my soul I will praise Hashem while I live I will sing praises unto my God while I have my being put not your trust in princes nor in the son of man in whom there is no help his breath goeth forth he returneth to his dust in that very day his thoughts perish happy is he whose help is the God of Jacob whose hope is in Hashem his God who made heaven and earth the sea and all that in them is who keepeth truth forever who Execute justice for the oppressed who giveth bread to the hungry Hashem loosed the prisoners Hashem openeth the eyes of the blind Hashem raiseth up them that are bowed down Hashem loveth the righteous Hashem preserveth the strangers he upholdeth the fatherless and the widow but the way of the wicked he maketh crooked Hashem will reign forever thy God O Zion unto all generations Hallelujah Psalms chapter Hallelujah for it is good to sing praises unto our God for it is pleasant. And praise is comely Hashem doth build up Jerusalem he gathereth together the dispersed of Israel who healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds he counteth the number of the stars he giveth them all their names great is our Lord and mighty in power his understanding is infinite Hashem upholdeth the humble he bringeth the wicked down to the ground sing unto Hashem with thanksgiving sing praises upon the harp unto our God who covereth the heaven with clouds who Prepareth rain for the earth who make the mountains to spring with grass he giveth to the beast his food and to the young ravens which cry he delighteth not in the strength of the horse he taketh no pleasure in the legs of a man Hashem taketh pleasure in them that fear him in those that wait for his mercy glorify Hashem O Jerusalem praise thy God O Zion for he hath made strong the bars of thy gates he hath blessed thy children within thee he make thy borders peace he giveth thee. In plenty the fat of wheat he sendeth out his commandment upon earth his word runneth very swiftly he giveth snow like wool he scattereth the hoarfrost like ashes he casteth forth his ice like crumbs who can stand before his cold he sendeth forth his word and melteth them he causeth his wind to blow and the waters flow he declareth his word unto Jacob his statutes and his ordinances unto Israel he hath not dealt so with any nation and as for his ordinances they have not known them. Hallelujah Psalms chapter Hallelujah praise ye Hashem from the heavens praise him in the heights praise ye him all his angels praise ye him all his hosts praise ye him sun and moon praise him all ye stars of light praise him ye heavens of heavens and ye waters that are above the heavens let them praise the name of Hashem for he commanded and they were created he hath also established them forever and ever he hath made a decree which shall not be transgressed praise Hashem. From the earth ye sea monsters and all deeps fire and hail snow and vapor stormy wind fulfilling his word mountains and all hills fruitful trees and all cedars beasts and all cattle creeping things and winged fowl kings of the earth and all peoples princes and all judges of the earth both young men and maidens old men and children let them praise the name of Hashem for his name alone is exalted his glory is above the earth and heaven and he hath lifted up a horn for his people a. Praise for all his saints even for the children of Israel a people near unto him Hallelujah Psalms chapter Hallelujah sing unto Hashem a new song and his praise in the assembly of the saints let Israel rejoice in his maker let the children of Zion be joyful in their king let them praise his name in the dance let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp for Hashem taketh pleasure in his people he adorneth the humble with salvation let the saints exult in glory let them sing for joy upon their beds let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the nations and chastisements upon the peoples to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written he is the glory of all his saints hallelujah psalms chapter hallelujah praise God in his sanctuary praise him in the firmament of his power praise him for his mighty acts praise him according to his abundant greatness praise him with the blast of the horn praise him with the psaltery and harp praise him with the timbrel and dance praise him with stringed instruments and the pipe praise him with the loud sounding cymbals praise him with the clanging cymbals let everything that hath breath praise Hashem hallelujah proverbs chapter the proverbs of Solomon the son of David king of Israel to know wisdom and instruction to comprehend the words of Understanding to receive the discipline of wisdom justice and right and equity to give prudence to the simple to the young man knowledge and discretion that the wise man may hear and increase in learning and the man of understanding may attain unto wise counsels to understand a proverb and a figure the words of the wise and their dark sayings the fear of Hashem is the beginning of knowledge but the foolish despise wisdom and discipline hear my son the instruction of thy father and 
Forsake not the teaching of thy mother for they shall be a chaplet of grace unto thy head and chains about thy neck my son if sinners entice thee consent thou not if they say come with us let us lie in wait for blood let us lurk for the innocent without cause let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as those that go down into the pit we shall find all precious substance we shall fill our houses with spoil cast in thy lot among us let us all have one purse my son. Walk not thou in the way with them restrain thy foot from their path for their feet run to evil and they make haste to shed blood for in vain the net is spread in the eyes of any bird and these lie in wait for their own blood they lurk for their own lives so are the ways of every one that is greedy of gain it taketh away the life of the owners thereof wisdom crieth aloud in the streets she uttereth her voice in the broad places she calleth at the head of the noisy streets at the entrances of the gates in the city she uttereth her words how long ye thoughtless will ye love thoughtlessness and how long will scorners delight them in scorning and fools hate knowledge turn you at my reproof behold i will pour out my spirit unto you i will make known my words unto you because i have called and ye refused i have stretched out my hand and no man attended but ye have set at not all my counsel and would none of my reproof i also in your calamity will laugh i will Mock when your dread cometh when your dread cometh as a storm and your calamity cometh on as a whirlwind when trouble and distress come upon you then will they call me but I will not answer they will seek me earnestly but they shall not find me for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Hashem they would none of my counsel they despised all my reproof therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices for the waywardness of the thoughtless shall slay them and the confidence of fools shall destroy them but whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell securely and shall be quiet without fear of evil chapter my son if thou wilt receive my words and lay up my commandments with thee so that thou make thine ear attend unto wisdom and thy heart incline to discernment yet if thou call for understanding and lift up thy voice for discernment if thou seek her as silver and search for her as for hid treasures then shalt thou understand the fear of Hashem and find the knowledge of God for Hashem giveth wisdom out of his mouth cometh knowledge and discernment he layeth up sound wisdom for the upright he is a shield to them that walk in integrity that he may guard the paths of justice and preserve the way of his godly ones then shalt thou understand righteousness and justice and equity yea every good path for wisdom shall enter into thy heart and knowledge shall be pleasant unto thy soul discretion shall watch over thee discernment shall guard thee to deliver thee from the way of evil from the men that speak froward things who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness who rejoice to do evil and delight in the frowardness of evil who are crooked in their ways and perverse in their paths to deliver thee from the strange woman even from the alien woman that make smooth her words that forsake the lord of her youth and forgetteth the covenant of her god for her house sinketh down unto death and her paths unto the shades none that go unto her return neither do they attain unto the paths of life that thou mayest walk in the way of good men and keep the paths of the righteous for the upright shall dwell in the land and the wholehearted shall remain in it but the wicked shall be cut off from the land and the faithless shall be plucked up out of it chapter my son forget not my teaching but let thy heart keep my commandments for length of days and years of life and peace will they add to thee let not kindness and truth forsake thee bind them about thy neck write them upon the table of thy heart so shalt thou find grace and good favor in the sight of God and man trust in Hashem with all thy heart and lean not upon thine own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct thy paths be not wise in thine own eyes fear Hashem and depart from evil it shall be health to thy navel and marrow. To thy bones honor Hashem with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase so shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy vats shall overflow with new wine my son despise not the chastening of Hashem neither spurn thou his correction for whom Hashem loveth he correcteth even as a father the son in whom he delighteth happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that obtaineth understanding for the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof than fine gold she is more precious than rubies and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her length of days is in her right hand in her left hand are riches and honor her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace she is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her and happy is every one that holdest her fast Hashem by wisdom founded the earth by understanding he established the heavens by his knowledge the depths were broken. Up and the skies drop down the dew my son let not them depart from thine eyes keep sound wisdom and discretion so shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck then shalt thou walk in thy way securely and thou shalt not dash thy foot when thou liest down thou shalt not be afraid yet thou shalt lie down and thy sleep shall be sweet be not afraid of sudden terror neither of the destruction of the wicked when it cometh for Hashem will be thy confidence and will keep thy foot. From being caught withhold not good from him to whom it is due when it is in the power of thy hand to do it say not unto thy neighbor go and come again and tomorrow I will give when thou hast it by thee devise not evil against thy neighbor seeing he dwelleth securely by thee strive not with a man without cause if he have done thee no harm envy thou not the man of violence and choose none of his ways for the perverse is an abomination to Hashem but his counsel is with thee. Upright the curse of Hashem is in the house of the wicked but he blesseth the habitation of the righteous if it concerneth the scorners he scorneth them but unto the humble he giveth grace the wise shall inherit honor but as for the fools they carry away shame chapter here yet children the instruction of a father and attend to no understanding for I give you good doctrine forsake ye not my teaching for I was a son unto my father tender and an only one in the sight of my mother.
And he taught me and said unto me let thy heart hold fast my words keep my commandments and live get wisdom get understanding forget not neither decline from the words of my mouth forsake her not and she will preserve thee love her and she will keep thee the beginning of wisdom is get wisdom yea with all thy getting get understanding extol her and she will exalt thee she will bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her she will give to thy head a chaplet of grace a crown of glory. Will she bestow on thee here O my son and receive my sayings and the years of thy life shall be many I have taught thee in the way of wisdom I have led thee in paths of uprightness when thou goest thy step shall not be straightened and if thou runnest thou shalt not stumble take fast hold of instruction let her not go keep her for she is thy life enter not into the path of the wicked and walk not in the way of evil men avoid it pass not by it turn from it and pass on for they sleep. Not except they have done evil and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence but the path of the righteous is as the light of dawn that shineth more and more unto the perfect day the way of the wicked is as darkness they know not at what they stumble my son attend to my words incline thine ear unto my sayings let them not depart from thine eyes keep them in the midst of thy heart for they are life. Unto those that find them and health to all their flesh above all that thou guardest keep thy heart for out of it are the issues of life put away from thee a froward mouth and perverse lips put far from thee let thine eyes look right on and let thine eyelids look straight before thee make plain the path of thy feet and let all thy ways be established turn not to the right hand nor to the left remove thy foot from evil chapter my son attend unto my wisdom incline thine ear to my understanding that thou mayest preserve discretion and that thy lips may keep knowledge for the lips of a strange woman drop honey and her mouth is smoother than oil but her end is bitter as wormwood sharp as a two-edged sword her feet go down to death her steps take hold on the nether world lest she should walk the even path of life her ways wander but she know it not now therefore O oh, ye children hearken unto me and depart not from the words of my mouth remove thy way far from her and come not nigh the door of her house lest thou give thy vigor unto others and thy years unto the cruel lest strangers be filled with thy strength and thy labors be in the house of an alien and thou moan when thine end cometh when thy flesh and thy body are consumed and say how have I hated instruction and my heart despised reproof neither have I hearkened to the voice of my teachers nor inclined mine ear to them that instructed me I was well nigh in all evil in the midst of the congregation and assembly drink waters out of thine own cistern and running waters out of thine own well let thy springs be dispersed abroad and courses of water in the streets let them be only thine own and not strangers with thee let thy fountain be blessed and have joy of the wife of thy youth a lovely hind and a graceful doe let her breast satisfy thee at all times with her love be thou ravished always why then wilt thou my son be ravished with a strange woman and Embrace the bosom of an alien for the ways of man are before the eyes of Hashem and he maketh even all his paths his own iniquities shall ensnare the wicked and he shall be holden with the cords of his sin he shall die for lack of instruction and in the greatness of his folly he shall real chapter my son if thou art become surety for thy neighbor if thou hast struck thy hands for a stranger thou art snared by the words of thy mouth thou art caught by the words of thy mouth do. This now my son and deliver thyself seeing thou art come into the hand of thy neighbor go humble thyself and urge thy neighbor give not sleep to thine eyes nor slumber to thine eyelids deliver thyself as a gazelle from the hand of the hunter and as a bird from the hand of the fowler go to the ant thou slug guard consider her ways and be wise which having no chief overseer or ruler provide her bread in the summer and gatherest her food in the harvest how long wilt thou sleep O oh? slug guard when wilt thou arise out of thy sleep yet a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the hands to sleep so shall thy poverty come as a runner and thy want as an armed man a base person a man of iniquity is he that walketh with a froward mouth that winketh with his eyes that scrapeth with his feet that pointeth with his fingers frowardness is in his heart he deviseth evil continually he saw it discord therefore shall his calamity come suddenly on a sudden shall he be broken and that without remedy there are six things which Hashem hath ye seven which are an abomination unto him haughty eyes a lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood a heart that devi seth wicked thoughts feet that are swift in running to evil a false witness that breatheth out lies and he that sow it discord among brethren my son keep the commandment of thy father and forsake not the teaching of thy mother bind them continually upon thy heart tie them about thy neck when thou walkest it shall lead thee when thou liest down it shall watch over thee and when thou awakest it shall talk with thee for the commandment is a lamp and the teaching is light and reproofs of instruction are the way of life to keep thee from the evil woman from the smoothness of the alien tongue lust not after her beauty in thy heart neither let her captivate thee with her eyelids for on account of a harlot a man is brought to a loaf of bread but the adulteress hunteth for the precious life can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned or can one walk upon hot coals and his feet not be scorched so he that goeth into his neighbor's wife whosoever toucheth her shall not go unpunished men do not despise a thief if he steal to satisfy his soul when he is hungry but if he be found he must restore sevenfold he must give all the substance of his house he that committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding he doth it that would destroy his own soul wounds and to see a newer shall he get and his reproach shall not be wiped away for jealousy is the rage of a man and he will not spare in the day of vengeance he will not regard any ransom neither will he rest content though thou givest many gifts chapter my son keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee keep my commandments and live and my teaching as the apple of thine eye bind them upon thy fingers write them upon the table of thy heart say unto 
Wisdom thou art my sister and call understanding thy kinswoman that they may keep thee from the strange woman from the alien woman that make smooth her words for at the window of my house I looked forth through my lattice and I beheld among the thoughtless ones I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding passing through the street near her corner and he went the way to her house in the twilight in the evening of the day in the blackness of night and the darkness. And behold there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot and wily of heart she is riotous and rebellious her feet abide not in her house now she is in the streets now in the broad places and lieth in wait at every corner so she caught him and kissed him and with an impudent face she said unto him sacrifices of peace offerings were due from me this day have I paid my vows therefore came I forth to meet thee to seek thy face and I have found thee I have decked my couch with coverlets with striped cloths of the yarn of Egypt I have perfumed my bed with myrrh aloes and cinnamon come let us take our fill of love until the morning let us solace ourselves with loves for my husband is not at home he is gone a long journey he hath taken the bag of money with him he will come home at the full moon with her much fair speech she causeth him to yield with the blandishment of her lips she enticeth him away he goeth after her straightway as an ox that goeth to the slaughter or as one in fetters to the correction of the fool till an arrow strike through his liver as a bird hasteneth to the snare and know it not that it is at the cost of his life now therefore O ye children hearken unto me and attend to the words of my mouth let not thy heart decline to her ways go not astray in her paths for she hath cast down many wounded ye mighty host are all her slain her house is the way to the nether world going down to the chambers of death chapter Doth not wisdom call and understanding put forth her voice in the top of high places by the way where the paths meet she standeth beside the gates at the entry of the city at the coming in at the doors she crieth aloud unto you O men I call and my voice is to the sons of men O ye thoughtless understand prudence and ye fools be ye of an understanding heart here for I will speak excellent things and the opening of my lips shall be right things for my mouth shall utter truth and wickedness is an abomination to my lips all the words of my mouth are in righteousness there is nothing perverse or crooked in them they are all plain to him that understandeth and right to them that find knowledge receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold for wisdom is better than rubies and all things desirable are not to be compared unto her i wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of devices the fear of hashem is to hate evil pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate counsel is mine and sound wisdom I am understanding power is mine by me kings reign and princes decree justice by me princes rule and nobles even all the judges of the earth I love them that love me and those that seek me earnestly shall find me riches and honor are with me ye enduring riches and righteousness my fruit is better than gold ye than fine gold and my produce than choice silver I walk in the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of justice that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance and that I may fill their treasuries Hashem made me as the beginning of his way the first of his works of old I was set up from everlasting from the beginning or ever the earth was when there were no depths I was brought forth when there were no fountains abounding with water before the mountains were settled before the hills was I brought forth while as yet he had not made the earth nor the fields nor the beginning of the dust of the world when he established the heavens I was there when he set a circle upon the face of the deep when he made firm the skies above when the fountains of the deep showed their might when he gave to the sea his decree that the waters should not transgress his commandment when he appointed the foundations of the earth then I was by him as a nursling and I was daily all delight playing always before him playing in his habitable earth and my delights are with the sons of men now therefore ye children hearken unto me for happy are they that keep my ways here instruction and be wise and refuse it not happy is the man that hearkeneth to me watching daily at my gates waiting at the posts of my doors for whoso findeth me findeth life and obtaineth favor of Hashem but he that misseth me wrongeth his own soul all they that hate me love death chapter wisdom hath builded her house she hath hewn out her seven pillars she hath prepared her meat she hath mingled her wine she hath also furnished her table she hath sent forth her maidens she calleth upon the highest places of the city whoso is thoughtless let him turn in hither as for him that lacketh understanding she saith to him come eat of my bread and drink of the wine which I have mingled forsake all thoughtlessness and live and walk in the way of understanding he that correcteth the scorner getteth to himself shame and he that reproveth a wicked man it becometh unto him a blot reprove not a scorner lest he hate thee reprove a wise man and he will love thee give to a wise man and he will be yet wiser teach a righteous man and he will increase in learning the fear of Hashem is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the all holy is understanding for by me thy days shall be multiplied and the years of thy life shall be increased if thou art wise thou art wise for thyself and if thou scornest thou alone shalt bear it the woman folly is riotous she is thoughtless and knoweth nothing and she sitteth at the door of her house on a seat in the high places of the city to call to them that pass by who go right on their ways whoso is thoughtless let him turn in hither and as for him that lacketh understanding she saith to him stolen waters are sweet and bread eaten in secret is pleasant but he knoweth not that the shades are there that her guests are in the depths of the nether world chapter the proverbs of solomon a wise son make the glad father but a foolish son is the grief of his mother treasures of wickedness profit nothing but righteousness delivereth from death hashem will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish but he thrusteth away the desire of the wicked he becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand but the hand of the diligent make the rich a wise son gathereth in summer but a son that doth shamefully sleepeth in harvest blessings are upon
The head of the righteous but the mouth of the wicked concealeth violence the memory of the righteous shall be for a blessing but the name of the wicked shall rot the wise in heart will receive commandments but a prating fool shall fall he that walketh uprightly walketh securely but he that perverteth his ways shall be found out he that winked with the eye causeth sorrow and a prating fool shall fall the mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life but the mouth of the wicked concealeth violence hatred stirreth up strifes but love covereth all transgressions in the lips of him that hath discernment wisdom is found but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding wise men lay up knowledge but the mouth of the foolish is an imminent ruin the rich man's wealth is his strong city the ruin of the poor is their poverty the wages of the righteous is life the increase of the wicked is sin he is in the way of life that he death instruction but he that forsake three prefereth he that hideth hatred is of lying lips and he that uttereth a slander is a fool in the multitude of words there wanteth not transgression but he that refraineth his lips is wise the tongue of the righteous is as choice silver the heart of the wicked is little worth the lips of the righteous feed many but the foolish die for want of understanding the blessing of Hashem it maketh rich and toil addeth nothing thereto it is as sport to a fool to do wickedness and so is wisdom to a man of discernment the fear of the wicked it shall come upon him and the desire of the righteous shall be granted when the whirlwind passeth the wicked is no more but the righteous is an everlasting foundation as vinegar to the teeth and as smoke to the eyes so is the slug guard to them that send him the fear of Hashem prolongeth days but the years of the wicked shall be shortened the hope of the righteous is gladness but the expectation of the wicked shall perish the way of Hashem is a stronghold to the upright but ruin to the workers of iniquity the righteous shall never be moved but the wicked shall not inhabit the land the mouth of the righteous buddeth with wisdom but the froward tongue shall be cut off the lips of the righteous know what is acceptable but the mouth of the wicked is all froardness chapter a false balance is an abomination to Hashem but a perfect weight is his delight when pride cometh then cometh shame but with the lowly is wisdom the integrity of the upright shall guide them but the perverseness of the faithless shall destroy them riches profit not in the day of wrath but righteousness delivereth from death the righteousness of the sincere shall make straight his way but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness the righteousness of the upright shall deliver them but the faithless shall be trapped in their own crafty device when a wicked man dieth his expectation shall perish and the hope of strength perisheth the righteous is delivered out of trouble and the wicked cometh in his stead with his mouth the impious man destroyeth his neighbor but through knowledge shall the righteous be delivered when it goeth well with the righteous the city rejoiceth and when the wicked perish there is joy by the blessing of the upright a city is exalted but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked he that despiseth his neighbor lacketh understanding but a man of discernment holdeth his peace he that goeth about as a tale bearer revealeth secrets but he that is of a faithful spirit concealeth a matter where no wise direction is a people falleth but in the multitude of counselors there is safety he that is surety for a stranger shall smart for it but he that hate them that strike hands is secure a gracious woman obtaineth honor and strong men obtain riches the merciful man doth good to his own soul but he that is cruel troubleth his own Flesh the wicked earneth deceitful wages but he that soweth righteousness hath a sure reward steadfast righteousness tendeth to life but he that pursueth evil pursueth it to his own death they that are perverse in heart are an abomination to Hashem but such as are upright in their way are his delight my hand upon it the evil man shall not be unpunished but the seed of the righteous shall escape as a ring of gold in a swine snout so is a fair woman that turneth aside from discretion. The desire of the righteous is only good but the expectation of the wicked is wrath there is that scattereth and yet increaseth and there is that withholdeth more than is meat but it tendeth only to want the beneficent soul shall be made rich and he that satisfieth abundantly shall be satisfied also himself he that withholdeth corn the people shall curse him but blessing shall be upon the head of him that selleth it he that diligently seeketh good seeketh favor but he that searcheth for evil it shall come unto him he that trusteth in his riches shall fall but the righteous shall flourish as foliage he that troubleth his own house shall inherit the wind and the foolish shall be servant to the wise of heart the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life and he that is wise winneth souls behold the righteous shall be requited in the earth how much more the wicked and the sinner chapter whoso loveth knowledge loveth correction but he that is brutish hath reproof. A good man shall obtain favor of Hashem but a man of wicked devices will he condemn a man shall not be established by wickedness but the root of the righteous shall never be moved a virtuous woman is a crown to her husband but she that doth shamefully is as rottenness in his bones the thoughts of the righteous are right but the counsels of the wicked are deceit the words of the wicked are to lie in wait for blood but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them the wicked are overthrown and are not but the house of the righteous shall stand a man shall be commended according to his intelligence but he that is of a distorted understanding shall be despised better is he that is lightly esteemed and hath a servant than he that playeth the man of rank and lacketh bread a righteous man regardeth the life of his beast but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel he that tilleth his ground shall have plenty of bread but he that followeth after vain things is void of understanding the wicked desireth the prey of evil men but the root of the righteous yieldeth fruit in the transgression of the lips is a snare to the evil man but the righteous cometh out of trouble a man shall be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth and the doings of a man's hands shall be rendered unto him the way of a fool is straight in his own eyes but he that is wise hearkeneth unto counsel a fool's vexation is presently known but a prudent man concealeth shame he 
that breatheth forth truth uttereth righteousness but a false witness deceit there is that speaketh like the piercings of a sword but the tongue of the wise is health the lip of truth shall be established forever but a lying tongue is but for a moment deceit is in the heart of them that devise evil but to the counselors of peace is joy there shall no mischief befall the righteous but the wicked are filled with evil lying lips are an abomination to Hashem but they that deal truly are. His delight a prudent man concealeth knowledge but the heart of fools proclaimeth foolishness the hand of the diligent shall bear rule but the slothful shall be under tribute care in the heart of a man boweth it down but a good word maketh it glad the righteous is guided by his friend but the way of the wicked leteth them astray the slothful man shall not hunt his prey but the precious substance of men is to be diligent in the way of righteousness is life and in the pathway thereof. There is no death chapter a wise son is instructed of his father but a scorner heareth not rebuke a man shall eat good from the fruit of his mouth but the desire of the faithless is violence he that guardeth his mouth keepeth his life but for him that openeth wide his lips there shall be ruin the soul of the slug guard desireth and hath nothing but the soul of the diligent shall be abundantly gratified a righteous man hath lying but a wicked man behaveth vilely and shamefully. Righteousness guardeth him that is upright in the way but wickedness overthroweth the sinner there is that pretendeth himself rich yet hath nothing there is that pretendeth himself poor yet hath great wealth the ransom of a man's life are his riches but the poor heareth no threatening the light of the righteous rejoiceth but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out by pride cometh only contention but with the well advised is wisdom wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished but he that gathereth little by little shall increase hope deferred make the heart sick but desire fulfilled is a tree of life whoso despiseth the word shall suffer thereby but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded the teaching of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death good understanding giveth grace but the way of the faithless is harsh every prudent man dealeth with forethought but a fool unfoldeth folly a wicked messenger falleth into evil but a Faithful ambassador is health poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction but he that regardeth reproof shall be honored the desire accomplished is sweet to the soul and it is an abomination to fools to depart from evil he that walketh with wise men shall be wise but the companion of fools shall smart for it evil pursueth sinners but to the righteous good shall be repaid a good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children and the wealth of the sinner is laid. Up for the righteous much food is in the tillage of the poor but there is that is swept away by want of righteousness he that spareth his rod hath his son but he that loveth him chasteneth him betimes the righteous eat to the satisfying of his desire but the belly of the wicked shall want chapter every wise woman buildeth her house but the foolish plucketh it down with her hands he that walketh in his uprightness feareth Hashem but he that is perverse in his ways despiseth him. In the mouth of the foolish is a rod of pride but the lips of the wise shall preserve them where no oxen are the crib is clean but much increase is by the strength of the ox a faithful witness will not lie but a false witness breathed forth lies a scorner seeketh wisdom and findeth it not but knowledge is easy unto him that hath discernment go from the presence of a foolish man for thou wilt not perceive the lips of knowledge the wisdom of the prudent is to look well to his way but the folly of fools is deceit amends pleadeth for fools but among the upright there is good will the heart knoweth its own bitterness and with its joy no stranger can intermeddle the house of the wicked shall be overthrown but the tent of the upright shall flourish there is a way which seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death even in laughter the heart aketh and the end of mirth is heaviness the dissembler in heart shall have his fill from his own ways and a good man shall be satisfied from himself the thoughtless believeth every word but the prudent man looketh well to his going a wise man feareth and departeth from evil but the fool behaveth overbearingly and is confident he that is soon angry dealeth foolishly and a man of wicked devices is hated the thoughtless come into possession of folly but the prudent are crowned with knowledge the evil bow before the good and the wicked at the gates of the righteous the poor is hated even of his own neighbor but the rich hath many friends he that despiseth his neighbor sinneth but he that is gracious unto the humble happy is he shall they not go astray that devise evil but mercy and truth shall be for them that devise good in all labor there is profit but the talk of the lips tendeth only to penury the crown of the wise is their riches but the folly of fools remaineth folly a true witness delivereth souls but he that breatheth forth lies is all deceit in the fear of Hashem a man hath strong confidence and his children shall have a place of refuge the fear of Hashem is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death in the multitude of people is the king's glory but in the want of people is the ruin of the prince he that is slow to anger is of great understanding but he that is hasty of spirit exalteth folly a tranquil heart is the life of the flesh but envy is the rottenness of the bones he that oppresseth the poor blasphemeth his maker but he that is gracious unto the needy hanureth him the wicked is thrust down in his misfortune but the righteous even when he is brought to death hath hope in the heart of him that hath discernment wisdom resteth but in the inward part of fools it maketh itself known righteousness exalteth a nation but sin is a reproach to any people the king's favor is toward a servant that dealeth wisely but his wrath striketh him that dealeth shamefully chapter a soft answer turneth away wrath but a grievous word stirreth up anger the tongue of the wise useth knowledge aright but the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness the eyes of Hashem are in every place keeping watch upon the evil and the good a soothing tongue is a tree of life but perverseness therein is a wound to the spirit a fool despiseth his father's correction but he that regardeth reproof is prudent in the house of the righteous is much treasure but in the revenues of the wicked is trouble the lips of the wise.
Disperse knowledge but the heart of the foolish is not steadfast the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to Hashem but the prayer of the upright is his delight the way of the wicked is an abomination to Hashem but he loveth him that followeth after righteousness there is grievous correction for him that forsake the way and he that hath reproof shall die the netherworld and destruction are before Hashem how much more than the hearts of the children of men a scorner loveth not. To be reproved he will not go unto the wise a merry heart make the cheerful countenance but by sorrow of heart the spirit is broken the heart of him that hath discernment seek knowledge but the mouth of fools feedeth on folly all the days of the poor are evil but he that is of a merry heart hath a continual feast better is little with the fear of Hashem than great treasure and turmoil therewith better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a stalled ox and hatred therewith a wrathful man stirreth up discord but he that is slow to anger appeaseth strife the way of the slug guard is as though hedged by thorns but the path of the upright is even a wise son make the glad father but a foolish man despiseth his mother folly is joy to him that lacketh understanding but a man of discernment walketh straight forwards for want of counsel purposes are frustrated but in the multitude of counselors they are established a man hath joy in the answer of his mouth and a Word in due season how good is it the path of life goeth upward for the wise that he may depart from the nether world beneath Hashem will pluck up the house of the proud but he will establish the border of the widow the thoughts of wickedness are an abomination to Hashem but words of pleasantness are pure he that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house but he that hath gifts shall live the heart of the righteous studieth to answer but the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil. Things Hashem is far from the wicked but he heareth the prayer of the righteous the light of the eyes rejoiceth the heart and a good report make the bones fat the ear that hearkeneth to the reproof of life abideth among the wise he that refuseth correction despiseth his own soul but he that hearkeneth to reproof getteth understanding the fear of Hashem is the instruction of wisdom and before honor goeth humility chapter the preparations of the heart are man's but the answer of the tongue is from Hashem all the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes but Hashem wake hate the spirits commit thy works unto Hashem and thy thoughts shall be established Hashem hath made every things for his own purpose yet even the wicked for the day of evil every one that is proud in heart is an abomination to Hashem my hand upon it he shall not be unpunished by mercy and truth iniquity is expiated and by the fear of Hashem men depart from evil when a man's ways please Hashem. He maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him better is a little with righteousness than great revenues with injustice a man's heart devi saith his way but Hashem directeth his steps a divine sentence is in the lips of the king his mouth trespasseth not in judgment a just balance and scales are Hashem's all the weights of the bag are his work it is an abomination to kings to commit wickedness for the throne is established by righteousness righteous lips are the delight of kings. And they love him that speak the right the wrath of a king is as messengers of death but a wise man will pacify it in the light of the king's countenance is life and his favor is as a cloud of the latter rain how much better is it to get wisdom than gold yet to get understanding is rather to be chosen than silver the highway of the upright is to depart from evil he that keepeth his way preserveth his soul pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall better it is. To be of a lowly spirit with the humble than to divide the spoil with the proud he that giveth heed unto the word shall find good and whoso trusteth in Hashem happy is he the wise in heart is called a man of discernment and the sweetness of the lips increaseth learning understanding is a fountain of life unto him that hath it but folly is the chastisement of fools the heart of the wise tiak hate his mouth and addeth learning to his lips pleasant words are as a honeycomb sweet to the soul and health to the bones there is a way which seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death the hunger of the laboring man laboureth for him for his mouth compelleth him an ungodly man diggeth up evil and in his lips there is as a burning fire a froward man soweth strife and a whisperer separateth familiar friends a man of violence enticeth his neighbor and ledeth him into a way that is not good he shutteth his eyes it is to devise froward things he that Bite his lips bringeth evil to pass the hoary head is a crown of glory it is found in the way of righteousness he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city the lot is cast into the lap but the whole disposing thereof is of Hashem chapter better is a dry morsel and quietness therewith than a house full of feasting with strife a servant that dealeth wisely shall have rule over a son that dealeth shamefully and shall have Part of the inheritance among the brethren the refining pot is for silver and the furnace for gold but Hashem trieth the hearts a evildoer giveth heed to wicked lips and a liar giveth ear to a mischievous tongue whoso mocketh the poor blasphemeth his maker and he that is glad at calamity shall not be unpunished children's children are the crown of old men and the glory of children are their fathers overbearing speech becometh not a churl much less do lying lips a prince a gift is. As a precious stone in the eyes of him that hath it whithersoever he turneth he prospereth he that covereth a transgression seeketh love but he that harpeth on a matter estrangeth a familiar friend a rebuke entereth deeper into a man of understanding than a hundred stripes into a fool and rebellious man seeketh only evil therefore a cruel messenger shall be sent against him let a bear robbed of her whelps meet a man rather than a fool in his folly whoso rewardeth evil for good evil shall not depart from his house the beginning of strife is as when one letteth out water therefore leave off contention before the quarrel break out he that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the righteous even they both are an abomination to Hashem wherefore is there a price in the hand of a fool to buy wisdom seeing he hath no understanding a friend loveth at all times and a brother is born for adversity a man void of understanding is he that striketh hands and becometh.
Surety in the presence of his neighbor he loveth transgression that loveth strife he that exalteth his gate seeketh destruction he that hath a froward heart findeth no good and he that hath a perverse tongue falleth into evil he that begetteth a fool doth it to his sorrow and the father of a churl hath no joy a merry heart is a good medicine but a broken spirit drieth the bones a wicked man taketh a gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of justice wisdom is before him that hath understanding but the eyes of a fool are in the ends of the earth a foolish son is vexation to his father and bitterness to her that bore him to punish also the righteous is not good nor to strike the noble for their uprightness he that spareth his words hath knowledge and he that husbandeth his spirit is a man of discernment even a fool when he holdeth his peace is counted wise and he that shutteth his lips is esteemed as a man of understanding chapter he that separateth himself seeketh his own desire and snarlest against all sound wisdom a fool hath no delight in understanding but only that his heart may lay itself bare when the wicked cometh there cometh also contempt and with ignominy reproach the words of a man's mouth are as deep waters a flowing brook a fountain of wisdom it is not good to respect the person of the wicked so as to turn aside the righteous in judgment a fool's lips enter into contention and his mouth calleth for strokes a Fool's mouth is his ruin and his lips are the snare of his soul the words of a whisperer are as dainty morsels and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly even one that is slack in his work is brother to him that is a destroyer the name of Hashem is a strong tower the righteous runneth into it and is set up on high the rich man's wealth is his strong city and as a high wall in his own conceit before destruction the heart of a man is haughty and before honor goeth humility. He that giveth answer before he heareth it is folly and confusion unto him the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity but a broken spirit who can bear the heart of the prudent getteth knowledge and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge a man's gift maketh room for him and bringeth him before great men he that pleadeth his cause first seemeth just but his neighbor cometh and searcheth him out the lot causeth strife to cease and partaketh asunder the contentious a brother offended. Is harder to be won than a strong city and their contentions are like the bars of a castle a man's belly shall be filled with the fruit of his mouth with the increase of his lips shall he be satisfied death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that indulge it shall eat the fruit thereof whoso findeth a wife findeth a great good and obtaineth favor of Hashem the poor youth entreaties but the rich answereth impudently there are friends that one hath to his own hurt but there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother chapter better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and a fool at the same time also that the soul be without knowledge is not good and he that hasteth with his feet sinneth the foolishness of man perverteth his way and his heart fretteth against Hashem wealth addeth many friends but as for the poor his friend separateth himself from him a false witness shall not be unpunished and he that breathed forth lies shall not escape many will entreat the favor of the liberal man and every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts all the brethren of the poor do hate him how much more do his friends go far from him he that pursueth words they turn against him he that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul he that keepeth understanding shall find good a false witness shall not be unpunished and he that breathed forth lies shall perish luxury is not seemly for a fool much less for a servant to have rule over princes it is the discretion of a man to be slow to anger and it is his glory to pass over a transgression the king's wrath is as the roaring of a lion but his favor is as dew upon the grass a foolish son is the calamity of his father and the contentions of a wife are a continual dropping house and riches are the inheritance of fathers but a prudent wife is from Hashem slothfulness cast death into a deep sleep and the idle soul shall suffer hunger he that keepeth the commandment keepeth his soul but he that despiseth his ways shall die he that is gracious unto the poor lendeth unto Hashem and his good deed will he repay unto him chasten thy son for there is hope but set not thy heart on his destruction a man of great wrath shall suffer punishment for if thou interpose thou wilt add thereto hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end there are many devices in a man's heart but the counsel of Hashem that shall stand the lust of a man is his shame and a poor man is better than a liar the fear of Hashem tendeth to life and he that hath it shall abide satisfied he shall not be visited with evil the slug guard buryeth his hand in the dish and will not so much as bring it back to his mouth when thou smitest a scorner the simple will become prudent and when one that hath understanding is reproved he will understand knowledge a son that dealeth shamefully and reproachfully will despoil his father and chase away his mother cease my son to hear the instruction that causeth to err from the words of knowledge an ungodly witness mocketh at right and the mouth of the wicked devoureth iniquity judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools chapter wine is a mocker strong drink is riotous and whosoever real it thereby is not wise the terror of a king is as the roaring of a lion he that provoked him to anger forfeiteth his life it is an honor for a man to keep aloof from strife but every fool will be snarling the slug guard will not plow when winter setteth in therefore he shall beg in harvest and have nothing counsel in the heart of man is like deep water but a man of understanding will draw it out most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness but a faithful man who can find he that walketh in his integrity as a just man happy are his children after him a king that sitteth on the throne of judgment scattereth away all evil.
with his eyes who can say I have made my heart clean I am pure from my sin divers weights and divers measures both of them alike are abomination to Hashem even a child is known by his doings whether his work be pure and whether it be right the hearing ear and the seeing eye Hashem hath made even both of them love not sleep lest thou come to poverty open thine eyes and thou shalt have bread in plenty it is bad it is bad saith the buyer but when he is gone his way then he boasteth. There is gold and a multitude of rubies but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel take his garment that is surety for a stranger and hold him in pledge that is surety for an alien woman bread of falsehood is sweet to a man but afterwards his mouth shall be filled with gravel every purpose is established by counsel and with good advice carry on war he that goeth about as a tale bearer revealeth secrets therefore meddle not with him that openeth wide his lips who so curseth his father or his mother his lamp shall be put out in the blackest darkness an estate may be gotten hastily at the beginning but the end thereof shall not be blessed say not thou I will requite evil wait for Hashem and he will save thee divers weights are an abomination to Hashem and a false balance is not good a man's goings are of Hashem how then can man look to his way it is a snare to a man rashly to say holy and after vows to make inquiry a wise king siptate the wicked end turneth the will over them the spirit of man is the lamp of Hashem searching all the inward parts mercy and truth preserve the king and his throne is upheld by mercy the glory of young men is their strength and the beauty of old men is the hoary head sharp wounds cleanse away evil so do stripes that reach the inward parts chapter the king's heart is in the hand of Hashem as the water courses he turneth it whithersoever he will every way of a man is right in his own eyes but Hashem we hate the hearts to do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to Hashem than sacrifice a haughty look and a proud heart the tillage of the wicked is sin the thoughts of the diligent tend only to plenteousness but everyone that is hasty hasteth only to want the getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a vapor driven to and fro they that seek them seek death the violence of the wicked shall drag them away because they refuse to do justly the way of man is froward and strange but as for the pure his work is right it is better to dwell in a corner of the house stop than in a house in common with a contentious woman the soul of the wicked desireth evil his neighbor findeth no favor in his eyes when the scorner is punished the thoughtless is made wise and when the wise is instructed he receiveth knowledge the righteous one considereth the house of the wicked overthrowing the wicked to their ruin whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor he also shall cry himself but shall not be answered a gift in secret pacifieth anger and a present in the bosom strong wrath to do justly is joy to the righteous but ruin to the workers of iniquity the man that strayeth out of the way of understanding shall rest in the congregation of the shades he that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man he that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich the wicked is a ransom for the righteous and the faithless cometh in the stead of the upright it is better to dwell in a desert land than with a contentious and fretful woman there is desirable treasure and oil in the dwelling of the wise but a foolish man swalloweth it up he that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life prosperity and honor a wise man scaleth the city of the mighty and bringeth down the stronghold wherein it trusteth whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his soul from troubles a proud and haughty man scorner is his name even he that dealeth in overbearing pride the desire of the slothful killeth him for his hands refuse to labor there is that covetateth greedily all the day long but the righteous giveth and spareth not the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination how much more when he bringeth it with the proceeds of wickedness a false witness shall perish but the man that obeyeth shall speak unchallenged a wicked man hardeneth his face but as for the upright he looked well to his way there is no wisdom nor understanding nor counsel against Hashem the horse is prepared against the day of battle but victory is of Hashem chapter a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favor rather than silver and gold the rich and the poor meet together the Hashem is the maker of them all a prudent man seeth the evil and hideth himself but the thoughtless pass on and are punished the reward of humility is the fear of Hashem even riches and honor and life thorns and snares are in the way of the froward he that keepeth his soul holdeth himself far from them train up a child in the way he should go and even when he is old he will not depart from it the rich ruleth over the poor and the borrower is servant to the lender he that soweth iniquity shall reap vanity and the rod of his wrath shall fail he that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed for he giveth of his bread to the poor cast out the scorner and contention will go out yes strife and shame will cease he that loveth pureness of heart that hath grace in his lips the king shall be his friend the eyes of Hashem preserve him that hath knowledge but he overthroweth the words of the faithless man the slug guard saith there is a lion without I shall be slain in the streets the mouth of strange women is a deep pit he that is abhorred of Hashem shall fall therein foolishness is bound up in the heart of a child but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him one may oppress the poor yet will their gain increase one may give to the rich yet will want come incline thine ear and hear the words of the wise and apply thy heart unto my knowledge for it is a pleasant thing if thou keep them within thee let them be established altogether upon thy lips that thy trust may be in Hashem I have made them known to thee this day even to thee have not I written unto thee excellent things of counsels and knowledge that I might make thee know the certainty of the words of truth that thou mightest bring back words of truth to them that send thee rob not the weak because he is weak neither crush the poor in the gate for Hashem will plead their cause and despoil of life those that despoil them make no friendship with a man that is given to anger and with a wrathful man thou shalt not go lest thou learn his ways and get a snare to thy soul be thou not of them that strike hands or of them that are sureties for debts if thou hast not wherewith to pay why should he take 
Away thy bed from under thee remove not the ancient landmark which thy fathers have set seest thou a man diligent in his business he shall stand before kings he shall not stand before mean men chapter when thou sittest to eat with a ruler consider well him that is before thee and put a knife to thy throat if thou be a man given to appetite be not desirous of his dainty seeing they are deceitful food weary not thyself to be rich cease from thine own wisdom wilt thou set thine eyes upon it it is gone for riches certainly make themselves wings like an eagle that flieth toward heaven eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye neither desire thou his dainties for as one that hath reckoned within himself so is he eat and drink saith he to thee but his heart is not with thee the morsel which thou hast eaten shalt thou vomit up and lose thy sweet words speak not in the ears of a fool for he will despise the wisdom of thy words remove not the ancient landmark and enter not into the fields of the fatherless for their redeemer is strong he will plead their cause with thee apply thy heart unto instruction and thine ears to the words of knowledge withhold not correction from the child for though thou beat him with the rod he will not die thou beatest him with the rod and wilt deliver his soul from the nether world my son if thy heart be wise my heart will be glad even mine yeah my reins will rejoice when thy lips speak right things let not thy heart envy sinners but be in the fear of Hashem all the day for surely there is a future and thy hope shall not be cut off hear thou my son and be wise and guide thy heart in the way be not among winebibbers among gluttonous eaters of flesh for the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty and drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags hearken unto thy father that begot thee and despise not thy mother when she is old by the truth and sell it not also wisdom and instruction and understanding the father of the righteous will greatly rejoice and he that begetteth a wise child will have joy of him let thy father and thy mother be glad and let her that bore thee rejoice my son give me thy heart and let thine eyes observe my ways for a harlot is a deep ditch and an alien woman is a narrow pit she also lieth in wait as a robber and increaseth the faithless among men who crieth woe who alas who hath contentions who hath raving who hath wounds Without cause who hath redness of eyes they that tarry long at the wine they that go to try mixed wine look not thou upon the wine when it is red when it giveth its color in the cup when it glideth down smoothly at the last it biteth like a serpent and stingeth like a basy lisk thine eyes shall behold strange things and thy heart shall utter confused things yet thou shalt be as he that lieth down in the midst of the sea or as he that lieth upon the top of a mast they have struck me. And I felt it not they have beaten me and I knew it not when shall I awake I will seek it yet again chapter be not thou envious of evil men neither desire to be with them for their heart studieth destruction and their lips talk of mischief through wisdom is a house builded and by understanding it is established and by knowledge are the chambers filled with all precious and pleasant riches a wise man is strong yet a man of knowledge increaseth strength for with wise advice thou shalt make thy war and in the multitude of counselors there is safety wisdom is as unattainable to a fool as quarrels he openeth not his mouth in the gate he that devi saith to do evil men shall call him a mischievous person the thought of foolishness is sin and the scorner is an abomination to men if thou faint in the day of adversity thy strength is small indeed deliver them that are drawn unto death and those that are ready to be slain wilt thou forbear to rescue if thou sayest Behold we knew not this doth not he that wake hate the hearts consider it and he that keepeth thy soul doth not he know it and shall not he render to every man according to his works my son eat thou honey for it is good and the honeycomb is sweet to thy taste so know thou wisdom to be unto thy soul if thou hast found it then shall there be a future and thy hope shall not be cut off lie not in wait O wicked man against the dwelling of the righteous spoil not his resting place for a Righteous man falleth seven times and riseth up again but the wicked stumble under adversity rejoice not when thine enemy falleth and let not thy heart be glad when he stumbleth lest Hashem see it and it displease him and he turn away his wrath from him fret not thyself because of evil doers neither be thou envious at the wicked for there will be no future to the evil man the lamp of the wicked shall be put out my son fear thou Hashem and the king and meddle not with them that are given to change for their calamity shall rise suddenly and who knoweth the ruin from them both these also are sayings of the wise to have respect of persons in judgment is not good he that saith unto the wicked thou art righteous peoples shall curse him nations shall execrate him but to them that decide justly shall be delight and a good blessing shall come upon them he kisseth the lips that giveth a right answer prepare thy work without and make it fit for thyself in the field and afterwards build thy house be not a witness against thy neighbor without cause and deceive not with thy lips say not I will do so to him as he hath done to me I will render to the man according to his work I went by the field of the slothful and by the vineyard of the man void of understanding and lo it was all grown over with thistles the face thereof was covered with nettles and the stone wall thereof was broken down then I beheld and considered well I saw and received instruction yet a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the hands to sleep so shall thy poverty come as a runner and thy want as an armed man chapter these also are proverbs of solomon which the men of hezekiah king of judah copied out it is the glory of god to conceal a thing but the glory of kings is to search out a matter the heaven for height and the earth for depth and the heart of kings is unsearchable take away the dross from the silver and there cometh Fourth a vessel for the refiner take away the wicked from before the king and his throne shall be established in righteousness glorify not thyself in the presence of the king and stand not in the place of great men for better is it that it be said unto thee come up hither than that thou shouldest be put lower in the presence of the prince whom thine eyes have seen go not forth hastily to strive lest thou know not what to do in the end thereof when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame.
debate thy cause with thy neighbor but reveal not the secret of another lest he that heareth it revile thee and thine infamy turn not away a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in settings of silver as an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold so is a wise reprover upon an obedient ear as the cold of snow in the time of harvest so is a faithful messenger to him that sendeth him for he refresheth the soul of his master as vapours and wind without rain so is he that Boasteth himself of a false gift by long forbearing is a ruler persuaded and a soft tongue break the bone hast thou found honey eat so much as is sufficient for thee lest thou be filled therewith and vomited let thy foot be seldom in thy neighbor's house lest he be sated with thee and hate thee as a maul and a sword and a sharp arrow so is a man that beareth false witness against his neighbor confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot. Out of joint as one that taketh off a garment in cold weather and as vinegar upon nitre so is he that singeth songs to a heavy heart if thine enemy be hungry give him bread to eat and if he be thirsty give him water to drink for thou wilt heap coals of fire upon his head and Hashem will reward thee the north wind bringeth forth rain and a backbiting tongue and angry countenance it is better to dwell in a corner of the house stop than in a house in common with a contentious woman as cold waters to a faint soul so is good news from a far country as a troubled fountain and a corrupted spring so is a righteous man that giveth way before the wicked it is not good to eat much honey so for men to search out their own glory is not glory like a city broken down and without a wall so is he whose spirit is without restraint chapter as snow in summer and as rain in harvest so honor is not seemly for a fool as the wandering sparrow as the flying swallow so the curse that is causeless shall come home a whip for the horse a bridle for the ass and a rod for the back of fools answer not a fool according to his folly lest thou also be like unto him answer a fool according to his folly lest he be wise in his own eyes he that sendeth a message by the hand of a fool cutteth off his own feet and drinketh damage the legs hang limp from the lame so is a parable in the mouth of fools as a small stone in a heap of stones so is he that giveth honor to a fool as a thorn that cometh into the hand of a drunkard so is a parable in the mouth of fools a master performeth all things but he that stoppeth a fool is as one that stoppeth a flood as a dog that returneth to his vomit so is a fool that repeat his folly seest thou a man wise in his own eyes there is more hope of a fool than of him the slug guard saith there is a lion in the way a lion is in the streets the door is turning upon its hinges and the slug guard is still upon his bed. The slug guard burieth his hand in the dish it wearieth him to bring it back to his mouth the slug guard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men that give wise answer he that passeth by and meddleth with strife not his own is like one that taketh a dog by the ears as a madman who casteth firebrands arrows and death so is the man that deceiveth his neighbor and saith I am not I in sport where no wood is the fire goeth out and where there is no whisperer contention seizeth as coals are. To burning coals and wood to fire so is a contentious man to kindle strife the words of a whisperer are as dainty morsels and they go down into the innermost parts of the body burning lips and a wicked heart are like an earthen vessel overlaid with silver dross he that hath dissembleth with his lips but he layeth up deceit within him when he speaketh fair believe him not for there are seven abominations in his heart though his hatred be concealed with deceit his wickedness shall be. Revealed before the congregation whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein and he that rolleth a stone it shall return upon him a lying tongue hate those that are crushed by it and a flattering mouth worketh ruin chapter boast not thyself of tomorrow for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth let another man praise thee and not thine own mouth a stranger and not thine own lips a stone is heavy and the sand weighty but a fool's vexation is heavier than they both wrath is cruel. And anger is overwhelming but who is able to stand before jealousy better is open rebuke than love that is hidden faithful are the wounds of a friend but the kisses of an enemy are importunate the full soul loatheth a honeycomb but to the hungry soul every bitter thing is sweet as a bird that wandereth from her nest so is a man that wandereth from his place ointment and perfume rejoice the heart so doth the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel thine own friend and thy father's friend forsake not neither go into thy brother's house in the day of thy calamity better is a neighbor that is near than a brother far off my son be wise and make my heart glad that I may answer him that taunteth me a prudent man seeth the evil and hideth himself but the thoughtless pass on and are punished take his garment that is surety for a stranger and hold him in pledge that is surety for an alien woman he that blesseth his friend with a loud voice rising early in the Morning it shall be counted a curse to him a continual dropping in a very rainy day and a contentious woman are alike he that would hide her height the wind and the ointment of his right hand betrayeth itself iron sharpneth iron so a man sharpneth the countenance of his friend whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof and he that waiteth on his master shall be honored as in water face answereth to face so the heart of man to man the nether world and destruction are never satiated so the eyes of man are never satiated the refining pot is for silver and the furnace for gold and a man is tried by his praise though thou shouldest bray a fool in a mortar with a pestle among groats yet will not his foolishness depart from him be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks and look well to thy herds for riches are not forever and doth the crown endure unto all generations when the hay is mown and the tender grass showeth itself and the herbs of the 
Mountains are gathered in the lambs will be for thy clothing and the goats the price for a field and there will be goats milk enough for thy food for the food of thy household and maintenance for thy maidens chapter the wicked flee when no man pursueth but the righteous are secure as a young lion for the transgression of a land many are the princes thereof but by a man of understanding and knowledge established order shall long continue a poor man that oppresseth the weak is like a sweeping rain which leaveth no food they that forsake the law praise the wicked but such as keep the law contend with them evil men understand not justice but they that seek Hashem understand all things better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his ways though he be rich a wise son observeth the teaching but he that is a companion of gluttonous men shameth his father he that augmenteth his substance by interest and increase gathereth it for him that is gracious to the poor he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law even his prayer is an abomination whoso causeth the upright to go astray in an evil way he shall fall himself into his own pit but the wholehearted shall inherit good the rich man is wise in his own eyes but the poor that hath understanding searcheth him through when the righteous exult there is great glory but when the wicked rise men must be sought for he that covereth his transgressions shall not prosper but Whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall obtain mercy happy is the man that feareth alway but he that hardeneth his heart shall fall into evil as a roaring lion and a ravenous bear so is a wicked ruler over a poor people the prince that lacketh understanding is also a great oppressor but he that hateth covetousness shall prolong his days a man that is laden with the blood of any person shall hasten his steps unto the pit none will support him whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved. But he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once he that tilleth his ground shall have plenty of bread but he that followeth after vain things shall have poverty enough a faithful man shall abound with blessings but he that make haste to be rich shall not be unpunished to have respect of persons is not good for a man will transgress for a piece of bread he that hath an evil eye hasteneth after riches and knoweth not that want shall come upon him he that rebuke the man shall in the end find more favor than he that flattereth with the tongue whoso robbeth his father or his mother and saith it is no transgression the same is the companion of a destroyer he that is of a greedy spirit stirreth up strife but he that putteth his trust in Hashem shall be abundantly gratified he that trusteth in his own heart is a fool but whoso walketh wisely he shall escape he that giveth unto the poor shall not lack but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse when they Wicked rise men hide themselves but when they perish the righteous increase chapter he that being often reproved hardeneth his neck shall suddenly be broken and that without remedy when the righteous are increased the people rejoice but when the wicked beareth rule the people sigh whoso loveth wisdom rejoiceth his father but he that keepeth company with harlots wasteth his substance the king by justice establisheth the land but he that exacteth gifts overthroweth it a man that Flattereth his neighbor spreadeth a net for his steps in the transgression of an evil man there is a snare but the righteous doth sing and rejoice the righteous taketh knowledge of the cause of the poor the wicked understandeth not knowledge scornful men set a city in a blaze but wise men turn away wrath if a wise man contendeth with a foolish man whether he be angry or laugh there will be no rest the men of blood hate him that is sincere and as for the upright they seek his life a eh? fool spendeth all his spirit but a wise man still leth it within him if a ruler hearkeneth to falsehood all his servants are wicked the poor man and the oppressor meet together Hashem giveth light to the eyes of them both the king that faithfully judgeth the poor his throne shall be established forever the rod and reproof give wisdom but a child left to himself causeth shame to his mother when the wicked are increased transgression increaseth but the righteous shall gaze upon their Fall correct thy son and he will give thee rest yet he will give delight unto thy soul where there is no vision the people cast off restraint but he that keepeth the law happy is he a servant will not be corrected by words for though he understand there will be no response cease thou a man that is hasty in his words there is more hope for a fool than for him he that delicately bringeth up his servant from a child shall have him become master at the last an angry man stirreth up. Strife and a wrathful man aboundeth in transgression a man's pride shall bring him low but he that is of a lowly spirit shall attain to honor whoso is partner with a thief hath his own soul he heareth the adjuration and uttereth nothing the fear of man bringeth a snare but whoso putteth his trust in Hashem shall be set up on high many seek the ruler's favor but a man's judgment cometh from Hashem an unjust man is an abomination to the righteous and he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked chapter the words of Agur the son of J.K. the burden the man saith unto Ethel unto Ethel and Uckle surely I am brutish unlike a man and have not the understanding of a man and I have not learned wisdom that I should have the knowledge of the Holy One who hath ascended up into heaven and descended who hath gathered the wind in his fists who hath bound the waters in his garment who hath established all the ends of the earth what is his name and what is his son's name if thou knowest every word of God is tried he is a shield unto them that take refuge in him add thou not unto his words lest he reprove thee and thou be found a liar two things have I asked of thee deny me them not before I die remove far from me falsehood and lies give me neither poverty nor riches feed me with mine allotted bread lest I be full and deny and say who is Hashem or lest I be poor and steal and profane the name of my God slander not a servant unto his Master lest he curse thee and thou be found guilty there is a generation that curse their father and do not bless their mother there is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet are not washed from their filthiness there is a generation oh how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up there is a generation whose teeth are as swords and their great teeth as knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men the horse leech hath two daughters. 
Give give there are three things that are never satisfied ye four that say not enough the grave and the barren womb the earth that is not satisfied with water and the fire that saith not enough the eye that mocketh at his father and despiseth to obey his mother the ravens of the valley shall pick it out and the young vultures shall eat it there are three things which are too wonderful for me ye four which I know not the way of an eagle in the air the way of a serpent upon a rock. The way of a ship in the midst of the sea and the way of a man with a young woman so is the way of an adulterous woman she eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith I have done no wickedness for three things the earth doth quake and for four it cannot endure for a servant when he reigneth and a churl when he is filled with food for an odious woman when she is married and a handmaid that is heir to her mistress there are four things which are little upon the earth but they are exceeding. Wise the ants are a people not strong yet they provide their food in the summer the rock badgers are but a feeble folk yet make they their houses in the crags the locusts have no king yet go they forth all of them by bands the spider thou canst take with the hands yet is she in king's palaces there are three things which are stately in their march yet four which are stately in going the lion which is mightiest among beasts and turneth not away for any the greyhound a he goat. Also and the king against whom there is no rising up if thou hast done foolishly in lifting up thyself or if thou hast planned devices lay thy hand upon thy mouth for the churning of milk bringeth forth curd and the wringing of the nose bringeth forth blood so the forcing of wrath bringeth forth strife chapter the words of king Lemuel the burden wherewith his mother corrected him what my son and what O son of my womb and what O son of my vows give not thy strength unto women nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings it is not for kings o lemuel it is not for kings to drink wine nor for princes to say where is strong drink lest they drink and forget that which is decreed and pervert the justice due to any that is afflicted give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish and wine unto the bitter in soul let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his misery no more open thy mouth for the dumb in the cause of all such as are appointed to destruction Open thy mouth judge righteously and plead the cause of the poor and needy a woman of valor who can find for her price is far above rubies the heart of her husband doth safely trust in her and he hath no lack of gain she doth him good and not evil all the days of her life she seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands she is like the merchant ships she bringeth her food from afar she riseth also while it is yet night and giveth food to her household and a portion. To her maidens she considereth a field and buyeth it with the fruit of her hands she planteth a vineyard she girdeth her loins with strength and maketh strong her arms she perceiveth that her merchandise is good her lamp goeth not out by night she layeth her hands to the distaff and her hands hold the spindle she stretcheth out her hand to the poor yet she reacheth forth her hands to the needy she is not afraid of the snow for her household for all her household are clothed with. Scarlet she maketh for herself coverlets her clothing is fine linen and purple her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land she maketh linen garments and selleth them and delivereth girdles unto the merchant strength and dignity are her clothing and she laugheth at the time to come she openeth her mouth with wisdom and the law of kindness is on her tongue she looketh well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness her. Children rise up and call her blessed her husband also and he praiseth her many daughters have done valiantly but thou excellest them all grace is deceitful and beauty is vain but a woman that feareth Hashem she shall be praised give her of the fruit of her hands and let her works praise her in the gates Job chapter there was a man in the land of us whose name was Job and that man was wholehearted and upright and one that feared God and shunned evil and there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters his possessions also were seven thousand sheep and three thousand camels and five hundred yoke of oxen and five hundred she asses and a very great household so that this man was the greatest of all the children of the east and his sons used to go and hold a feast in the house of each one upon his day and they would send and invite their three sisters to eat and to drink with them and it was so when the days of their feasting were gone about that job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all for Job said it may be that my sons have sinned and blasphemed God in their hearts thus did Job continually now it fell upon a day that the sons of God came to present themselves before Hashem and Satan came also among them and Hashem said unto Satan whence comest thou then Satan answered Hashem and said from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it and Hashem said unto Satan hast thou considered my servant Job that there is none like him in the earth a wholehearted and an upright man one that feareth God and shunneth evil then Satan answered Hashem and said doth Job fear God for not hast not thou made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his possessions are increased in the land but put forth thy hand now and touch all that he hath. Surely he will blaspheme thee to thy face and Hashem said unto Satan behold all that he hath is in thy power only upon himself put not forth thy hand so Satan went forth from the presence of Hashem and it fell on a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house that there came a messenger unto Job and said the oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them and the Sabaeans made a raid and took them away yet they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword and I only am escaped alone to tell thee while he was yet speaking there came also another and said a fire of God is fallen from heaven and hath burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them and I only am escaped alone to tell thee while he was yet speaking there came also another and said the Chaldeans set themselves in three bands and fell upon the camels and have taken them away and slain the servants with the edge of the sword and I 
only am escaped alone to tell thee while he was yet speaking there came also another and said thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house and behold there came a great wind from across the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house and it fell upon the young people and they are dead and I only am escaped alone to tell thee then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped and he said naked came I out of my mother's womb and naked shall I return thither Hashem gave and Hashem hath taken away blessed be the name of Hashem for all this job sinned not nor ascribed aught unseemly to God job chapter again it fell upon a day that the sons of God came to present themselves before Hashem and Satan came also among them to present himself before Hashem and Hashem said unto Satan from whence comest thou and Satan answered Hashem and said from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it and Hashem said unto Satan hast thou considered my servant Job that there is none like him in the earth a wholehearted and an upright man one that feareth God and shunneth evil and he still holdeth fast his integrity although thou didst move me against him to destroy him without cause and Satan answered Hashem and said skin for skin yet all that a man hath will he give for his life but put forth thy hand now and touch his bone and his flesh Surely he will blaspheme thee to thy face and Hashem said unto Satan behold he is in thy hand only spare his life so Satan went forth from the presence of Hashem and smote Job with sore boils from the sole of his foot even unto his crown and he took him a pot's herd to scrape himself therewith and he sat among the ashes then said his wife unto him dost thou still hold fast thine integrity blaspheme God and die but he said unto her thou speakest as one of the impious women speak. What shall we receive good at the hand of God and shall we not receive evil for all this did not Job sin with his lips now when Job's three friends heard of all this evil that was come upon him they came every one from his own place Eliphaz the Temanite and Bildad the Shuhite and Zophar the Namathite and they made an appointment together to come to bemoan him and to comfort him and when they lifted up their eyes afar off and knew him not they lifted up their voice and wept and they rant. Every one his mantle and threw dust upon their heads toward heaven so they sat down with him upon the ground seven days and seven nights and none spoke a word unto him for they saw that his grief was very great job chapter after this opened job his mouth and cursed his day and job spoke and said let the day perish wherein I was born and the night wherein it was said a man child is brought forth let that day be darkness let not God inquire after it from above neither let the light shine upon it let darkness and the shadow of death claim it for their own let a cloud dwell upon it let all that make black the day terrify it as for that night let thick darkness seize upon it let it not rejoice among the days of the year let it not come into the number of the months lo let that night be desolate let no joyful voice come therein let them curse it that curse the day who are ready to rouse up leviathan let the stars of the twilight thereof be dark let it look for light but have none neither let it behold the eyelids of the morning because it shut not up the doors of my mother's womb nor hid trouble from mine eyes why died I not from the womb why did I not perish at birth why did the knees receive me and wherefore the breasts that I should suck for now should I have lain still and been quiet I should have slept then had I been at rest with kings and counselors of the earth who built up waste places for themselves or with princes that had gold who filled their houses with silver or as a hidden untimely birth I had not been as infants that never saw light there the wicked cease from troubling and there the weary are at rest there the prisoners are at ease together they hear not the voice of the taskmaster the small and great are there alike and the servant is free from his master wherewith is light given to him that is in misery and life unto the bitter in soul who long for death but it cometh not and dig for it. More than for hid treasures who rejoice unto exaltation and are glad when they can find the grave to a man whose way is hid and whom God hath hedged in for my sighing cometh instead of my food and my roarings are poured out like water for the thing which I did fear is come upon me and that which I was afraid of hath overtaken me I was not at ease neither was I quiet neither had I rest but trouble came job chapter then answered Eliphaz the Temanite and said if one venture a Word unto thee wilt thou be weary but who can withhold himself from speaking behold thou hast instructed many and thou hast strengthened the weak hands thy words have upholden him that was falling and thou hast strengthened the feeble knees but now it is come upon thee and thou art weary it toucheth thee and thou art afraid it is not thy fear of God thy confidence and thy hope the integrity of thy ways remember I pray thee whoever perished being innocent or where were the upright. Cut off according as I have seen they that plough iniquity and sow mischief reap the same by the breath of God they perish and by the blast of his anger are they consumed the lion roareth and the fierce lion howleth yet the teeth of the young lions are broken the old lion perisheth for lack of prey and the whelps of the lioness are scattered abroad now a word was secretly brought to me and mine ear received a whisper thereof in thoughts from the visions of the night when deep sleep falleth on men fear came upon me and trembling and all my bones were made to shake then a spirit passed before my face that made the hair of my flesh to stand up it stood still but I could not discern the appearance thereof a form was before mine eyes I heard a still voice shall mortal man be just before God shall a man be pure before his maker behold he putteth no trust in his servants and his angels he chargeth with folly how much more them that dwell in houses of clay whose foundation is in the dust who are crushed before the moth betwixt morning and evening they are shattered they perish forever without any regarding it is not their tent cord plucked up within them they die and that without wisdom job chapter call now is there any that will answer thee and to which of the holy ones wilt thou turn for anger killeth the foolish man and envy slayeth the silly one I have seen the foolish taking root but suddenly I beheld his habitation cursed his 
Children are far from safety and are crushed in the gate with none to deliver them whose harvest the hungry eat up and taketh it even out of the thorns and the snare gepeth for their substance for affliction cometh not forth from the dust neither doth trouble spring out of the ground but man is born unto trouble as the sparks fly upward but as for me I would seek unto God and unto God would I commit my cause who doth great things and unsearchable marvelous things without number. Who giveth rain upon the earth and sendeth waters upon the fields so that he setteth up on high those that are low and those that mourn are exalted to safety he frustrateth the devices of the crafty so that their hands can perform nothing substantial he taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the wily is carried headlong they meet with darkness in the daytime and grope at noonday as in the night but he saveth from the sword of their mouth even the needy from the hand of the mighty so the poor hath hope and iniquity stoppeth her mouth behold happy is the man whom God correcteth therefore despise not thou the chastening of the almighty for he maketh sore and bindeth up he woundeth and his hands make whole he will deliver thee in six troubles yet in seven there shall no evil touch thee in famine he will redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee and thou shalt know that thy tent is in peace and thou shalt visit thy habitation and shalt miss nothing thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great and thine offspring as the grass of the earth thou shalt come to thy grave in a ripe age like as a shock of corn cometh in in its season lo this we have searched it so it is here it and know thou it for thy good job chapter then job answered and said oh that my vexation were but weight and my calamity laid in the balances altogether for now it would be heavier than the sand of the seas therefore are my words broken for the arrows of the almighty are within me the poison whereof my spirit drinketh up the terrors of god do set themselves in array against me doth the wild Aspray when he hath grass or loweth the ox over his fodder can that which hath no savour be eaten without salt or is there any taste in the juice of mallows my soul refused to touch them they are as the sickness of my flesh oh that I might have my request and that God would grant me the thing that I long for even that it would please God to crush me that he would let loose his hand and cut me off then should I yet have comfort yet I would exult in pain though he spare not for I have not denied the words of the Holy One what is my strength that I should wait and what is mine and that I should be patient is my strength the strength of stones or is my flesh of brass is it that I have no help in me and that sound wisdom is driven quite from me to him that is ready to faint kindness is due from his friend even to him that forsake the fear of the Almighty my brethren have dealt deceitfully as a brook as the channel of brooks that overflow which are black by reason of the ice and wherein the snow hideth itself what time they wax warm they vanish when it is hot they are consumed out of their place the paths of their way do when they go up into the waste and are lost the caravans of Timo looked the companies of Sheba waited for them they were ashamed because they had hoped they came thither and were confounded for now ye are become his yes see a terror and are afraid did I say give unto me or offer a present for me of your substance or deliver me from the adversary's hand or redeem me from the hand of the oppressors teach me and I will hold my peace and cause me to understand wherein I have heard how forcible are words of uprightness but what doth your arguing argue do ye hold words to be an argument but the speeches of one that is desperate to be wind ye ye would cast lots upon the fatherless and dig a pit for your friend now therefore be pleased to look upon me for surely I shall not lie to your face. Return I pray you let there be no injustice ye return again my cause is righteous is there injustice on my tongue cannot my taste discern crafty devices job chapter is there not a time of service to man upon earth and are not his days like the days of a hireling as a servant that eagerly longeth for the shadow and as a hireling that looked for his wages so am I made to possess months of vanity and wearisome nights are appointed to me when I lie down I say when shall I arise. But the night is long and I am full of tossings to and fro unto the dawning of the day my flesh is clothed with worms and clods of dust my skin closeth up and breaketh out afresh my days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle and are spent without hope O oh, remember that my life is a breath mine I shall no more see good the eye of him that seeth me shall behold me no more while thine eyes are upon me I am gone as the cloud is consumed and vanisheth away so he that goeth down to the grave shall come up no more he shall return no more to his house neither shall his place know him any more therefore I will not refrain my mouth I will speak in the anguish of my spirit I will complain in the bitterness of my soul am I a sea or a sea monster that thou settest a watch over me when I say my bed shall comfort me my couch shall ease my complaint then thou scarest me with dreams and terrifiest me through visions so that my soul chooseth strangling and death rather than these my bones I loathe it I shall not live alway let me alone for my days are vanity what is man that thou shouldest magnify him and that thou shouldest set thy heart upon him and that thou shouldest remember him every morning and try him every moment how long wilt thou not look away from me nor let me alone till I swallow down my spittle if I have sinned what do I unto thee O thou watcher of men why hast thou set me as a mark for thee so that I am a burden to myself and why dost thou not pardon my transgression and take away mine iniquity for now shall I lie down in the dust and thou wilt seek me but I shall not be job chapter then answered Bildad the Shuhite and said how long wilt thou speak these things seeing that the words of thy mouth are as a mighty wind doth God pervert judgment or doth the almighty pervert justice if thy children sinned against him he delivered them into the hand of their transgression if thou wouldest seek earnestly unto God and make 
Thy supplication to the Almighty if thou wert pure and upright surely now he would awake for thee and make the habitation of thy righteousness prosperous and though thy beginning was small yet thy end should greatly increase for inquire I pray thee of the former generation and apply thyself to that which their fathers have searched out for we are but of yesterday and know nothing because our days upon earth are a shadow shall not they teach thee and tell thee and utter words out. Of their heart can the rush shoot up without mire can the reed grass grow without water whilst it is yet in its greenness and not cut down it with a wreath before any other herb so are the paths of all that forget God and the hope of the godless man shall perish whose confidence is gossamer and whose trust is a spider's web he shall lean upon his house but it shall not stand he shall hold fast thereby but it shall not endure he is green before the sun and his shoots go forth over his garden his roots are wrapped about the heap he beholdeth the place of stones if he be destroyed from his place then it shall deny him I have not seen thee behold this is the joy of his way and out of the earth shall others spring behold God will not cast away an innocent man neither will he uphold the evil doers till he fill thy mouth with laughter and thy lips with shouting they that hate thee shall be clothed with shame and the tent of the wicked shall be no more job chapter then job answered and said of a truth I know that it is so and how can man be just with God if one should desire to contend with him he could not answer him one of a thousand he is wise in heart and mighty in strength who hath hardened himself against him and prospered who removeth the mountains and they know it not when he overturneth them in his anger who shake the earth out of her place and the pillars thereof tremble who commandeth the sun and it riseth not and sealeth up the stars who alone stretcheth out the heavens and treadeth upon the waves of the sea who make the bare Orion and the Pleiades and the chambers of the south who doth great things past finding out ye marvelous things without number lo he goeth by me and I see him not he passeth on also but I perceive him not behold he snatcheth away who can hinder him who will say unto him what doest thou God will not withdraw his anger the helpers of Rahab did stoop under him how much less shall I answer him and choose out my arguments with him whom though I were righteous yet would I not answer I would make supplication to him that contendeth with me if I had called and he had answered me yet would I not believe that he would hearken unto my voice he that would break me with the tempest and multiply my wounds without cause that would not suffer me to take my breath but fill me with bitterness if it be a matter of strength lo he is mighty and if of justice who will appoint me a time though I be righteous mine own mouth shall condemn me though I be innocent he shall prove me perverse I am innocent I regard not myself I despise my life it is all one therefore I say he destroyeth the innocent and the wicked if the scourge slay suddenly he will mock at the calamity of the guiltless the earth is given into the hand of the wicked he covereth the faces of the judges thereof if it be not he who then is it now my days are swifter than a runner they flee away they see no good they are passed away as the swift ships as the vulture that swoopeth on the prey if I say I will forget my complaint I will put off my sad countenance and be of good cheer I am afraid of all my pains I know that thou wilt not hold me guiltless I shall be condemned why then do I labor in vain if I wash myself with snow water and make my hands never so clean yet wilt thou plunge me in the ditch and mine own clothes shall abhor me for he is not a man as I am that I should answer him that we should come together in judgment there is no arbiter betwixt us that might lay his hand upon us both let him take his rod away from me and let not his terror make me afraid then would I speak and not fear him for I am not so with myself job chapter my soul is weary of my life I will give free course to my complaint I will speak in the bitterness of my soul I will say unto God do not condemn me make me know wherefore thou contendest with me is it good unto thee that thou shouldest oppress that thou shouldest despise the work of thy hands and shine upon the counsel of the wicked hast thou eyes of flesh or cease thou as man seeth or are thy days as the days of man or thy years as a man's days that thou inquirest after mine iniquity and searchest after my sin although thou knowest that I shall not be condemned and there is none that can deliver out of thy hand thy hands have framed me and fashioned me together round about. Yet thou dost destroy me remember I beseech thee that thou hast fashioned me as clay and wilt thou bring me into dust again hast thou not poured me out as milk and curdled me like cheese thou hast clothed me with skin and flesh and knit me together with bones and sinews thou hast granted me life and favor and thy providence hath preserved my spirit yet these things thou didst hide in thy heart I know that this is with thee if I sin then thou markest me and thou wilt not acquit me. From mine iniquity if I be wicked woe unto me and if I be righteous yet shall I not lift up my head being filled with ignominy and looking upon mine affliction and if it exalt itself thou huntest me as a lion and again thou showest thyself marvelous upon me thou renewest thy witnesses against me and increasest thine indignation upon me host succeeding host against me wherefore then hast thou brought me forth out of the womb would that I had perished and no I had seen me I should have been as though I had not been I should have been carried from the womb to the grave are not my days few cease then and let me alone that I may take comfort a little before I go whence I shall not return even to the land of darkness and of the shadow of death a land of thick darkness as darkness itself a land of the shadow of death without any order and where the light is as darkness job chapter then answered Zafar the Namathite and said should not the multitude of words be answered and should a man full of talk be accounted right thy boastings have made men hold their peace and thou hast mocked with none to make thee ashamed and thou hast said my doctrine is pure and I am clean in thine eyes but oh that God would speak and open his lips against thee and that he would tell thee the secrets of wisdom that sound wisdom is manifold know therefore that God exacteth of thee less than thine iniquity deserveth canst thou find out the deep things of God canst.
thou attain unto the purpose of the Almighty it is high as heaven what canst thou do deeper than the nether world what canst thou know the measure thereof is longer than the earth and broader than the sea if he pass by and shut up or gather in then who can hinder him for he knoweth base men and when he seeth iniquity will he not then consider it but an empty man will get understanding when a wild ass's colt is born a man if thou set thy heart aright and stretch out thy hands toward him if iniquity be in thy hand put it far away and let not unrighteousness dwell in thy tents surely then shalt thou lift up thy face without spot yet thou shalt be steadfast and shalt not fear for thou shalt forget thy misery thou shalt remember it as waters that are passed away and thy life shall be clearer than the noonday though there be darkness it shall be as the morning and thou shalt be secure because there is hope yet thou shalt look about thee and shalt take thy rest in safety also thou shalt lie down and none shall make thee afraid yea many shall make suit unto thee but the eyes of the wicked shall fail and they shall have no way to flee and their hope shall be the drooping of the soul job chapter then job answered and said no doubt but ye are the people and wisdom shall die with you but i have understanding as well as you i am not inferior to you ye who know it not such things as these i am as one that is a laughing stock to his neighbor a man that called upon god and he answered him the just the innocent man is a laughing stock a contemptible brand in the thought of him that is at ease a thing ready for them whose foot slippeth the tents of robbers prosper and they that provoke god are secure in whatsoever god bringeth into their hand but ask now the beasts and they shall teach thee and the fowls of the air and they shall tell thee or speak to the earth and it shall teach thee and the fishes of the sea shall declare unto thee who knoweth not among all these that the hand of Hashem hath wrought this in whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind doth not the ear try words even as the palate tasteth its food is wisdom with aged men and understanding in length of days with him is wisdom and might he hath counsel and understanding behold he breaketh down and it cannot be built again he shutteth up a man and there can be no opening behold he withholdeth the waters and they dry up also he sendeth them out and they overturn the earth with him is strength and sound wisdom the deceived and the deceiver are his he leteth counselors away stripped and judges make he fools he loosed the bond of kings and bindeth their loins with a girdle he leteth priests away stripped and overthroweth the mighty he removeth the speech of men of trust and taketh away the sense of the elders he poureth contempt upon princes and loosed the belt of the strong he uncovereth deep things out of darkness and bringeth out to light the shadow of death he increaseth the nations and destroyeth them he enlargeth the nations and leteth them away he taketh away the heart of the chiefs of the people of the land and causeth them to wander in a wilderness where there is no way they grope in the dark without light and he maketh them to stagger like a drunken man job chapter lo mine eye hath seen all this mine ear hath heard and understood it what yet no do I know also I am not inferior unto you notwithstanding I would speak to the Almighty and I desire to reason with God but ye are plasterers of lies ye are all physicians of no value O oh, that ye would altogether hold your peace and it would be your wisdom hear now my reasoning and hearken to the pleadings of my lips will ye speak unrighteously for God and talk deceitfully for him will ye show him favor will ye contend for God would it be good that he should search you out or as one mocketh a man will ye mock him he will surely reprove you if ye do secretly show favor shall not his majesty terrify you and his dread fall upon you your memorials shall be like unto ashes your eminences to eminences of clay hold your peace let me alone that I may speak and let come on me what will wherefore I will take my flesh in my teeth and put my life in my hand though he slay me yet will I trust in him but I will argue my ways before him this also shall be my salvation that a hypocrite cannot come before him hear diligently my speech and let my declaration be in your ears behold now i have ordered my cause i know that i shall be justified who is he that will contend with me for then would i hold my peace and die only do not two things unto me then will i not hide myself from thee withdraw thy hand far from me and let not thy terror make me afraid then call thou and i will answer or let me speak and answer thou me how many are mine iniquities and sins make me to know my transgression and my sin wherefore hidest thou thy face and holdest me for thine enemy wilt thou harass a driven leaf and wilt thou pursue the dry stubble that thou shouldest write bitter things against me and make me to inherit the iniquities of my youth thou puttest my feet also in the stocks and lookest narrowly unto all my paths thou drawest thee a line about the solace of my feet though i am like a wineskin that consumeth like a garment that is moth eaten job chapter man that is born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble he cometh forth like a flower and withereth he fleet also as a shadow and continueth not and dost thou open thine eyes upon such a one and bringest me into judgment with thee who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean not one seeing his days are determined the number of his months is with thee and thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass look away from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish as a hireling his day for there is hope of a tree if it be cut down that it will sprout again and that the tender branch thereof will not cease though the root thereof wax old in the earth and the stock thereof die in the ground yet through the scent of water it will bud and put forth boughs like a plant but man dieth and lieth lo ye man perisheth and where is he as the waters fail from the sea and the river is drained dry so man lieth down and riseth not till the heavens be no more they shall not awake nor be roused out of their sleep O oh, that thou wouldest hide me in the nether world that thou wouldest keep me secret until thy wrath be past that thou wouldest appoint me a set time and remember me if a man die may he live again all the days of my service would i wait till my relief should come thou wouldest call and i would answer thee thou wouldest have a desire to the work of thy hands but now thou numberest my steps thou dost not 
Even wait for my sin my transgression is sealed up in a bag and thou heapest up mine iniquity and surely the mountain falling crumb leth away and the rock is removed out of its place the waters where the stones the overflowings thereof wash away the dust of the earth so thou destroyest the hope of man thou prevailest forever against him and he passeth thou changest his countenance and sendest him away his sons come to honor and he knoweth it not and they are brought low but he regardeth them not but his flesh grieveth for him and his soul mourneth over him Job chapter then answered Eliphaz the Temanite and said should a wise man make answer with windy knowledge and fill his belly with the east wind should he reason with unprofitable talk or with speeches wherewith he can do no good yet thou doest away with fear and impairest devotion before God for thine iniquity tiak hate thy mouth and thou choosest the tongue of the crafty thine own mouth condemneth thee and not I yet thine own lips testify against thee art thou the first man that was born or wast thou brought forth before the hills dost thou hearken in the counsel of God and dost thou restrain wisdom to thyself what knowest thou that we know not what understandest thou which is not in us with us are both the grey-headed and the very aged men much older than thy father are the consolations of God too small for thee and the word that dealeth gently with thee why doth thy heart carry thee away and why do thine eyes wink that thou turnest thy spirit against God and lettest such words go out of thy mouth what is man that he should be clean and he that is born of a woman that he should be righteous behold he putteth no trust in his holy ones yet the heavens are not clean in his sight how much less one that is abominable and impure man who drinketh iniquity like water I will tell thee hear thou me and that which I have seen I will declare which wise men have told from their fathers and have not hid it unto whom alone the land was given and no stranger passed among them the wicked man travaileth with pain all his days even the number of years that are laid up for the oppressor a sound of terrors is in his ears in prosperity the destroyer shall come upon him he believeth not that he shall return out of darkness and he is waited for of the sword he wandereth abroad for bread where is it he knoweth that the day of darkness is ready at his hand distress and anguish overwhelm him they prevail against him as a king ready to the battle because he hath stretched out his hand against God and behaveth himself proudly against the Almighty he runneth upon him with a stiff neck with the thick bosses of his bucklers because he hath covered his face with his fatness and made collops of fat on his loins and he hath dwelt in desolate cities in houses which no man would inhabit which were ready to become heaps he shall not be rich neither shall his substance continue neither shall their produce bend to the earth he shall not depart out of darkness the flame shall dry up his branches and by the breath of his mouth shall he go away let him not trust in vanity deceiving himself for vanity shall be his recompense it shall be accomplished before his time and his branch shall not be leafy he shall shake off his unripe grape as the vine and shall cast off his flower as the olive for the company of the Godless shall be desolate and fire shall consume the tents of bribery they conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity and their belly prepareth the seed Job chapter then Job answered and said I have heard many such things sorry comforters are yet all shall windy words have an end or what provoked thee that thou answerest I also could speak as ye do if your soul were in my soul's stead I could join words together against you and shake my head at you I would strengthen you with my mouth and the moving of my lips would assuage your grief though I speak my pain is not assuaged and though I forbear what am I eased but now he hath made me weary thou hast made desolate all my company and thou hast shriveled me up which is a witness against me and my leanness riseth up against me it testifieth to my face he hath torn me in his wrath and hated me he hath gnashed upon me with his teeth mine adversary sharpeneth his eyes upon me they have gaped upon me with their mouth they have smitten me upon the cheek scornfully they gather themselves together against me God delivereth me to the ungodly and casteth me into the hands of the wicked I was at ease and he broke me asunder yet he hath taken me by the neck and dashed me to pieces he hath also set me up for his mark his archers compass me round about he cleaveth my reins asunder and doth not spare he poureth out my gall upon the ground he breaketh me with breach upon breach he runneth upon me like a giant. I have sewed sackcloth upon my skin and have laid my horn in the dust my face is reddened with weeping and on my eyelids is the shadow of death although there is no violence in my hands and my prayer is pure O earth cover not thou my blood and let my cry have no resting place even now behold my witness is in heaven and he that testifieth of me is on high mine inward thoughts are my intercessors mine I poureth out tears unto God that he would set aright a man contending with God as a son of man said the right his neighbor for the years that are few are coming on and I shall go the way whence I shall not return job chapter my spirit is consumed my days are extinct the grave is ready for me surely there are mockers with me and mine I abide in their provocation give now a pledge be surety for me with thyself who else is there that will strike hands with me for thou hast hid their heart from understanding therefore shalt thou not exalt them he that denounceth his friends for the sake of flattery even the eyes of his children shall fail he hath made me also a byword of the people and I am become one in whose face they spit mine eye also is dimmed by reason of vexation and all my members are as a shadow upright men are astonished at this and the innocent stirreth up himself against the godless yet the righteous holdeth on his way and he that hath clean hands waxed stronger and stronger but as for you all do ye return and come now.
and I shall not find a wise man among you my days are past my purposes are broken off even the thoughts of my heart they change the night into day the light is short because of darkness if I look for the nether world as my house if I have spread my couch in the darkness if I have said to corruption thou art my father to the worm thou art my mother and my sister where then is my hope and as for my hope who shall see it they shall go down to the bars of the nether world when we are at rest together in the dust job chapter then answered Bildad the Shuhite and said how long will ye lay snares for words consider and afterwards we will speak wherefore are we counted as beasts and reputed dull in your sight thou that tearest thyself in thine anger shall the earth be forsaken for thee or shall the rock be removed out of its place yea the light of the wicked shall be put out and the spark of his fire shall not shine the light shall be dark in his tent and his lamp over him shall be put out the steps of his strength shall be straightened and his own counsel shall cast him down for he is cast into a net by his own feet and he walketh upon the toils a jinn shall take him by the heel and a snare shall lay hold on him a noose is hid for him in the ground and a trap for him in the way terrors shall overwhelm him on every side and shall entrap him at his feet his trouble shall be ravenous and calamity shall be ready for his fall it shall devour the members of his body yea the firstborn of death shall devour his members that wherein he trusteth shall be plucked out of his tent and he shall be brought to the king of terrors there shall dwell in his tent that which is none of his brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation his roots shall dry up beneath and above shall his branch wither his remembrance shall perish from the earth and he shall have no name abroad he shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world he shall have neither son nor son's son among his people nor any remaining in his dwellings they that come after shall be astonished at his day as they that went before are affrighted surely such are the dwellings of the wicked and this is the place of him that knoweth not God job chapter job answered and said how long will ye vex my soul and crush me with words these ten times have ye reproached me ye are not ashamed that ye deal harshly with me and be it indeed that I have heard mine error remaineth with myself if indeed ye will magnify yourselves against me and plead against me my reproach know now that God hath subverted my cause and hath compassed me with his net behold I cry out violence but I am not heard I cry aloud but there is no justice he hath fenced up my way that I cannot pass and hath set darkness in my paths he hath stripped me of my glory and taken the crown from my head he hath broken me down on every side and I am gone and my hope hath he plucked up like a tree he hath also kindled his wrath against me and he counteth me unto him as one of his adversaries his troops come on together and cast up their way against me and encamp round about my tent he hath put my brethren far from me and mine acquaintance are wholly estranged from me my kinsfolk have failed and my familiar friends have forgotten me they that dwell in my house and my maids count me for a stranger I am become an alien in their sight I Call unto my servant and he giveth me no answer though I entreat him with my mouth my breath is abhorred of my wife and I am loathsome to the children of my tribe even urchins despised me if I arise they speak against me all my intimate friends abhor me and they whom I loved are turned against me my bone cleaveth to my skin and to my flesh and I am escaped with the skin of my teeth have pity upon me have pity upon me O oh ye yeah, my friends for the hand of God hath touched me why do ye? Persecute me as God and are not satisfied with my flesh O oh, that my words were now written O oh, that they were inscribed in a book that with an iron pen and lead they were graven in the rock forever but as for me I know that my Redeemer liveth and that he will witness at the last upon the dust and when after my skin this is destroyed then without my flesh shall I see God whom I even I shall see for myself and mine eyes shall behold and not another's my reins are consumed within me if Ye yes, say how we will persecute him seeing that the root of the matter is found in me be ye afraid of the sword for wrath bringeth the punishments of the sword that ye may know there is a judgment job chapter then answered Zafar the Namathite and said therefore do my thoughts give answer to me even by reason of mine agitation that is in me I have heard the reproof which putteth me to shame but out of my understanding my spirit answereth me knowest thou not this of old time since. Man was placed upon earth that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the godless but for a moment though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds yet he shall perish forever like his own dung they that have seen him shall say where is he he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found yet he shall be chased away as a vision of the night the eye which saw him shall see him no more neither shall his place any more behold him his children shall appease the poor and his hands shall restore his wealth his bones are full of his youth but it shall lie down with him in the dust though wickedness be sweet in his mouth though he hide it under his tongue though he spare it and will not let it go but keep it still within his mouth yet his food in his bowels is turned it is the gall of asps within him he hath swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again god shall cast them out of his belly he shall suck the poison of asps the viper's tongue shall slay him he shall not look upon the rivers the flowing streams of honey and curd that which he labored for shall he give back and shall not swallow it down according to the substance that he hath gotten he shall not rejoice for he hath oppressed and forsaken the poor he hath violently taken away a house and he shall not build it up because he knew no quietness within him in his greed he suffered not to escape there was nothing left that he devoured not therefore his prosperity shall not endure in the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in straits the hand of every one that is in misery shall come upon him it shall be for the filling of his belly he shall cast the fierceness of his wrath upon him and shall cause it to rain upon him into his flesh if he flee from the iron weapon the bow of brass shall strike him through he draweth it forth and it cometh out of his body yea the glittering point cometh out of his gall 
Terrors are upon him all darkness is laid up for his treasures a fire not blown by man shall consume him it shall go ill with him that is left in his tent the heavens shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him the increase of his house shall depart his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath this is the portion of a wicked man from God and the heritage appointed unto him by God Job chapter then Job answered and said here diligently my speech and let this be your consolation suffer me that I may speak and after that I have spoken mock on as for me is my complaint to man or why should I not be impatient turn unto me and be astonished and lay your hand upon your mouth even when I remember I am affrighted and horror hath taketh hold on my flesh wherefore do the wicked live become old ye wax mighty in power their seed is established in their sight with them and their offspring before their eyes their houses are safe without fear. Neither is the rod of God upon them their bull gendereth and faileth not their cow calveth and casteth not her calf they send forth their little ones like a flock and their children dance they sing to the timbrel and harp and rejoice at the sound of the pipe they spend their days in prosperity and peacefully they go down to the grave yet they said unto God depart from us for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways what is the Almighty that we should serve him and what profit should we have if we pray unto him lo their prosperity is not in their hand the counsel of the wicked is far from me how oft is it that the lamp of the wicked is put out that their calamity cometh upon them that he distributeth pains in his anger that they are as stubble before the wind and as chaff that the storm stealeth away God layeth up his iniquity for his children let him recompense it unto himself that he may know it let his own eyes see his destruction and let him drink of the wrath of the Almighty for what pleasure hath he in his house after him seeing the number of his months is determined shall any teach God knowledge seeing it is he that judgeth those that are high one dieth in his full strength being holy at ease and quiet his pails are full of milk and the marrow of his bones is moistened and another dieth in bitterness of soul and hath never tasted of good they lie down alike in the dust and the worm covereth them behold I know your thoughts and the devices which ye wrongfully imagine against me for ye say where is the house of the prince and where is the tent wherein the wicked dwelt have ye not asked them that go by the way and will ye esteem their tokens that the evil man is reserved to the day of calamity that they are led forth to the day of wrath but who shall declare his way to his face and who shall repay him what he hath done for he is born to the grave and watch is kept over his tomb the clods of the valley are sweet unto him and all men draw after him as there were innumerable before him how then comfort ye me in vain and as for your answers there remaineth only faithlessness job chapter then answered Eliphaz the Temanite and said can a man be profitable unto God or can he that is wise be profitable unto him is it any advantage to the Almighty that thou art righteous or is it gain to him that thou makest thy ways blameless is it for thy fear of him that he reproveth thee. That he entereth with thee into judgment is not thy wickedness great and are not thine iniquities without end for thou hast taken pledges of thy brother for naught and stripped the naked of their clothing thou hast not given water to the weary to drink and thou hast withholden bread from the hungry and as a mighty man who hath the earth and as a man of rank who dwelleth in it thou hast sent widows away empty and the arms of the fatherless have been broken therefore snares are round about thee and sudden dread affrighted thee or darkness that thou canst not see and abundance of waters cover thee is not God in the height of heaven and behold the topmost of the stars how high they are and thou sayest what doth God know can he judge through the dark cloud thick clouds are a covering to him that he seeth not and he walketh in the circuit of heaven wilt thou keep the old way which wicked men have trodden who were snatched away before their time whose foundation was poured out as a stream who said unto God depart from us and what could the Almighty do unto them yet he filled their houses with good things but the counsel of the wicked is far from me the righteous saw it and were glad and the innocent laughed them to scorn surely their substance is cut off and their abundance the fire hath consumed acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace thereby shall thine increase be good receive I pray the instruction from his mouth and lay up his words in thy heart if thou return to the Almighty thou shalt be built up if thou put away unrighteousness far from thy tents and lay thy treasure in the dust and the gold of Ophir among the stones of the brooks and the Almighty be thy treasure and precious silver unto thee then surely shalt thou have thy delight in the Almighty and shalt lift up thy face unto God thou shalt make thy prayer unto him and he will hear thee and thou shalt pay thy vows thou shalt also decree a thing. And it shall be established unto thee and light shall shine upon thy ways when they cast thee down thou shalt say there is lifting up for the humble person he saveth he delivereth him that is innocent yet thou shalt be delivered through the cleanness of thy hands job chapter then job answered and said even today is my complaint bitter my hand is become heavy because of my groaning oh that I knew where I might find him that I might come even to his seat I would order my cause before him and fill my mouth with arguments I would know the words which he would answer me and understand what he would say unto me would he contend with me in his great power nay but he would give heed unto me there the upright might reason with him so should I be delivered forever from my judge behold I go forward but he is not there and backward but I cannot perceive him on the left hand when he doth work but I cannot behold him he turneth himself to the right hand but I cannot see him for he knoweth the way that I take when he hath tried me I shall come forth as gold my foot hath held fast to his steps his way have I kept and turned not aside I have not gone back from the commandment of his lips I have treasured up the words of his mouth more than my necessary food but he is at one with himself and who can turn him and what his soul desireth even that he doth for he will perform that which is appointed for me and many such things are with him therefore 
Am I affrighted at his presence when I consider I am afraid of him? Yea, God hath made my heart faint, and the Almighty hath affrighted me because I was not cut off before the darkness, neither did he cover the thick darkness from my face. Job chapter Why are times not laid up by the Almighty, and why do not they that know him see his days? There are that remove the landmarks, they violently take away flocks and feed them, they drive away the ass of the fatherless, they take the widow's ox. For a pledge they turn the needy out of the way the poor of the earth hide themselves together behold as wild asses in the wilderness they go forth to their work seeking diligently for food the desert yieldeth them bread for their children they cut his prov ender in the field and they despoil the vineyard of the wicked they lie all night naked without clothing and have no covering in the cold they are wet with the showers of the mountains and embrace the rock for want of a shelter. There are that pluck the fatherless from the breast and take a pledge of the poor so that they go about naked without clothing and being hungry they carry the sheeps they make oil within the rows of these men they tread their wine presses and suffer thirst from out of the populous city men groan and the soul of the wounded crieth out yet God impute that not for unseemliness these are of them that rebel against the light they know not the ways thereof nor abide in the paths thereof the murderer riseth with the light to kill the poor and needy and in the night he is as a thief the eye also of the adulterer wait for the twilight saying no I shall see me and he putteth a covering on his face in the dark they dig through houses they shut themselves up in the daytime they know not the light for the shadow of death is to all of them as the morning for they know the terrors of the shadow of death he is swift upon the face of the waters their portion is cursed in the earth he turneth not by the way of the vineyards drought and he'd consume the snow waters so doth the nether world those that have sinned the womb forgetteth him the worm feedeth sweetly on him he shall be no more remembered and unrighteousness is broken as a tree he devoureth the barren that beareth not and doth not good to the widow he draweth away the mighty also by his power he riseth up and he trusteth not his own life though it be given him to be in safety whereon he resteth Yet his eyes are upon their ways they are exalted for a little while and they are gone yet they are brought low they are gathered in as all others and wither as the tops of the ears of corn and if it be not so now who will prove me a liar and make my speech nothing worth job chapter then answered Bildad the Shuhite and said dominion and fear are with him he make peace in his high places is there any number of his armies and upon whom doth not his light arise how then can man be just with God or how can he be clean that is born of a woman behold even the moon hath no brightness and the stars are not pure in his sight how much less man that is a worm and the son of man that is a maggot job chapter then job answered and said how hast thou helped him that is without power how hast thou saved the arm that hath no strength how hast thou counseled him that hath no wisdom and plentifully declared sound knowledge with whose help hast thou uttered words and whose spirit came forth from thee the shades tremble beneath the waters and the inhabitants thereof the nether world is naked before him and destruction hath no covering he stretcheth out the north over the empty space and hangeth the earth over nothing he bindeth up the waters in his thick clouds and the cloud is not rent under them he closeth in the face of his throne and spreadeth his cloud upon it he hath described a boundary upon the face of the waters unto the confines of Light and darkness the pillars of heaven tremble and are astonished at his rebuke he stirreth up the sea with his power and by his understanding he smite through Rahab by his breath the heavens are serene his hand hath pierced the slant serpent lo these are but the outskirts of his ways and how small a whisper is heard of him but the thunder of his mighty deeds who can understand Job chapter and Job again took up his parable and said as God liveth who hath taken away my right. And the Almighty who hath dealt bitterly with me all the while my breath is in me and the Spirit of God is in my nostrils surely my lips shall not speak unrighteousness neither shall my tongue utter deceit far be it from me that I should justify you till I die I will not put away mine integrity from me my righteousness I hold fast and will not let it go my heart shall not reproach me so long as I live let mine enemy be as the wicked and let him that riseth up against me be as the unrighteous for what is the hope of the godless though he get him gain when God taketh away his soul will God hear his cry when trouble cometh upon him will he have his delight in the almighty and call upon God at all times I will teach you concerning the hand of God that which is with the almighty will I not conceal behold all ye yourselves have seen it why then are ye become altogether vain this is the portion of a wicked man with God and the heritage of oppressors which they Receive from the Almighty if his children be multiplied it is for the sword and his offspring shall not have bread enough those that remain of him shall be buried by pestilence and his widows shall make no lamentation though he heap up silver as the dust and prepare raiment as the clay he may prepare it but the just shall put it on and the innocent shall divide the silver he buildeth his house as a moth and as a booth which the keeper maketh he leath down rich but there shall be not. To gather he openeth his eyes and his wealth is not terrors overtake him like waters a tempest stealeth him away in the night the east wind carrieth him away and he departeth and it sweepeth him out of his place yet it hurleth at him and spareth not he would fain flee from its power men shall clap their hands at him and shall hiss him out of his place job chapter for there is a mine for silver and a place for gold which they refine iron is taken out of the dust and brasses. Molten out of the stone man setteth an end to darkness and searcheth out to the furthest bound the stones of thick darkness and of the shadow of death he breaketh open a shaft away from where men sojourn they are forgotten of the foot that passeth by they hang afar from men they swing to and fro as for the earth out of it cometh bread and underneath it is turned up as it were by fire the stones thereof are the place of sapphires and it hath dust of gold that path no bird of prey. 
No it neither hath the falcons I seen it the proud beasts have not trodden it nor hath the lion passed thereby he putteth forth his hand upon the flinty rock he overturneth the mountains by the roots he cutteth out channels among the rocks and his eye seeth every precious thing he bindeth the streams that they trickle not and the thing that is hid bringeth he forth to light but wisdom where shall it be found and where is the place of understanding man know it not the price. Thereof neither is it found in the land of the living the deep saith it is not in me and the sea saith it is not with me it cannot be gotten for gold neither shall silver be weighed for the price thereof it cannot be valued with the gold of Ophir with the precious onyx or the sapphire gold and glass cannot equal it neither shall the exchange thereof be vessels of fine gold no mention shall be made of coral or of crystal yea the price of wisdom is above rubies the topaz of Ethiopia shall not equal it neither shall it be valued with pure gold whence then cometh wisdom and where is the place of understanding seeing it is hid from the eyes of all living and kept close from the fowls of the air destruction and death say we have heard a rumor thereof with our ears God understandeth the way thereof and he knoweth the place thereof for he looked to the ends of the earth and seeth under the whole heaven when he make the weight for the wind and meet out the waters by measure when he made a decree for the rain and a way for the storm of thunders then did he see it and declare it he established it yet and searched it out and unto man he said behold the fear of the lord that is wisdom and to depart from evil is understanding job chapter and job again took up his parable and said oh that i were as in the months of old as in the days when god watched over me when his lamp shined above my head and by his light i walked through Darkness as I was in the days of my youth when the converse of God was upon my tent when the Almighty was yet with me and my children were about me when my steps were washed with butter and the rock poured me out rivers of oil when I went forth to the gate unto the city when I prepared my seat in the broad place the young men saw me and hid themselves and the aged rose up and stood the princes refrained talking and laid their hand on their mouth the voice of the nobles was hushed. And their tongue cleaved to the roof of their mouth for when the ear heard me then it blessed me and when the eye saw me it gave witness unto me because I delivered the poor that cried the fatherless also that had none to help him the blessing of him that was ready to perish came upon me and I caused the widow's heart to sing for joy I put on righteousness and it clothed itself with me my justice was as a robe and a diadem I was eyes to the blind and feet was I to the lame I was a father to the needy and the cause of him that I knew not I searched out and I broke the jaws of the unrighteous and plucked the prey out of his teeth then I said I shall die with my nest and I shall multiply my days as the phoenix my root shall be spread out to the waters and the dew shall lie all night upon my branch my glory shall be fresh in me and my bow shall be renewed in my hand unto me men gave ear and waited and kept silence for my counsel after my words they spoke not again and my speech dropped upon them and they waited for me as for the rain and they opened their mouth wide as for the latter rain if I laughed on them they believed it not and the light of my countenance they cast not down I chose out their way and sat as chief and dwelt as a king in the army as one that comforteth the mourners job chapter but now they that are younger than I have me in derision whose fathers I disdain to set with the dogs of my flock yet the strength of their hands where to should it profit me men in whom ripe ages perish they are gaunt with want and famine they gnaw the dry ground in the gloom of wasteness and desolation they pluck salt word with wormwood and the roots of the broom are their food they are driven forth from the midst of men they cry after them as after a thief in the clefts of the valleys must they dwell in holes of the earth and of the rocks among the bushes they bray under the nettles they are gathered together. They are children of churls yet children of ignoble men they were scourged out of the land and now I am become their song yet I am a byword unto them they abhor me they flee far from me and spare not to spit in my face for he hath loosed my cord and afflicted me and they have cast off the bridle before me upon my right hand rise the brood they entangle my feet and they cast up against me their ways of destruction they break up my path they further my calamity even men that have no helper as through a wide breach they come in the midst of the ruin they roll themselves upon me terrors are turned upon me they chase mine honor as the wind and my welfare is passed away as a cloud and now my soul is poured out within me days of affliction have taken hold upon me in the night my bones are pierced and fall from me and my sinews take no rest by the great force of my disease is my garment disfigured it bindeth me about as the collar of my coat he hath cast me into the mire and I am become like dust and ashes I cry unto thee and thou dost not answer me I stand up and thou lookest at me thou art turned to be cruel to me with the might of thy hand thou hatest me thou liftest me up to the wind thou causest me to ride upon it and thou dissolvest my substance for I know that thou wilt bring me to death and to the house appointed for all living surely none shall put forth his hand to a ruinous heap neither because of these things shall help come in ones calamity if I have not wept for him that was in trouble and if my soul grieved not for the needy yet when I looked for good there came evil and when I waited for light there came darkness mine inwards boil and rest not days of affliction are come upon me I go mourning without the sun I stand up in the assembly and cry for help I am become a brother to jackals and a companion to ostriches my skin is black and falleth from me and my bones are burned with heat therefore is my harp turned to mourning and my pipe into the voice of them that weep job chapter I made a covenant with mine eyes how then should I look upon a maid for what would be the portion of God from above and the heritage of the almighty from on high is it not calamity to the unrighteous and disaster to the workers of iniquity doth not he see my ways and count all my steps if I have walked with vanity and my foot hath haste to deceit let me be weighed in a just balance that God may know.
mine integrity if my step hath turned out of the way and my heart walked after mine eyes and if any spot hath cleaved to my hands then let me sow and let another eat yet let the produce of my field be rooted out if my heart have been enticed unto a woman and I have lain in wait at my neighbor's door then let my wife grind unto another and let others bow down upon her for that were a heinous crime yet it were an iniquity to be punished by the judges for it is a fire that consumeth unto destruction and would root out all mine increase if I did despise the cause of my manservant or of my maidservant when they contended with me what then shall I do when God riseth up and when he remembereth what shall I answer him did not he that made me in the womb make him and did not one fashion us in the womb if I have withheld aught that the poor desired or have caused the eyes of the widow to fail or have eaten my morsel myself alone and the fatherless hath not eaten thereof nay from my youth he grew up with me as with a father and I have been her guide from my mother's womb if I have seen any wanderer in want of clothing or that the needy had no covering if his loins have not blessed me and if he were not warmed with the fleece of my sheep if I have lifted up my hand against the fatherless because I saw my help in the gate then let my shoulder fall from the shoulder blade and mine arm be broken from the bone for calamity from God was a terror to me and by reason of his majesty I could do nothing if I have made gold my hope and have said to the fine gold thou art my confidence if I rejoiced because my wealth was great and because my hand had gotten much if I beheld the sun when it shined or the moon walking in brightness and my heart hath been secretly enticed and my mouth hath kissed my hand this also were an iniquity to be punished by the judges for I should have lied to God that is above if I rejoiced at the destruction of him that hated me or exalted when evil found him yet I suffered not my mouth to sin by asking his life with a curse if the men of my tent said not who can find one that hath not been satisfied with his meat the stranger did not lodge in the street my doors I opened to the roadside if after the manner of men I covered my transgressions by hiding mine iniquity in my bosom because I feared the great multitude and the most contemptible among families terrified me so that I kept silence and went not out of the door oh that I had one to hear me lo here is my signature let the almighty answer me and that I had the indictment which mine adversary hath written surely I would carry it upon my shoulder I would bind it unto me as a crown I would declare unto him the number of my steps as a prince would I go near unto him if my land cry out against me and the furrows thereof weep together if I have eaten the fruits thereof without money or have caused the tillers thereof to be disappointed let thistles grow instead of wheat and noisome weeds instead of barley the words of Job are ended Job chapter so these three men ceased to answer Job because he was righteous in his own eyes then was kindled the wrath of Elihu the son of Barachel the buzit of the family of Ram against Job was his wrath kindled because he justified himself rather than God also against his three friends was his wrath kindled because they had found no answer and yet had condemned Job now Elihu had waited to speak unto Job because they were older than he and when Elihu saw that there was no answer in the mouth of these three men his wrath was kindled and Elihu the son of Barachel the Buzit answered and said I am young and yet are very old wherefore I held back and durst not declare you mine opinion I said days should speak and multitude of years should teach wisdom but it is a spirit in man and the breath of the Almighty that giveth them understanding it is not the great that are wise nor the aged that discern judgment therefore I say hearken to me I also will declare mine opinion behold I waited for your words I listened for your reasons whilst yes searched out what to say yeah I attended unto you and behold there was none that convinced job or that answered his words among you beware lest yes say we have found wisdom God may vanquish him not man for he hath not directed his words against me neither will I answer him with your speeches they are amazed they answer no more words are departed from them and shall I wait because they speak not because they stand still and answer no more I also will answer my part I also will declare mine opinion for I am full of words the spirit within me constraineth me behold mine inwards are as wine which hath no vent like new wineskins which are ready to burst I will speak that I may find relief I will open my lips and answer let me not I pray you respect any man's person neither will I give flattering titles unto any man for I know not to give flattering titles else would my maker soon take me away job chapter howbeit job I pray thee hear my speech and hearken to all my words behold now I have opened my mouth my tongue hath spoken in my mouth my words shall utter the uprightness of my heart and that which my lips know they shall speak sincerely the spirit of God hath made me and the breath of the almighty given me life if thou canst answer thou me set thy words in order before me stand forth behold I am toward God even as thou art I also am formed out of the clay behold my terror shall not make thee afraid neither shall my pressure be heavy upon thee surely thou hast spoken in my hearing and I have heard the voice of thy words I am clean without transgression I am innocent neither is there iniquity in me behold he findeth occasions against me he counteth me for his enemy he putteth my feet in the stocks he marketh all my paths behold I answer thee in this thou art not right that God is too great for man why hast thou striven against him seeing that he will not answer any of his words for God speaketh in one way yet in two though man perceiveth it not in a dream in a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon men in slumberings upon the bed then he openeth the ears of men and by their chastisement sealeth the decree that men may put away their purpose and that he may hide 
pride from man that he may keep back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword he is chastened also with pain upon his bed and all his bones grow stiff so that his life make him to abhor bread and his soul dainty food his flesh is consumed away that it cannot be seen and his bones corrode to unsightliness yet his soul draw it near unto the pit and his life to the destroyers if there be for him an angel an intercessor one among a thousand to vouch for a man's uprightness then he is gracious unto him and saith deliver him from going down to the pit i have found a ransom his flesh is tenderer than a child's he returneth to the days of his youth he preth unto god and he is favorable unto him so that he seeth his face with joy and he restoreth unto man his righteousness he cometh before men and saith i have sinned and perverted that which was right and it profited me not so he redeemeth his soul from going into the pit and his life Beholdeth the light lo all these things doth God work twice yet thrice with a man to bring back his soul from the pit that he may be enlightened with the light of the living mark well O job hearken unto me hold thy peace and I will speak if thou hast anything to say answer me speak for I desire to justify thee if not hearken thou unto me hold thy peace and I will teach thee wisdom job chapter moreover Elihu answered and said hear my words yet wise men and give ear unto me yet that have knowledge for the ear trieth words as the palate tasteth food let us choose for us that which is right let us know among ourselves what is good for job hath said i am righteous and god hath taken away my right notwithstanding my right i am accounted a liar my wound is incurable though i am without transgression what man is like job who drinketh up scorning like water who goeth in company with the workers of iniquity and walketh with wicked men for he hath said it Profiteth a man nothing that he should be in accord with God therefore hearken unto me ye men of understanding far be it from God that he should do wickedness and from the Almighty that he should commit iniquity for the work of a man will he requite unto him and cause every man to find according to his ways ye of a surety God will not do wickedly neither will the Almighty pervert justice who gave him a charge over the earth or who hath disposed the whole world if he set his heart. Upon man if he gather unto himself his spirit and his breath all flesh shall perish together and man shall return unto dust if now thou hast understanding hear this hearken to the voice of my words shall even one that hath right govern and wilt thou condemn him that is just and mighty is it fit to say to a king thou art base or to nobles yea or wicked that respecteth not the persons of princes nor regardeth the rich more than the poor for they all are the work of his hands. In a moment they die even at midnight the people are shaken and pass away and the mighty are taken away without hand for his eyes are upon the ways of a man and he seeth all his goings there is no darkness nor shadow of death where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves for he doth not appoint a time unto any man when he should go before God in judgment he breaketh in pieces mighty men without inquisition and setteth others in their stead therefore he taketh knowledge of their works and he overturneth them in the night so that they are crushed he strike them as wicked men in the open sight of others because they turned aside from following him and would not have regard to any of his ways so that they cause the cry of the poor to come unto him and he heareth the cry of the afflicted when he giveth quietness who then can condemn and when he hideth his face who then can behold him whether it be done unto a nation or unto a man alike that the godless man reign not that there be none to ensnare the people for hath any said unto God I have borne chastisement though I offend not that which I see not teach thou me if I have done iniquity I will do it no more shall his recompense be as thou wilt for thou loathest it so that thou must choose and not I therefore speak what thou knowest men of understanding will say unto me yea every wise man that heareth me job speak without knowledge and his words are without discernment would that Job were tried unto the end because of his answering like wicked men for he addeth rebellion unto his sin he clappeth his hands among us and multiplieth his words against God Job chapter moreover Elihu answered and said thinkest thou this to be thy right or sayest thou I am righteousness before God that thou inquirest what advantage will it be unto thee and what profit shall I have more than if I had sinned I will give thee answer and thy companions with thee look unto the heavens and see and behold the skies which are higher than thou if thou hast sinned what doest thou against him and if thy transgressions be multiplied what doest thou unto him if thou be righteous what givest thou him or what receiveth he of thy hand thy wickedness concerneth a man as thou art and thy righteousness a son of man by reason of the multitude of oppressions they cry out they cry for help by reason of the arm of the mighty but none saith where is God my maker who giveth songs in the night who tiak hate us more than the beasts of the earth and make us wiser than the fowls of heaven there they cry but none giveth answer because of the pride of evil men surely God will not hear vanity neither will the almighty regard it yet when thou sayest thou canst not see him the cause is before him therefore wait thou for him and now is it for not that he punished in his anger and hath he not full knowledge of arrogance but job doth open his mouth in vanity he multiplieth words without knowledge job chapter elihu also proceeded and said suffer me a little and i will tell thee for there are yet words on god's behalf i will fetch my knowledge from afar and will ascribe righteousness to my maker for truly my words are not false one that is upright in mind is with thee behold god is mighty yet he despiseth not any he is mighty in strength of understanding he preserveth not the life of the wicked but giveth to the poor there Right he withdraweth not his eyes from the righteous but with kings upon the throne he setteth them forever and they are exalted and if they be bound in fetters and be holden in cords of affliction then he declareth unto them their work and their transgressions that they have behaved themselves proudly he openeth also their ear to discipline and commandeth that they return from iniquity if they hearken and serve him they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in.
pleasures but if they hearken not they shall perish by the sword and they shall die without knowledge but they that are godless in heart lay up anger they cry not for help when he bindeth them their soul perisheth in youth and their life as that of the depraved he delivereth the afflicted by his affliction and openeth their ear by tribulation yet he hath allured thee out of distress into a broad place where there is no straightness and that which is set on thy table is full of fatness and thou art full of the judgment of the wicked judgment and justice take hold on them for beware of wrath lest thou be led away by thy sufficiency neither let the greatness of the ransom turn thee aside will thy riches avail that are without stint or all the forces of thy strength desire not the night when peoples are cut off in their place take heed regard not iniquity for this hast thou chosen rather than affliction behold God doth loftily in his power who is a teacher like him. Who hath enjoined him his way or who hath said thou hast wrought unrighteousness remember that thou magnify his work whereof men have sung all men have looked thereon man beholdeth it afar off behold God is great beyond our knowledge the number of his years is unsearchable for he draweth away the drops of water which distill rain from his vapor which the skies pour down and drop upon the multitudes of men ye can any understand the spreadings of the clouds the crashings of his pavilion behold he spreadeth his light upon it and he covereth the depths of the sea for by these he judgeth the peoples he giveth food in abundance he covereth his hands with the lightning and giveth it a charge that it strike the mark the noise thereof telleth concerning it the cattle also concerning the storm that cometh up job chapter at this also my heart trembleth and is moved out of its place here attentively the noise of his voice and the sound that goeth out of his mouth he sendeth it forth under the whole heaven and his lightning unto the ends of the earth after it a voice roareth he thundereth with the voice of his majesty and he stayeth them not when his voice is heard god thundereth marvelously with his voice great things doth he which we cannot comprehend for he saith to the snow fall thou on the earth likewise to the shower of rain and to the showers of his mighty rain he sealeth up the hand of every man that all men whom he hath made May know it then the beasts go into coverts and remain in their dens out of the chamber cometh the storm and cold out of the north by the breath of God ice is given and the breadth of the waters is straightened yet he ladeth the thick cloud with moisture he spreadeth abroad the cloud of his lightning and they are turned round about by his guidance that they may do whatsoever he commandeth them upon the face of the habitable world whether it be for correction or for his earth or for mercy that he cause it to come hearken unto this O job stand still and consider the wondrous works of God dost thou know how God enjoineth them and causeth the lightning of his cloud to shine dost thou know the balancings of the clouds the wondrous works of him who is perfect in knowledge thou whose garments are warm when the earth is still by reason of the south wind canst thou with him spread out the sky which is strong as a molten mirror teach us what we shall say unto him for we cannot order our speech by reason of darkness shall it be told him that I would speak or should a man wish that he were swallowed up and now men see not the light which is bright in the skies but the wind passeth and cleanseth them out of the north cometh golden splendour about God is terrible majesty the almighty whom we cannot find out is excellent in power yet to judgment and plenteous justice he doth no violence men do therefore fear him he regardeth not any that are wise of Heart Job chapter then Hashem answered Job out of the whirlwind and said who is this that darkneth counsel by words without knowledge gird up now thy loins like a man for I will demand of thee and declare thou unto me where wast thou when I laid the foundations of the earth declare if thou hast the understanding who determined the measures thereof if thou knowest or who stretched the line upon it whereupon were the foundations thereof fastened or who laid the cornerstone. Thereof when the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy or who shut up the sea with doors when it broke forth and issued out of the womb when I made the cloud the garment thereof and thick darkness a swaddling band for it and prescribed for it my decree and set bars and doors and said thus far shalt thou come but no further and here shall thy proud waves be stayed hast thou commanded the morning since thy days began and caused the day spring to know its place that it might take hold of the ends of the earth and the wicked be shaken out of it it is changed as clay under the seal and they stand as a garment but from the wicked their light is withholden and the high arm is broken hast thou entered into the springs of the sea or hast thou walked in the recesses of the deep have the gates of death been revealed unto thee or hast thou seen the gates of the shadow of death hast thou surveyed unto the breadths of the earth declare if thou knowest it all where is the way to the dwelling of light and as for darkness where is the place thereof that thou shouldest take it to the bound thereof and that thou shouldest know the paths to the house thereof thou knowest it for thou wast then born and the number of thy days is great hast thou entered the treasuries of the snow or hast thou seen the treasuries of the hail which I have reserved against the time of trouble against the day of battle and war by what way is the light parted or the east wind scattered upon the earth who hath cleft a channel for the water flood or a way for the lightning of the thunder to cause it to rain on a land where no man is on the wilderness wherein there is no man to satisfy the desolate and waste ground and to cause the bud of the tender herb to spring forth hath the rain a father or who hath begotten the drops of dew out of whose womb came the ice and the hoarfrost of heaven who hath gendered it the waters are congealed like stone and the face of the deep is frozen canst thou bind the chains of the Pleiades or loose the bands of Orion canst thou lead forth the Maseroth in their season or canst thou guide the bear with her sons knowest thou the ordinances of the heavens canst thou establish the dominion thereof in the earth canst thou lift up thy voice to the clouds that abundance of waters may cover thee canst thou send forth lightnings that they may go and say unto thee here we are who hath put 
wisdom in the inward parts or who hath given understanding to the mind who can number the clouds by wisdom or who can pour out the bottles of heaven when the dust runneth into a mass and the clods cleave fast together wilt thou hunt the prey for the lioness or satisfy the appetite of the young lions when they couch in their dens and abide in the cover to lie in wait who provide for the raven his prey when his young ones cry unto God and wander for lack of food job chapter. Knowest thou the time when the wild goats of the rock bring forth or canst thou mark when the hinds do calve canst thou number the months that they fulfill or knowest thou the time when they bring forth they bow themselves they bring forth their young they cast out their fruit their young ones wax strong they grow up in the open field they go forth and return not again who hath sent out the wild ass free or who hath loosed the bands of the wild ass whose house I have made the wilderness and the salt land his dwelling place he scorneth the tumult of the city neither heareth he the shoutings of the driver the range of the mountains is his pasture and he searcheth after every green thing will the wild ox be willing to serve thee or will he abide by thy crib canst thou bind the wild ox with his band in the furrow or will he harrow the valleys after thee wilt thou trust him because his strength is great or wilt thou leave thy labor to him wilt thou rely on him that he will bring home thy seed and gather the corn of thy threshing floor the wing of the ostrich beat joyously but are her pinions and feathers the kindly storks for she leaveth her eggs on the earth and warmeth them in dust and forgetteth that the foot may crush them or that the wild beast may trample them she is hardened against her young ones as if they were not hers though her labor be in vain she is without fear because God hath deprived her of wisdom neither hath he imparted to her understanding when the time cometh she raiseth her wings on high and scorneth the horse and his rider hast thou given the horse his strength hast thou clothed his neck with fierceness hast thou made him to leap as a locust the glory of his snorting is terrible he paweth in the valley and rejoiceth in his strength he goeth out to meet the clash of arms he mocketh at fear and is not affrighted neither turneth he back from the sword the quiver rattleth upon him the glittering spear and the javelin he swalloweth the ground with storm and rage neither believeth he that it is the voice of the horn as oft as he heareth the horn he saith ha ha and he smelleth the battle afar off the thunder of the captains and the shouting doth the hawk soar by thy wisdom and stretch her wings toward the south doth the vulture mount up at thy command and make her nest on high she dwelleth and abideth on the rock upon the crag of the rock and the stronghold from thence she spieth out the prey her eyes behold it afar off her young ones also suck up blood and where the slain are there is she job chapter moreover hashem answered job and said shall he that reproveth contend with the almighty he that argueth with god let him answer it then job answered hashem and said behold i am of small account what shall i answer thee i lay my hand upon my mouth once have i spoken but i will not answer again yet twice but i will proceed no further then Hashem answered Job out of the whirlwind and said gird up thy loins now like a man I will demand of thee and declare thou unto me wilt thou even make void my judgment wilt thou condemn me that thou mayest be justified or hast thou an arm like God and canst thou thunder with a voice like him deck thyself now with majesty and excellency and array thyself with glory and beauty cast abroad the rage of thy wrath and look upon every one that is proud and abase him look on every one that is proud and bring him low and tread down the wicked in their place hide them in the dust together bind their faces in the hidden place then will I also confess unto thee that thine own right hand can save thee behold now behemoth which I made with thee he eateth grass as an ox low now his strength is in his loins and his force is in the stays of his body he straineth his tail like a cedar the sinews of his thighs are knit together his bones are as pipes of brass his gristles are like bars of iron he is the beginning of the ways of God he only that made him can make his sword to approach unto him surely the mountains bring him forth food and all the beasts of the field play there he leeth under the lotus trees in the covert of the reed and fence the lotus trees cover him with their shadow the willows of the brook compass him about behold if a river overflow he trembleth not he is confident though the Jordan rush forth to his mouth shall any take him by his eyes or pierce through his nose with a snare canst thou draw out leviathan with a fish hook or press down his tongue with a cord canst thou put a ring into his nose or bore his jaw through with a hook will he make many supplications unto thee or will he speak soft words unto thee will he make a covenant with thee that thou shouldest take him for a servant forever wilt thou play with him as with a bird or wilt thou bind him for thy maidens will the bands of fishermen make a banquet of him will they part him among the merchants canst thou fill his skin with barbed irons or his head with fish spears lay thy hand upon him think upon the battle thou wilt do so no more job chapter behold the hope of him is in vain shall not one be cast down even at the sight of him none is so fierce that dare stir him up who then is able to stand before me who hath given me anything beforehand that I should repay him whatsoever is under the whole heaven is mine would I keep silence concerning his boastings or his proud talk or his fair array of words who can uncover the face of his garment who shall come within his double bridle who can open the doors of his face round about his teeth his terror his scales are his pride shut up together as with a close seal one is so near to another that no air can come between them they are joined one to another they stick together that they cannot be sundered his sneezings flash forth light and his eyes are like the eyelids of the morning out of his mouth go burning torches and sparks of fire leap forth out of his nostrils goeth smoke as out of a seething pot and burning rushes his breath kind leth coals and a flame goeth out of his mouth in his neck abide strength and dismay danceth before him the flakes of his flesh are joined together they are firm upon him they cannot be moved his heart is as firm as a stone yet firm as the nether millstone when he raiseth himself up the mighty are
Afraid by reason of the spear they are beside themselves if one lay at him with the sword it will not hold nor the spear the dart nor the pointed shaft he este emeth iron as straw and brass as rotten wood the arrow cannot make him flee sling stones are turned with him into stubble clubs are accounted as stubble he laugheth at the rattling of the javelin sharpest pots herds are under him he spreadeth a threshing sledge upon the mire he make the deep to boil like a pot he make the sea. Like a seething mixture he make the path to shine after him one would think the deep to be hoary upon earth there is not his like who is made to be fearless he looked at all high things he is king over all the proud beasts Job chapter then Job answered Hashem and said I know that thou canst do everything and that no purpose can be withholden from thee who is this that hideth counsel without knowledge therefore have I uttered that which I understood not things too wonderful. For me which I knew not here I beseech thee and I will speak I will demand of thee and declare thou unto me I had heard of thee by the hearing of the ear but now mine I see thee wherefore I abhor my words and repent seeing I am dust and ashes and it was so that after Hashem had spoken these words unto Job Hashem said to Eliphaz the Temanite my wrath is kindled against thee and against thy two friends for ye have not spoken of me the thing that is right as my servant Job hath now. Therefore take unto you seven bullocks and seven rams and go to my servant Job and offer up for yourselves a burnt offering and my servant Job shall pray for you for him will I accept that I do not unto you aught unseemly for ye have not spoken of me the thing that is right as my servant Job hath so ill of as the Temanite and Bildad the Shuhite and Zafar the Namathite went and did according as Hashem commanded them and Hashem accepted Job and Hashem changed the fortune of Job when he prayed for his friends and Hashem gave Job twice as much as he had before then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house and they bemoaned him and comforted him concerning all the evil that Hashem had brought upon him every man also gave him a piece of money and every one a ring of gold so Hashem blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning and he had fourteen thousand sheep and six thousand camels and a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she-asses he had also seven sons and three daughters and he called the name of the first Jemima and the name of the second Kezia and the name of the third Karen Hapuch and in all the land were no women found so fair as the daughters of Job and their father gave them inheritance among their brethren and after this Job lived a hundred and forty years and saw his sons and his sons' sons even four generations so Job died being old and full of days. Isaiah chapter